Those words they hurt me You'll find out what made me angry Then use it to your ability Now you're trying for so many years Now shut your mouth Close your ears Never learned your lesson And nobody cares That's what you're here for Close your eyes.
close your eyes.
those words they hurt me you'd find out what made me angry then use it to your ability now you're trying to avoid me you're the big problem here a bully to many for so many years now shut your mouth close your ears never learned your lesson and nobody cares that's what you're here for Hello, my lovelies. So, I tested everything before I was going to start streaming today. And we have had, uh, the reason there's been so many, so much limited streaming from me since the hurricane is because we are experiencing ridiculous amount of power. Literally, right before I did, I started the stream, I checked everything check the upload, download, all of the things, and guess what? Spectrum does Spectrum things and decides to crap the fuck out on me again. <laughs> so, I am sorry. I hope it uh, decides to fix itself. Um, we have a tech coming out on Tuesday. So... I'm not truly a PNG YouTuber mo in my interview. Like, if you look, and and I'm 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 gonna argue against that right now, my lovelies. Here's my face. Here's my PNG. Here's my face. Here's my face. Here's my PNG. Like, if anything, it's a mixture of my webcam and fan art. Spectrum is garbage. It absolutely is. Griffin bad takes is killing the stream. Yes, actually, that is 100% correct. <laughs> so if you guys want to bear with me today, I want to get this stream in because it, it started all happening before the hurricane hit. And I was super excited that um, Alex was going to make a video too, which he didn't. Uh, so I'm super sad sorely disappointed in Mr. Alex for not um, making his Griffin video. However, I do understand where he's coming from with the L's, but I think because uh, Mr. Griffin, he did take some L's, but uh, he also did some backpedaling and some other shit. Like, like Alex could have arguably done a very good video. So we have a little bit of salt in regards to Alex. Just, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, doesn't Chris also have Spectrum and hate it? Yes. I don't think anybody, there has been a very small minority of humans um, that have a Spectrum and actually like it. Am I, <laughs> T, am I ready to get hella pissy tonight? Yes. We are bringing the salt, ladies and gentlemen. There is a lot of salt. I know, Dylan. It's really rough. I feel actually I feel I feel bad because uh, when I stream on Twitch and people that only use YouTube refuse to use uh, Twitch at all. And then I like they don't get to see that content kind of makes me a little sad. But we're just going to have a chat for a minute really quick before we get started. Hopefully my internet decides to be less mentally unstable. My internet needs to stop acting like Amber Heard. It's pretty, it's pretty freaking aggravating, honestly. It's great to see you, Julian. X-Cap. Garis. Hi, guys. Oh my gosh, look at all of you. Golden apples. Sexy, awesome apples. Uh, we have <laughs> Jester, his bad takes hilarious. It is. It really is. We've got a lot of salt. Um, now, I know that a few of you are like, um, 
it, like what kind of salt stream is this Minxie, right? A couple of you had questions like, is this his hot take on Gara? Is this his hot take on um, graphics cards? And honestly, this is this is his hot take on the uh, the Nvidia, the RTX 400 series. So. I was super excited because I know I know Gara made a video. I know Klutzy King made a video. I know Mischief made a video. I know Papa Frit made videos. I thought Alex was going to make a video. Like this was, this was a massive fucking thing. Like the level of salt was real. And Griffin, holy shit, my dude! Like I. <laughs> That's actually, Jason, you're not wrong. It was really, it was actually kind of insane to me that a lot of people are like, you know what? With Griffin's take on this, he honestly is turning into a lol cow. And I wanted to ask the chat, really, do you actually think that Griffin has ascended to lol cow status? Like how many, how many do you think, like how, how, how do you think he's there yet? I mean, he obviously has Call of Duty brain rot. I mean, if you play that much Call of Duty, I think I think it might have adverse effects on your mental uh, capabilities. But like, do we literally legitimately think that he has reached low cow status? Oh, he is definitely a low cow. <laughs> We're getting a lot of yeses in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Oh, we're going to, okay, we're going to, like, we're going to do a lot of Game of Thrones shaming, I'm not going to lie. But we are objective in all things, chat. Not as much as Dennis. Dennis is like lol cow squared and so is cupcake tv like they're both like lol cow squared not just not just your normal lol cow but they're 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 a special kind of something i don't even think that they should be called lol cows i think that they should have their own special bracket they need their own special title And by the way, for those of you that are asking, uh, I will ha I will be using my webcam on the next stream. His opinions on Vanguard are spicy hot. Oh my goodness. He's supposed to destroy the little cows and not join them. I agree. I agree. When do you get to the point where you actually become what you you you're sitting there roasting on the internet right like when does that start but all right my loves let's get let's get to it thank you for joining me on this fine wonderful sunday if you had the privilege of listening to me so story time really quick because you know me i i epically squirrel all over my streams not nearly as bad as rich but we love rich a lot um <laughs> i was sitting there last night if you guys were on for Tenga or alex's streams last night and if you haven't seen those streams um i would suggest doing it i was literally watching frit so i i was bouncing back and forth between frit and alex i only stayed a few minutes on alex's stream because frit was streaming and it was like hard for me because it's like you can't you're asking me to choose, right? They normally don't stream at the same time, which is what I pointed out when I was pulled on to the live stream last night. I'm like, you're, you're fucking with your audiences here because Alex and Frit have so much cross audience. That's, that's really dirty to make them have to choose. <laughs> like, like, come on now, be, be nice, be nice to the publics. Um, and I'm sitting here watching Frit's stream. I shit you not. 
And then all of a sudden I get a call on Discord. So I'm sitting here minding my own business, laughing in the chat, doing me. And Alex and Frit are in a group call. And Alex calls me to give me a ration of shit for not being on his stream. This legit happened. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck did I do now? <laughs> so, yeah, I need to get I obviously need to get used to other content creators that like Roche and me and like catnap me. I feel like I'm getting catnapped and I'm I'm not accustomed to the catnappery yet. So um, like it catches me off guard. So that's like awkward minxy going, what the what the fuck just happened? What's going on right now? Yeah, no, I'm going to be using my webcam the next stream because we're going to be doing horror games. Brit is the king of salt. That is correct. Alex does need to relax his shoulders. I am getting catnapped le left, right, and center. And honestly, ladies and gentlemen, I would have gone on Rich's stream last night because... Rich and Jay together is just chef's kiss, right? I know this is off topic. We are going to get on topic in a minute. But me watching Rich and Jay together, like him and his editor just sit there and BS, is so fucking hilarious to me. It's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So I do promise you guys, I will try to get on a stream with Rich and Jay just because hanging out with the both of them would just be fucking... That'd be hilarious. I have not watched Cyberpunk yet, but I need to. I am going to watch that. Yeah, do, Rich and Jay, like, okay, so here's, here's my level of love. And if you guys want to call me out on my extreme biases, I don't give a fuck. Because I own it, right? Like, bromances are the best in life for me it is not only the mo that is the best relationship but it is for me personally it's just it's just a wonderful interaction between two human beings and i love i love seeing it right so like frit and alex when they give each other shit and the fact that they're friends and both of their audience on audiences love the fact that they give each other shit back and forth and that they have this bromance and they're friends outside of YouTube. Like this is that's good content, right? It's not only good content in the way that you get to see two genuine dudes that just like like each other, enjoy each other's company and give each other shit back and forth. But bo both audiences actually know that they're friends, right? And the same thing with Rich and Jay. Like, Rich and Jay have that bromance level of relationship. So when you get that level of chemistry on a stream, it's it's beautiful to see. It is epically fantastic. Yeah, so I'm biased when it comes to bromances. I really am. And if if any anybody is going to be like, well, Mingxi, like, no. Like, there is... Again, I've used it many, many times, and I will use it in the future. There is no sisterhood of the traveling pants. I don't, I cannot, there, I cannot compare a um, genuine bromance type situation with females compared to an actual bromance. Yeah, Rich and Jay are an amazing duo. And Alex and Frit are an amazing duo. Like, when they do stuff back and forth or they're on each other's streams, like, it's epic. It's absolutely epic. It is probably the best content from me, and I really enjoy, like, because I don't just, you know, I just don't support them as content creators, but I actually like them. Um, I, I have had conversations with Frit on Discord about thumbnails and things. You know, I have DM'd Alex and said, congratulations on, you know, on 30,000 subs. And these guys are genuine dudes. Like, they have been nothing but kind. And sure, they can give me a ration of shit and we can joke around on stream and be dirty and, and, and do all of the stuff that makes all the people's laugh. But at the end of the day, like, they are really nice individuals. And I really appreciate that. Same with Rich. 
Rich has been nothing but nice and amazingly awesome with me. Yeah, and it's that level of, like, Drew, it's that level of friendship that really, you know, people gravitate to that. They do. Bromances are, are by far the most epic things in life. If Alex and Frit were called on a spy mission, they would get the job done? Yes, they would. Yeah, I, I really enjoy their content, which is why I will I will always support I will always support Frit. I will support Alex. Uh, I support Rich. Like their their content for me is bar none. Granted, I heard Rich ate some tarantulas. I don't know if that actually happened or not. I was cooking soup. Oh, and really quickly, um, when Rich was like, "Hey, Minxy, come on the stream last night," I'm I'm not sick or anything. I, I'm okay. Yeah, like, <laughs> I was just I got off stream. And my brother is was moving, and so I made, like, homemade soup for my family. Like, you got, like, I was, I, you know, you, you get the waifu buff, right? So my, my, my brother and my husband were, were getting, like, homemade soups, and I made that for all of us. Rich ordered the tarantulas? Oh, dear Jesus. Now I want to see a bromance battle against Frit and Alex versus Rich and Jay. That would be fantastic. What, have like a bro off? Like a game show? I mean, I technically sort of have like a bromance level of relationship with my sister. Uh, my, my younger sister, but... No, it wasn't chicken noodle. It was chicken and dumpling soup. Yeah, Rich, apparently he has to sit on a cake. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to deep. Sorry. Here's the opening to the stream, ladies and gentlemen. This is actually about Griffin, Fritz, and his very terrible takes. <laughs> we're going to get started. It's a very long opening. Yes, all of the exposure. We're coming in hot, ladies and gentlemen. You know what we do on this channel. What do we say? Yeah, the bro off. I, I might hack, like, dude, I might actually start a game show now and it might be the bro off. Just saying. I'm still fascinated the fact that Rich can lose two fake chickens. Yes. Epic rap battles. Yes. Epic rap battles of history were amazing. Could you imagine like the epic bro offs in like the same style? Yes, I am going to talk about Griffin's L's. 100%. I would have done it sooner. I would have done it sooner, chat. Let's get this party started. All right, what do we say? What does the amazing Samuel L. Jackson say, ladies and gentlemen? You know it. It's from Jurassic Park. If you love dinosaurs, you're going to say it. If you watched my streams previously, you're going to know what to say. All right, let's get the chat box up. We need Carlos. We do need a second Carlos. Griffin might have to buy a storage unit for all the L's he's collecting. <laughs> Truth. All right, so what we're going to do is what we're going to go over. Actually, let me really quickly. I'm going to share some videos with you all. So here is Mischief's video. And here is um, Griffin's response to Mischief's video. Now, we're not going to go over those on stream, but I wanted to link them on the stream for you guys because 
um, I didn't want this stream to be 10 hours long. So we're going to go over um, Fritz video, and then we're going to go over the interview or interaction, the communications between Papa Fritz and Griffin Gaming, where he literally exposes himself a song for this. I really feel like we would be doing uh, Rich an injustice if we didn't have the exposed song uh, fired up and ready to go. Because I cannot convey the levels of fucking stupid that I heard. But we're going to go over it. All right. I got it fired up for you, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for some exposure. Yes. I don't mind it being 10 hours long. <laughs> oh, well, I'm glad you guys love me so much. All right. Something's up Griffin's rear lately. I think his brains. His brains might be severely planted up his ass. I think he should relax his anus. All right. Oh, by the way, by the way, um, tomorrow is my birthday. I don't know if I'm going to stream or not, so we might have a bonus birthday stream. And Tuesday, depending on, actually, the tech guy's coming early in the morning, so we might have something special going on. I think we're going to do horror games on Tuesday. All right, I'm going to play a little bit of the Exposed song just because you guys are you're, you're saying it in chat and it just makes me want to play the song. Y'all are terrible. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I am just, I, I, I am completely pissed. I was going to write a script for this video. Why am I still getting hate? Hey, what's up, guys? It's Scares here. And so from now on, I am going to report the news. Let's go. Oh, but what I was going to say is I'm going to order my soundboard after my birthday. So I've had some very beautiful individuals that have donated monies to to help with my brand like the so the monies obviously are going to be invested back into the things and I'm getting a soundboard and it's going to be ordered uh, this week. So I'm going to have Fritz laugh on there. I'm going to have Alex's simp card on there. I'm going to have my collection of sound bites that i think are freaking hilarious to me and i'm super excited inside the stories exposed 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 Actually, VR, I might need, I should have, you know what? I should have gotten the Alchemy Halls for this stream. I'm not going to lie. I might put Chris on the soundboard. I might. If, if anything from, uh, that I would put, okay. I only have so many buttons. So if I put Chris on the soundboard, it's going to be his like over the top, like scream laugh. I need a rich sound effect. Yes, there will be rich on my soundboard. It's probably going to be like Mortal Kombat and my favorite content creators, honestly. <laughs> All right, we're holding on to our butts. Oh, we are holding on to our butts. Who said Chris is a beta? <laughs> Bacon, bacon. Oh, we got some bacons. Thank you for the bacons. We are going to have increased sodium content, ladies and gentlemen. I have to earn the Salt Queen title. That is my ambition right now. And I also have to do, I have to do, I have to do Papa Frit Proud. 
I do indeed. All right. Let's do this. What do you think? Just try to look. Oh, really quickly, we're going to go over uh, Papa Fritz's take on what Griffin said, <laughs> which is glorious. Um, and then we're going to go into that interaction. Oh, very nice. It's very cool, Bateman, but that's nothing. That is really nice. What do you think? Nice. Jesus. Proud of Nitwit like you get so tasteful. You ain't seen nothing yet. Well, heck yeah, I've got some brand new GPUs in the... Impressive. Very nice. Mm. Let's see Griffin's video. Like, I have people going, like, you're encouraging NVIDIA to constantly raise the price. Good, I hope they double it next year. Get a f***ing job and get off of YouTube. It's literally f***ing 1500 bucks, man. That is not a life-changing sum for any human being on this planet. Shut the f*** up, Leafy. Yeah. You either die a hero, or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Yes! Yes, indeed, Harvey, and I don't think there's a better prime example of that than Griffin Gaming. A cautionary tale about how salt may one day consume you, so I highly suggest you put it down. Click off this video. If you really care about your brain and don't want to form a hole in it, I suggest you- Okay, we don't want to click off the video. All right, again, remember to maintain your salt consumption because it can have negative effects. Don't snort this fresh line of salt I just put right in front of you. If you notice, there's a little bit of feathers in it. Oh my God, there's feathers hanging out of it. That's made out of an old blue jack. That's because today's salt is Griffin salt. Okay, look at it this way. You're gonna be quitting after this, so you may as well quit with a bang, right? Well, either way, I'm gonna get high. If the Griffin salt doesn't kill me, his are you gonna go over Griff's reaction to Gara? Um, Esker. I might do that if you guys would like me to go over Griff's reaction in regards to Gara. See, that's a double-edged sword, because that's about a certain cupcake. Um, I've already gone over my thoughts on Twitch um, about some of it. Uh, you, you guys, you guys, let me know. Put a one in the chat if you want me to do. I would go over it on a separate stream, honestly, ladies and gentlemen. So, if you want me to have, like, give you my take on the Griff Gara situation, put a one in the chat. This fan base will. Those are some insanely loyal viewers. Something I wish I had. Unfortunately, what I'm about to do is for your own good, Griffin. I'm doing this out of love, not hate. Which is unfortunately something your audience can't perceive because they don't have a sense of humor. It would be a disservice to the community and to the salt game if I didn't respond to Griffin's comments. Well, exactly what comments are you talking about, Frit? Oh, come on, please don't tell me you skipped the intro. I put a lot of editing into that, alright? That took a long time. Go watch the intro. I'm talking about Griffin's absolute fanboyism over NVIDIA and the Mount Everest-sized pile of salt that was produced in less than 24 hours when he realized the internet thought his take was shit. So strap tight because you're gonna be convulsing like a mofo from the salt overdose you are about to receive. Just took it to my vein! <laughs> if you're heavy into drinking, I suggest you take a break. You're gonna need to- Actually, no. If you're heavy into drinking, please drink more. Because you will need it. I feel like, and I, and I don't advocate this, but I don't feel like you can actually listen to Griffin's terrible takes sober. Some spare liver because the RTX 4000 series is right around the corner. Not that anyone's PC here can actually handle these goddamn things, unless you're willing to cop for a $400 PSU right now, just so you can run these brand new cards without burning down your house. My god, at this rate, they're gonna require you to have a permit just to use an RTX 4000 card. Yeah, well, look at the bright side for it. At least DLSS 3.0 is also right around the corner. With new cards comes new features that are awesome, right, Frit? Surprise, mother Oh yeah, it would be pretty awesome if Nagridia didn't lock that shit behind just the RTX 4000 cards. Another bullshit move made by good old Jensen. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, what we got here is the world's largest scam. It is yet again NVIDIA trying to get people away from their older generation cards that still run games just about as good as the new generation does. DLSS 3 is a very good selling point for lower end cards. I don't advocate al al alcohol poisoning. I don't. However, I don't think that you can ingest listening to that level of ignorance sober. 
You know, GPUs that could use that sort of boost. But no, obviously Nvidia doesn't want to give new life to their older cards. They want you to give them $900 for an RTX 4080 that only has 12 gigs of VRAM. And its selling point is DLSS 3, which makes no goddamn sense because you usually expect the high-end cards to not require a feature like that most of the time. But this is Nvidia's way of masking an underperforming card. Let's face it. Oh, but don't worry, it gets better. If you want the 16 gig model of the 4080, so, and re the reason that everybody gets, like, up in arms about this is because, do you remember when the price point was around $600, ladies and gentlemen? Do you remember when you got more bang for your buck? And now this is what NVIDIA is doing? Like, this is, this is, like, these prices are so far beyond logic because you can build a gaming PC for under $1,600. So to have one part, and actually my PC at the time, now my PC was built like four years ago. I, I built mine, there's a thing called Newegg. We, we built mine for under $1,200. So if you can essentially build an entire gaming PC for under $1,600. Why the shit fuck would you pay $1,600 for one, one component in your PC? One component, one piece. That'll be twelve hundred dollars. We fuck you up, man. We take the money. And if you want the forty ninety, that'll be sixteen hundred dollars. <laughs> Kill me, please. I want to die. Do you remember when NVIDIA's flagship GPUs used to hover around $600? There we go. There we go. They hovered around $16, like $600. Actually, let's see. Where's mine? I got the 1060. Actually, I got mine later, so I even got mine at a bigger discount. I do. Those were good old times. Back when GPU generations actually meant something. Back when you got more bang for your buck. Yeah, when, you know, again, you can still build a, a completely operational gaming computer for under $1,600. Now you get incremental changes with locked features and a higher price tag. It is indefensible. Let's face it. At and, and I argue that this... NVIDIA is overcharging, just like I would not advocate, say, a PlayStation 5 being $1,500, right? I don't advocate that a console costs $1,500, just like I wouldn't advocate that one piece in your computer would cost $1,500, these prices with this direction can you really blame evga for dipping out on nvidia easily the most no, underwhelming and overpriced presentation nvidia has ever given us but there's nothing we can do about it because jensen himself said high gpu prices are here to stay well if that's the case jensen see and this is disgusting to me like high g prices for gpu are here to stay like <laughs> we are not going to spend this level of money is for one part when the older cards do just as well. And my RTX 3080 is here to stay in my PC, probably for the next seven to eight years. And I know how much you hate that, Jensen. You hate people not moving on to your next iteration, but you have to give people an incentive to do that. Or you could be like- Yeah, Dark Mage, I heard that PS5s at one point were like almost, they were $1,500. Like, why? I wouldn't buy a console that was that expensive. Why would I buy- a computer part that that was expensive, you know, that expensive, doesn't matter. Like you go through, you shop across multiple uh, websites, Newegg, et cetera. Yeah, I'm plugging Newegg right now. And you build your ideal gaming PC with cost in mind because you can build something powerful and epic without paying out your ass like Griffin Gaming and have no incentive whatsoever other than to brag about your expenses, which is the type of consumer Jensen absolutely- Yeah, the scalpers were absolutely ridiculous when it came to 
the PS5. Luli loves rich, white, pudgy, conservative kids with a lot of money and very little understanding of GPUs. What's up, gamers? Hang on to your wallet. Does it irritate anyone else that the first thing anyone ever does when we get new GPUs or like any new piece of technology is complain about the price? Like, my dude, there are previous gen models you can scoop up for the cheap if price is that big an issue. Also, probably gonna cop a 4090. Can we just, can we take a minute with that? Yes, there are previous gen models that you can scoop up for cheap. It's called sales. Obviously, you're not interested in that, Griffin, at all, because you don't give a shit what you spend. Fine, fair enough. And I don't care what Griffin spends his money on. His bank account is literally nothing to do with me. But this mindset that, Oh my god, I have to have the biggest and shiniest thing just because it's the biggest, shiniest thing is so far beyond me. And it was funny because Negligent actually made a point, ladies and gentlemen. He's like, well, you with your RBG. Yeah, I, I like my flashy lights for my computer, don't get me wrong. But I'm not going to pay out the ass. Even if I was to have one custom built for me, I would still research the internal organs of my computer all of the computer parts and get the best bang for my buck and then i would order it from anything that i was if i wanted to say get something from meta pcs or something so i wouldn't even be like hey i'm gonna drop five thousand dollars just because i fucking can your boots sir i don't understand how it's possible to get this upset over some advice about saving money griffin took that shit so personal while having absolutely no clue as to why everybody's upset about the price of these cards if he had actually bothered to watch that j2 cents video he would see why the price is unjustified but instead he's sitting there like a consumer just willing to fork over the cash without questioning the price don't ask questions just consume product and then get excited for next product yeah like why would I mean, if you want to throw money away just to throw money away, fine. But do not expect so that this what was really hilarious about this situation is that Griffin said that fifteen hundred dollars isn't life changing money. OK, yeah, it is. Like you can get a used car, you can pay rent, you can pay a mortgage for some people. That's like a mortgage like. $1,500 could pay your mortgage for approximately three months. If you have a higher end mortgage, you're looking at anywhere between $1,500 to $2,000 a month. Upwards, depending on the size of your house and what area you live in. So, I mean, a free month of my rent or mortgage getting paid for, hell to the fucking yeah, I would be appreciative, right? That's rent, that's food. You know, that's three months worth of food. And the, the, the massive disconnect, again, that I don't understand with Griffin is we have massive inflation right now. It is going to get to the point, ladies and gentlemen, in the next six months where people are not going to necessarily be able to feed their families. Like, suck that in for a moment. When it gets to the point where people cannot feed their families because the majority of their income, it's called the Great Depression, look into it. When the majority of their um, income goes to food, even in France, you know, they started taking out officials when their income was over half. I mean, when they were spending over half of their income on food. Like. Let's let's not, let's let's actually be connected to the world, Griffin, because we have serious inflation right now and fifteen hundred dollars to anybody right now is a massive lump sum, considering, again, that's an entire computer. I'm sorry, Griffin. Not everybody out there has a fat wallet like you do. $900 to $1,500 isn't cash someone's simply going to hand over without thoroughly investigating what they're going to purchase. At the very least, spending they save their money. Now, obviously, at some point, Griffin probably realized this post was retarded, so he deleted it and proceeded to act like it never existed, which would have been a good move, but unfortunately, Griffin's ego simply wouldn't allow that because he then proceeded to live stream, and in that stream, he gave one of the uh, SRGI says that Minx C1, have I told you the story about how my PC came together? No, I actually have not heard that story. Saltiest rants about his critics and what they thought about his purchasing decision. Yeah, like you have to understand that 
people work insane amount of hours for 15 to 1600 dollars decisions at first when i saw this video i thought jesus christ there's no way i can actually respond one respond to it instead because for some reason wait what hold on a second chat griffin last year was a lot more wise and a lot less cringe so it wait what does Frit roast Griffin with himself? What? All right, we're back. We're backing some ass up, ladies and gentlemen. Naturally respond to it. But then I quickly realized, wait, I don't have to respond to it. As a matter of fact, I'm going to have Griffin Gaming from 2021 respond to it instead. Because for some reason, Griffin last year was a lot more wise and a lot less cringe. So with that being said, uh, holy mother of Cheez-Its. Sweet baby kittens. All hail the king of salt. All hail the king of salt. Let all right, let's get some popcorn. I like let's buckle in for this because this is a level of genius that we have to appreciate. Griffin, the floor is yours. Take it away. What's up, my fellow gamers? Today, we're going to be taking a look at a video that I really don't feel like needs much of an introduction because, you know, if you heard the beginning clip at the beginning of this video, I think you kind of know where this is going. We are going to be taking a look at... Yeah, only a year, like, take to sponge all this in, ladies and gentlemen, that this was Griffin Gaming's take from just a year ago. ...a YouTube video from someone by the name of... Also, I would like to point out, not only did we just come out, we, well, we're, we had a massive pandemic, right? two years of all the fuckery that everybody went through and then massive inflation yet $1,500 is not a life stage life changing sum of money. It's not going to pay your bills. It's not going to, you know, impact your food bill. It's not going to pay your rent or your mortgage. Um, it's not going to buy you a used car. Like $1,500. Like, I mean, I mean, if any, like that, that's, I mean, $1,500 is piss away money. Apparently I don't know anybody personally that just has 1500 fucking dollars laying around that they can piss away at the drop of a hat griffin gaming who uploaded an absolutely fantastic video that is titled broke ass gamers should get a job and get off of youtube i have no sympathy for you and basically what this video boils down to is this dude thinks that if you are poor then you have absolutely no right to play video games and you are holding back the video game industry by being poor like this dude is on some next level gatekeeping to the point where he's saying if you are not spending as much money as me every single year on video games then you should find a different job like you literally cannot make this shit up so i think without further ado let's go ahead and play this shit you know extra emphasis on the shit today because you know that's exactly what this video is oh my god frit went full devil's advocate with griffin gaming oh and i love the fact that he did like oh this is fantastic ladies and gentlemen boys and girls of the salt mines he literally took griffin's logo and gave it like a red eye like griffin losing his tits and griffin with brain cells oh this is fantastic Oh, chef's kiss. Frit, please take me on as your Padawan. I I need to learn. I need to learn your Jedi magic. I just like, I don't know, man. I don't need to hear the perspective of a bunch of brokies who can't even buy it anyway. Dude, I wonder why saying that poor people should get a job and get off of YouTube didn't really go over well. Like, is this really a mystery to you? I don't know, man. I just hate people like that so much. Get a fucking job and get off of YouTube. Holy f Oh my god, we didn't see that one coming. You know, <laughs> it seems to be a pretty big trend on the internet when someone of this particular mental fortitude puts out one of the hottest takes on the internet and then decides, you know what, I'm kind of getting shit for this, so instead of, like, rethinking my stance on it, I'm gonna double and triple down to make another YouTube video telling poor people that they should get a job and get off YouTube. Like, fuck off. Like, I have people going, like, you're encouraging NVIDIA to constantly raise the price. Good, I hope they double it next year, you sick piece of shit. Jesus Christ, that's fucking crap. I don't think I have ever seen an individual own themselves as much as Griffin has owned himself. This is, this is a masterpiece.
orange because Nvidia literally doubled the price overnight for no fucking reason other than they wanted more money out of people. I mean, the simple fact that you don't see that as a problem because you know you want to quote unquote own the poor people is really fucking pathetic. You know, that's a major big dick energy if I've ever seen it. And that's the scary thing is too, we're not even talking about a lot of money. It's literally fucking 1500 bucks, man. That is not a life changing sum for any human being on this planet. That seems like a pretty big assumption on your part. Like people are acting like this is the price of a fucking car. No, it's like a thousand bucks, bro. If you sell your existing GPU and buy it, you're probably going to spend a grand. You're probably going to spend a grand. Again, arguably, depending on sales and things. Now, granted, even even inflation is 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 smacking the PC market around, ladies and gentlemen. Like we're we're feeling it everywhere. But you can also build an entire computer to do all the things that you want it to do in regards to gaming and even video editing for under $1,000 or around the $1,000 mark. So you making it sound like, oh, well, you could sell your existing uh, computer parts for like $1,000 and then, you know, buy NVIDIA's newest graphics card. Like what? A grand is still a lot of money. Yes, it is. It is. I mean, it, honestly, that it doesn't stretch very far in the current climate that we're in, the climate that we're in, but it is. Which this is the top of the line card. Less than 1% of the market is probably going to buy it. It's just so f***ing annoying. That's right, guys. You're not a real gamer unless you just blindly hand money to your favorite GPU manufacturer. You heard it here first. Yeah, like the thing is, is like less than probably 5% of the entire PC market would even consider buying. See, honestly, if Griffin, if Griffin kept this same energy, ladies and gentlemen, from a year ago, I might actually, like, have cheerleader pom-poms in regards to Griffin Gaming. But I've gotten, like, I have not had a single individual that has watched Griffin's content say that his videos are good, but his live streams are absolute dog shit. Like, his, the most terrible takes on the face of the earth are on his live streams. And it's like, my dude, why do live streams? Stick to stick to videos and, and, and stick to what you enjoy doing, but I don't even, I don't get it. Buying a 4090, but yet everyone's outraged over the price of something they're never gonna buy. I don't get it. It's not like this is a console or some bullshit. We're I wouldn't advocate that you spend a thousand dollars on a freaking console either. It's not like a console. Is that that's your that's your argument for the whole thing? You would pay a thousand dollars for a console. I chat. Would you pay a thousand dollars for a console? Maybe I'm just a cheap ass. Maybe I'm wrong. Call me out if I'm wrong. I I don't feel the need to invest in a thousand dollar console. Not at all. Where it's like literally marketed towards people who don't have a lot of money to spend on gaming hardware. Like, that's the whole point of a console, or like lower end GPUs, or the previous generation GPUs. Like, of course, if you buy the top of the line, brand new, most powerful graphics card on the market, you're gonna pay a lot of money for it. Duh, sh I don't know, man, it's just obnoxious. Yeah, dude, we get it. You're dunking on poor people for having less money than you. We f***ing get the point. I don't know if it's just me, but this dude comes off as really f***ing insecure about money. It's like literally, bro, I don't know. It's like that Kanye. <laughs> this dude feel. This dude comes off really insecure about money. This is. Can we just see, like, this is poetry. This is, this is salty poetry right now. Grit, like. Frit doesn't need to do anything. He is literally having Griffin roast Griffin. This is a level of genius. Wow. Yeah, Lyric, bro. I'm done taking advice from people less successful than me. That's some. Like, Griffin is clapping his own cheeks. Like, Griffin is giving it to himself. I can't with this. This is so good. Straight facts. What a f***ing flex, dude. A bunch of brokies are telling me that I'm ruining the f***ing GPU market. Eat a f***ing cock. Holy f***, dude. You have to use so many I don't know what happened to Griffin over this last year where he, he lost all brain function and became very salty and jaded with, like, everything. But I feel like that really comes through.
the cuss word. What the f are you talking about? We get a dude, you don't like poor people. I mean, what you're describing that you do is just blindly consume. You don't care how much something costs. You know, you're going to prove to everyone that you have money by just paying for shit rather than, you know, actually looking for value in something or putting your foot down when a company does something that you don't like, like, you know, doubling the price of something overnight for no fing reason whatsoever other than to just. Yeah, and people are upset about doubling the fucking price for no reason. For something that isn't revolutionary. NVIDIA is just like, hey, you know those really high fucking prices? We're keeping those. We don't give a shit. Milk as much money as humanly possible from their customers. I mean, to be honest, dude, like, take it for what it's worth. Your mentality is everything wrong with the video game industry. Your mentality is everything wrong with the video game industry. Holy what? All right, we're doing it. Exposed. Hey Griffin, did you realize that your mentality is everything wrong with the video game industry? Damn, dude. He's kind of gay. Bro, you can say that shit again. You know, for the life of me, I hope I never come back to this YouTube channel. This video was such fing dog shit. You see that, Alex? Do you see why your salt simply doesn't compare? Do you now know your place? Yeah? Good. Honestly, Griffin, what happened to you? That was just a year ago. At this point, we. <laughs> of course. Fritz got to get it in there. He's got it. He's got. That's that level of bromance, man. He's got to. He's got to get those. Those awesome digs on Alex. <laughs> I love it. May as well call you Grifter Gaming. This is it! Grifter Gaming seems, uh, Grifter, Grifter Gaming seems very appropriate, ladies and gentlemen. Funny! What the hell happened to the Griffin that used to roast corporations instead of sucking off their dick? What does NVIDIA do that's so special that you're okay with them raising their prices or hell, even doubling it? One of the most retarded takes I've ever heard from you. Oh no, I take it back. I think it was the uh, $1,500 isn't life-changing comment. A comment like that just proves that too much Call of Duty can rot the brain. Hell. I agree. I think too much Call of Duty. I mean, there's a good argument for that now. Griffin, even a thousand dollars is life changing. Do you know what I did with a thousand dollars once? I bought a car. A shit. Holy shit. And there's Papa Frit dropping the knowledge. All the logics. Do you know what he did for a thousand dollars? He bought a car. Is a car. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, salt miners of all all shapes and sizes and, and and creeds and codes and things is buying a car for a thousand dollars a life-changing event oh i don't know you can drive to the store and you know get groceries to feed your family drive yourself to work go on vacation pick up your friends and hang the fuck out like i i would argue that that buying a car for a thousand dollars is a very much a life-changing event. Heavy Avio standard, which was a life-changing experience because I could start driving to work. Griffin has no understanding of what it's like to live in poverty. His privileged pampered lifestyle is so blatantly obvious. He doesn't even try to hide it because he can't because he legitimately doesn't know what it's like to have no money and luxuries, which wasn't even a problem I had with him until he started putting down people with less money than him and then proceeding to tell them to get off YouTube and get a job. Your revolution is over, Mr. Lebowski. Condolences, the bomb's lost. My advice to you is to do what your parents did. Get a job, sir. The bums will always lose. Do you hear me, Lebowski? The his own viewers. People giving him some basic ass criticism, mind you. If you really believe the only people being critical of your purchasing decision are poor people, Griffin, then let me give you a reality check. I can afford these cards just as well as you can, and yet I'm still being very critical. Yeah, and just because you can actually afford what N NVIDIA is throwing down does not mean that you should support it. That is a gross, absolutely a gross price hike. Like $1,500 for a good anything in a computer, whether it be a power source, motherboard, what have you. Why would you pay that? Why? Goal of the price. Would you look at that? Just because I have the financial means of... Just because we can buy it doesn't mean that the price is appropriate for what's being sold. In any, in any consumer situation, whether it's a monitor, a keyboard, a frickin' mouse, uh, 
your computer case. Being able to obtain these cards doesn't mean I'm okay with the price set. What sort of logic is that? I still hold a grudge with NVIDIA for what I've paid for the 3080 to this day. I'm not over it, and I don't think I'm ever going to get over it. I'm in debt. Honestly, for the 3080, if you have a grudge for it, for what you paid, I completely condone this, and I support it. Up to my eyeballs. You see, Griffin, not everybody who's pissed off is poor. We're pissed off because we're looking at the cards, we're looking at the price. Yeah, we're looking at the cards, we're looking at the price, we're looking at the fact that NVIDIA is like, fuck you guys, we're gonna keep these insanely high prices just because we can. And we know it's a ripoff. You say you don't want the opinions of- Yeah, I don't- I don't know anybody that's like, hey, guess what? I love getting ripped off in life. Never have I heard this. Like someone just, you know, Snoopy dancing through their house going, guess what, Fran? I got ripped off today for $1,500. Of broke people, but sadly I'm not one of them and I'm giving you my opinion. There's absolutely no reason to get a 4,000 series card when the 3,000 series cards are doing the job just perfectly fine. Do you see the 3090 in your PC no longer being good enough now that the 4090 is out? Do you not think about why you are buying these things? Now obviously it's a bad take, but not enough to permanently tarnish the image Griffin built of himself. I mean, that was until he decided to not only double down, but uh, triple down. What's up, brokies? Get I know, like, did, did any, has anybody actually partied in life? Like, did you, like, seriously sit there with your best friend and be like, dude, I just got ripped off. It was fantastic. I mean, said no human that I've ever experienced in my almost 40 years of life. Right? None. No one has ever been like, let's throw confetti for spending overspending and getting ripped off by a product. As views are dropping after the Ackman drama wore off, I'm intrigued how this is gonna play out. LMAO. You sure you're not mad? No. I'm not mad. Jesus Christ, Griffin, at this point you cannot deny you're salty! Mischief's video on you doesn't- Oh my god, this was insane that he started posting about this before Mischief even released his video. But he doesn't care, chat. He doesn't care at all. But, you know, the, you know those wonderful knee-jerk reactions where people don't actually use their brain and it's just like they're emotionally triggered and they're just like, Bleh, and they do that? Hi, Griffin. ...doesn't even exist yet and you're already having a meltdown. The fact that you're butt hurt before you even heard a single thing is hilarious. Are you really about to let this 16-year-old get the best of you? Well, I mean, to be fair, with a take as bad as yours, even Quantum TV could get the best of you. But apparently that's... Holy shit. Cupcake TV could get the better of you. Oh my god, Frit. You went there. Holy Cheez-Its. That is fantastic. <laughs> Holy god, I need... Hold on, I'm gonna have a heart attack. Like I was not expecting that level of salt. Whoa. Deep breaths. That was good. That was fucking good. If I could literally, I, I would fist bump, I honestly would fist bump, bump Fritz's face right now for that. That's not all. It seems uh, Griffin found out I'm doing a video on him too. And this was his reaction to hearing the news about it. <laughs> oh, let's go. PG Wavy with the two for Tang has been tweeting about you all day. Oh shit, that's me! Bro, for months that dude has been in my DMs begging me to like collab or come on stream with them or play games with them. He's a monster. Excuse me? For months? Are you really trying to make me seem desperate, Griffin? You really think I was desperate for your attention? Dark Mage at Minxie one that was a salt missile. Yes, it was. That was an epic salt missile. That is fantastic. Chin? Well, look, here's the screenshot of our DMs. I only ever asked you to play Halo once. Wait, what? Brit asked Griffin to play Halo once, but he's begging him in DMs? Wait, 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 what? Once? One time. Frit asked to play co-op when it drops. And he's begging you? And it was this month, at the beginning, because I was excited, because co-op campaign was dropping, and I thought it'd be real cool to play that with some other YouTuber friends. But instead you ghosted me, which is fine. I didn't take it personal, but don't be lying to people, making it seem like I was desperate for your goddamn attention. All I wanted to do was... Oh, look, well, here's the, here's the interaction between Fertanga and Griffin. 
Okay, yeah, here they're talking about Cupcake TV. So yeah, there's an interaction like, you know, X amount of months ago, back and forth. There isn't any begging that's happening about video games. Let's play games with you. I wasn't asking to collab and I wasn't asking to stream with you either. The fact that this is your reaction. Um, I know that he wasn't asking to collab, and I know that he wasn't asking to stream because I, I know the things, ladies and gentlemen. So when it comes to Papa Frit, because I freaked out. Story time. Story time, everybody. So when High on Life was announced, because of how epic High on Life is going to be, and I'm probably going to stream it on YouTube, honestly. If you guys want me to stream High on Life on YouTube, I will definitely do that. Put a one in the chat if you want that, that level of awesome. But I told Frit, I'm like, oh my God, Frit, you need to stream High on Life. Please stream this. I specifically DM'd him and asked him to stream High on Life. And he told me that... He gets too distracted by the chat itself to actually play the video game. So the chat actually distracts him too much for him to accomplish anything in the video games. So I know for a fact from what I have in the interaction that I've had with Frit on Discord that streaming a game with Griffin was never a thing. He probably, you know, the co-op thing was just like, hey, you want to play co-op when it drops because I'm excited to play it with another content creator. Not, hey, let's collab or let's stream together. I also know that what Fertanga says is true because when I did my interview with him, we joked around about doing maybe like a, a podcast or something like that. Um, Frit is very solo and he's very subjective of who he does content with and when. So the fact that like Alex or even I have been on any of his streams is, you know, he he's like the Lone Ranger in regards to that. So this whole Griffin thing where he's like, oh, he was in my DMs. He was begging me to do shit with him, blah, 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 blah. That's I know that's bullshit. I would be able to know. I, I could say that that's bullshit before even like knowing anything about the situation to just some criticism from me on Twitter has me questioning every single video of yours now. Are you this dishonest about people? You know, it's just, I don't know, I don't care. Yeah, like if you're if you're gonna get so butthurt over somebody that you're gonna legit make shit up about them and blatantly lie, like what, what is going on here, Griffin? At the end of the day, but it's just very convenient. And that's the reason why I've never bought- Because that is a flat out lie. That is. I think we need a little bit of this. To you. So you're going to get butt hurt, Griffin, and then lie about people. Good to know. Good to know. Bothered to make friends with YouTubers because nobody fucking cares about each other. That's not true either. Like, I don't make friends with other YouTubers because nobody cares about each other. That's bullshit. Uh, Rich does YouTube. Jay, his editor, used to do YouTube. Now Jay, his editor, and Rich both do things. Frit and Alex both do things and they're friends outside of youtube uh i talk to a, a handful of creators on discord and outside of youtube and everything like that so this whole misconception like i don't make friends on youtube with other content creators da, 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 da. like no not every content creator is like you griffin that is a gross misrepresentation of like the rest of youtube you're finished I mean, it's so much self-pity. So Aw, oh, boo-hoo, poor Griffin. He gets invited to play games by people. Like, yeah, dude, when I was playing the f***ing Halo campaign, this dude sending me in or f***ing Discord DMs asking me to play co-op with him. So, it's just... It's very ironic. <laughs> Again, I only asked you once. Why do you continue to... Yeah, Frit and Alex, like, have each other's... They do. They, they've, they've texted each other. Like, Alex has literally grabbed his phone on stream and text Frit. To give him some shit. Like, legit, text him on his phone to give Fertanga, like, salt. Insist that I was begging and spamming you. They wait for the, like, first opportunity. 
And then they're like, oh my God, let's do this. And exactly what is it that you do, Griffin? You don't jump on any sort of hot take when you see the opportunity. You don't make videos on- I mean, let's be real. Like not every content creator is going to be friendly with every other content creator. Like we're our own people and, and we might develop like friendships or anything like that outside of it. But to, to, to basically say that I, I don't make friends with people on youtube or other content creators because of this reason it's like that's that's not true on review tech usa or dreamcast guy when the opportunity presents itself no alex and frit have an absolutely amazing bromance so are you really bitching about people doing this to you now oh well, the thing is i really don't care i don't believe you like you know make your video get your ad revenue but don't be bad when i clap back Like, don't be mad when I clap back. Griffin, what the fuck do you have to clap back with, dude? Frit roasted you with yourself. You were roasted by your own self of a year ago in footage. What the fuck do you have to clap back with? Like, really? How? There's, there is absolutely no way that you can clap back. I have never seen another individual obliterated by their own self as as much as Griffin was in that clip that Ale that that um Frit did. Absolutely obliterated. He obliterated himself. No one needed to say anything or do anything because Griffin from a year ago would have literally made a video about Griffin now and completely tore him apart. That was scary. How are you going to clap back exactly? Griffin, I had you respond to yourself. You literally cannot disagree with it. See, there you go. There's Papa Frit spitting facts again. And rip it apart or debunk it. It's you, yourself, that I used to make the points. You don't have the care in the world to put together a video with that sort of editing, let's face it. I was originally going to take it pretty easy on you, but after watching this clip, thanks to the Corporate Slave Awards Twitter account, I now know how much of a little bitch you actually are. Making up shit about me on the spot because you got nothing. But trust me, Griffin, in a few months from now, you're going to look back and be thankful it was us who responded to you. Because there is love on these Twitter streets. It's just tough love. Anyways, Griffin decided to stream one there is much love on on the streets there is much love like Alex is awesome Rich is awesome Britanga is awesome like I support them 100% they're they're genuine good dudes more time and in that stream he easily could have taken the l and apologized for having such bad dates but instead this is where he decided to triple down and try to bullshit his way out of the situation that shit is so easy to refute. Like, literally, he goes like, oh, you're poor shaming people. Yeah, you're fucking right. I am poor shaming the poor pieces of shit that, that literally sit there all day worrying about how other people spend their money instead of worrying about their own fucking lives. I feel bad for- No one- See, here's the thing. Like, no one gives a shit. At least I personally. I can't speak for everybody else, but I personally don't give a shit how Griffin burns through his money. Because if you're if you're literally going to piss away money- I don't know how that's going to impact you later in life, but I hope you're doing the proper things. I hope that you're investing in the right things. I hope you have a savings account, like, you know, CDs and all those things. Like, I hope you're investing in the right things, because if you piss money away like this, like if you're like, hey, I'm going to go grab this PC component that's $2,000 when I can build a computer for under $2,000, like... It really makes me question, you know, your stability later in life. However, I don't give a shit if you, you piss away your money. Your bank account has nothing to do with me. For them. I don't give a fuck, dude. If people literally want to get pissed off that I spent... SRGI says, all the folks that I met over the few years uh, that have been on YouTube are all awesome. That includes you, Minxie One. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And my mother. And I do not advocate anyone poor shaming anyone. It's absolutely the most ridiculous shit I've ever heard. Funny. Then I don't know what to tell him. Like, you want me to actually... F <laughs> like, what else am I supposed to say to that? Like, if I'm not allowed to make fun of some dude who's sitting there pocket watching me, acting like... Dude, you were making fun of individuals who were poor shaming 
a year ago. I'm ruining PC gaming because... Uh... You owned your own ass, Griffin. I bought a GPU they couldn't afford. Like, how else am I supposed to respond to that other than to just laugh at them? You know, Griffin, now that I think about it, you are the type that is ruining PC gaming. Not questioning the products NVIDIA puts out, and more than happy to pay them an increase in price. Oh yeah, let's also not forget, you always buy the most expensive version of Call of Duty on PC. You disgust me. Practices that are indeed a plague to PC gaming, no doubt. You see, now it all makes sense why you deleted that J2Sense post, because J2Sense is certainly not poor. He very well can get any single card he wants on the market. He doesn't even have to pay for it. And he's one of the people telling you to hold onto your wallet. So Clearly, it wasn't just people who can't afford this that you were upset at. You just got butthurt that somebody would suggest you not buy that card for the ethics of it. You also cannot be having mental breakdowns like this when you are also just as vocal about other people's purchasing decisions as well. At the very least, when you're critical of those people, they don't call you broke. So return it to full with the five. I thought there was supposed to be a video calling you out today, whatever happens. To I have no idea, bro. I really don't care. It's going to be a boring ass video, I have a feeling. Like, I don't know, everybody who watched the stream last night, was it really that crazy of a take to say, like, bro, the people who are sitting there upset that I can afford a GPU they can't are pathetic? No. The people that are upset with you are people with brains and a grasp of money and have maybe even potentially struggled in life or have not been able to pay their bills at one point. Or it has absolutely nothing to do with, like if you if you wanna make fun of like extremist individuals who are like all up in your face telling you how to spend your money, fine. But the average consumer is upset or does not condone the price point of $1,500. And, and it, they do not condone what Nvi N NVIDIA is doing because it is, grossly expensive and it doesn't make any sense it's not logical right and you are promoting stupid shit by saying oh yeah i'll go get the 4090 you know i'll pick that up like no why would you do this i, I don't know if that's like a controversial take these days like Am I supposed to feel bad that I can afford something I want to buy? I feel, yeah, I feel like he is, like, oblivious. Am I, am I wrong, chat? I feel like, it, you know, like, when you, you see, like, thoughts and, like, logic, like, bounce off someone's forehead? I, I don't, I don't understand why he doesn't, like, grasp basic concepts. With my own money? Yeah, no, it wasn't that take, Griffin. It was the, uh, $1,500 isn't a lot of money. It's not life-changing. I think that's the comment that really stood out the most. Because believe me, the poor shaming isn't even close to the worst take you had that night. Here we go. I said, for real though, I'm curious with what I said. Or wait, for real though, what was the issue with what I said? I'm genuinely curious. This is me and Mischief talking, by the way. It says, the angle it comes across is corporate dick riding to the max. Stuff. Uh, Dark Mage says, at Mixy one Griffin needs to take the dick nut out of his ears. Dick nuts? <laughs> Don't, dick. Is that supposed to be donut with dick on it? <laughs> that is amazing, by the way. Stuff like saying double. Minxie's never wrong. No, I am wrong about a lot of things in life. And I have no problem admitting when I'm wrong. I also have no problem with learning either. Right? And if I am learning about something on a stream, I will be honest with my audience and be like, hey, you know what? I don't know about this topic. I don't know much about this, right? How about we learn together? Or I'm going to pool knowledge from other places, right? I don't mind learning on stream either. If it's a topic that I don't know much about, but I want to educate myself and I want to learn and I want to learn and grow with my audience and they also drop their knowledge bombs as well, there's nothing wrong with that. We should all be eternal students anyway. You should always want to continue to educate yourself and learn things. Double the price and acting like we shouldn't draw the line when- Hi Delta, welcome, welcome. Actually, what the hell? Delta, why are you not a mod? Uh, Delta's probably gonna be my last mod for a very long time because I went on a really awesome modding spree. Um, I just, you know, I was like, hey, guess what? You can be a mod and you can be a mod. Like, I was just like my normal viewers. I was just making it rain that one stream. 
And I just wanted to throw shinies at y'all because I appreciate you so much. And I, and I love you guys. Like, you're fantastic. But don't ever think that I don't, I won't ever have a bad take or I might not have a controversial take or something I say. You do, you're not going, I, like, I don't expect everybody to agree with me. That's, that's what I love, right? I don't expect everybody to agree with me. However, I, I also expect my audience to call me out on my bullshit if I have a really hot, terrible take. Because if it's so nonsensical and it's so illogical, I want to be called out on my bullshit. I don't want to be like, why would I want to project myself as dumb, right? Why would I want to be like, hey, this is me on the internet and I'm fucking stupid. Like, no, I I'm not, I'm not interested. I'm not interested in that on the internet. When it comes to how much things cost as consumers. So yeah, nobody's ever heard of hyperbole before, right? I'm sorry, Griffin, but when you say literally every five seconds, you cannot call it hyperbole. If it was really a hyperbolic statement, you would stop saying literally. We all know you meant it. We all know you were salty. Your tantrum, your rants, all of it gives away the fact that you meant every word. I get Yes, that is true. You meant every word. You were super salty. You doubled down on your salty. You got butt hurt and you got defensive. It was really cute to see. It was very adorable. Griffin, your level of butt hurt. The salt, the salt was great. Edit, you were frustrated. You don't like people being critical of your purchasing decisions. Understandable. But the way you decided to respond to this is the exact same way I expect a PlayStation fanboy to respond to criticism of um, Nathan, depending on how big my streams get, which, you know, growth and all the things, like, I probably will have some more mods in the future, but I have quite a bit at the moment. <laughs> so. Sony. Let's keep going. Also, the brokey stuff just gives cringe out of touch frat boy energy. That was kind of the whole point. Uh, nah, that was a jab at the pocket watchers in particular. Like, I just... Holy shiitake mushrooms. Yes, Minxie. I'm glad I'm not the only one that thinks you should learn something new every day. Life would be boring. Yes. I'm appreciative over anything that I learn in regards to something new. I literally just took an online course on educational psychology. Just did like a 25-hour course on educational psychology and got a, a certification in it. So I'm not, I'm not opposed to learning and newing, learning new things. In fact, I'm going to learn a lot from my audience. I'm going to educate you guys on some stuff. You're going to educate me on some stuff. And we're going to grow together on this journey. Like this is, this is, this is my, my YouTube, my Twitch streaming journey. And you guys are all on it with me. And I expect you're going to drop logic bombs and I'm going to drop logic bombs. Right? And we're going to grow together. But to have this very like ignorant, arrogant take on you know, consuming products is so, it, it's mind numbingly, I told you, trying to, trying to rationalize this and trying to make a logical argument, even in regards to Griffin on this is you can't do it sober. And even if you weren't sober, you wouldn't be able to do it. It's just, it's a really, this is a really bad take or shaming people that are not happy about a price point for a graphics card that should not be price pointed that much. Like in NVIDIA, and, and the thing that gets me in NVIDIA is it doesn't even give zero fucks. They are totally fine with prancing around going, we know we're overcharging you and we don't care. Explain. Obviously, they shouldn't double the price. The whole part... Uh, was a wait that whole part was about a very specific group of people that claimed me buying a 3090 was going to damage the gpu market griffin did you not realize in your dms with mischief you just admitted to him that you agree they shouldn't have raised the price so then what's the problem with what people are telling you you also are in agreement that the price hike shouldn't have happened and yet you're standing by nvidia and going against the gamers if the whole purpose was to expose mischief congratulations you failed you're only exposing yourself which is true then your plies and says it absolutely does to an extent tells nvidia there's people willing to put down such ridiculous amounts of money on a product all right and this is where i clap back i say if i see a value what's the problem i use my 3090 for more than the game new mods welcome to the family son oh thank you soro for the 199 yes welcome to the welcome welcome is all the like again you guys will be modded and stuff throughout time and 
depending on how big the stream is. I, I, f I honestly have the same take in regards to moddom as Rich does. You can never have enough mods, so functionality since it's a workstation card and not just a gaming card it replaced the titan line for that reason oh come on griffin who are you if you find okay there's a difference between like wow the dis disconnect is real like if you find value in a product it doesn't necessarily mean that you agree with the price point you know i would see like the value that i see in an ass cushion for my computer chair is if it was five hundred dollars why would I spend $500 on a single ash, ass cushion for my computer chair when I could just go get a better computer chair? Probably for either the same price or less and be comfortable in my chair. Like, I, I don't, this is the same mentality like, uh, oh my God, I want that car because I want it and not doing any research on that car whatsoever and then it breaking down two months later. Like, what? It, like, is this, is this how, I mean, I don't give a shit how Griffin spends his money, but it's actually kind of funny how he spends his money. Because if you don't actually do any research on anything that you're buying, um, especially, like, why wouldn't you do research on computer parts? You can compare and contrast all day long. There, there's many, many websites that you can do this on. You're trying to convince. Why do you need a 4090 for what you do? You don't do any goddamn editing. Yes, you, it's, it's quality over quantity, for sure. You don't do 3D rendering, you don't make animations, you don't use Blender, you buy it just because it's top of the line, even though it's mostly intended for workloads. A standard 4080 is more than enough for your basic ass editing and gaming sessions. And this is where it gets even better, bro. This is where the whole thing falls apart and why I'm looking forward to responding to this video, because this is absolutely retarded. He literally admits, I see the value as well. Wait, what? So Mischief says, I see the value as well, but he's still arguing. Oh, thank you, Mimi. Thank you for becoming a member of the Mink Squad. Whoa, Julian, why are you deleting messages? Ayo, that was a mistake. <laughs> Welcome, Mimi, to the Mink Squad again. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for your membership. So the dude calling me out for saying that I don't care how expensive the 4090 or 3090 is literally admits that he thinks the value is there as well, that the price is justified. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. Delta brings up a good point. Doesn't the act man have a 3070 and edits more than Griffin? He doesn't need a 3090 for what he does. That's an exactly good point. Just be, He doesn't need it, but he just wants it. Right? That's like someone going, oh my God, I'm going to buy this shiny Lamborghini. I don't give a shit what's underneath the hood. I just want the shiny Lamborghini. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a car show and I'm going to try to act like a car guy because I've got my shiny Lamborghini that I know sweet fuck all about. It's the same fucking thing with Griffin. Like I've got the shiny magical computer because it's shiny and I got to spend like maybe, I don't know however many thousands he spent on his computer, but fuck, man. I don't want to know. I don't honestly do not want to know how much Griffin's computer costs, right? Because that's like, that's like agony. Um, <laughs> but that's like, ooh, I'm going to buy that shiny sparkly computer just because it's shiny and sparkly. Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> No, you're all right, Griffin. Thank you. Everyone in this. Oh, sorry. You're all right, Julian. Thank you. This room is now dumber for having listened to it. Yes, I agree. Everybody on stream is now dumber listening to your take on that. Aw, thank you, Jay. Thank you for the four ninety nine super chat. I appreciate you. You are forever very sweet and very generous. I thank you. Want to know how much my laptop was? Yes, Battle Puppet. How much was your laptop? Are you serious? Yes, actually look into the specs of things. If you are in the market... Okay, so if any console fanboys jump into... Jump into this stream or whatever. Or anybody that does compare things. Educate yourself. Watch videos. Look at graphics cards. Look at power supplies. Look at motherboards. And find... Like, tailor your computer 
for what you need and what you want. And you can do it rather inex inexpensively, right? I mean, again, my computer that I am going to upgrade now, you, you could build a gaming PC for under $1,200. Yes, $1,200 is a bit expensive, don't get me wrong, but I can build a whole computer for the price of that graphics card. You spent $5,000 on your laptop? Why did you do that? 5K? Battle Puppet! Why? See, laptops are a bit janky for me. I wanted a future future, future per, proof for the next 10 years because I could, from inheritance, I got it. See, that's a little bit more of a viable argument. And, and, I, and I'll explain this, ladies and gentlemen. Laptops are not easy to upgrade. Right? So you have to think that because you technically cannot upgrade your laptop to the level that you can upgrade a PC to, I can, I can understand, you know, having some fuck you money and buying a laptop that you know that is going, you're, you're future proofing for X amount of years. See, that makes some sense to me. It's not necessarily something that I would do, but in regards to a laptop, that makes more sense, right? That's, that's got some logic behind it. Griffin, aren't you a college boy? Aren't you educated? Come on, come on, Griffin. Just because Mischief agrees that he sees the value. I move a lot, so desktops always have been a bit iffy for me, and that's fair. Like if you, you're paying for the convenience of a laptop that's gonna last you for years, and give you the mobility that you need. If you cannot sit behind a desktop, if you're constantly moving, if you're in the military, if you're in the, you know, the freaking CIA, if you have a job that has you constantly on the go, whether you're like a business analyst or whatever, like paying that level of money for a laptop for that convenience, because you're moving around, you're, you're traveling and you, you cannot invest in a, you cannot arguably invest in a desktop computer because you're barely going to be on it. That's a logical argument for me. You know, I can get on board with some of those talking points. You in these cards does not mean he has to agree in the price. Those are two separate things. I seriously can't believe you think you got a couple items. They do a lot. Does that mean we think they should be $1,600? Uh-uh, no. Jesus Christ, Griffin, I'm quite disappointed in you. This video isn't being made out of hate. See, and battle, I can appreciate that because you took the time and you, you educated yourself. You did a lot of research, right? So what? So what that it's that was five it was five thousand dollars, right? I don't care how you spend your money, but you made an educated decision for yourself per your lifestyle, right? That you buying the five thousand dollar laptop was not. Oh my god, it's so beautiful, it's so shiny. I need to have it. No, it was. This is a long term investment, and I move around a lot, and this suits my lifestyle. I'm not looking to go to war with you or be your enemy. I'm just pointing out what you're doing wrong before you continue to worsen it. Trust me, Griffin, the last thing I want to see is you become a channel that's mainly used to harvest salt. You're better than this. You can easily bounce back from- Honestly, I think that- Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I need your honest opinion. Be honest with me on stream. You know I love you all. Do you think Griffin Gaming's YouTube channel is getting to the point where it can be harvested for salt? I mean, this is pretty salty so far. This is pretty, pretty salty so far. Do you think Griffin Gaming is at the point where he can really start being harvested for salt? From a take like this, if you play it right. Because trust me, it really stings watching you get clapped by the 16-year-old and your own com- He not only got clapped by a 16-year-old, so Mischief did actually have some good points, which is why I, I, I linked the videos at the beginning of the stream, but you clapped your own cheeks, Griffin. You bent over and gave it to yourself. You had, you had the right mindset a fucking year ago. What happened? My dude. Like, did you, did you bonk your head? What happened? What happened to all brain function? It flew out the window. It jumped on the fucking Aladdin rug and, and found a whole new world. Where did it go?
community. For the love of God, do not allow this to be the beginning of your downfall. Anyways, I can tell you're all starting to vomit from the overdose, so I'm gonna ask you politely yet firmly to leave. Consider becoming a member of the channel. Like, comment, share. Thank you for that. Can we get... All right. All right. Let's get some hands in the chat. You know it's gonna happen. Papa Frit. Thank you. Thank you for this epic donation of salt. We appreciate you. I have a lot to learn. I, my, my epic quest to become salt queen. So what I'm going to do, because of this amazing exposure, I'm going to put Rich's song on again because we need it. I think it's needed. Exposed. Exposed. Everybody fill the chat with some fucking hands for Papa Frit and his level of saltdom. It is insane. It is amazing. The fact that he took his own content and roasted the shit out of Griffin and basically made him take it up the ass. Wow. That is beautiful to fucking see. Yeah, let's get some 07s in the chat. I would love some 07s in the chat for, for Papa Frit. Oh, man. Just study for its videos if you want to be the Salt Queen, Minxie. I don't know. Oh, man. That is brilliant. So, in, this, in, in the wonderful timeline of things, ladies and gentlemen. So, on this stream, Papa Frit was responding to Griffin Gaming's response to mischief's video now griffin did have a couple decent talking points i'm not going to give i'm not going to take that away from him oh bacon, dylan salt popcorn yes we have some salty bacon we have some salt and we have some popcorn thank you for that ten dollar donation dylan i appreciate your face you are fantastic thank you so much um and i appreciate anybody that donates or supports my channel I really do. You guys are, are epic and it's not a requirement <laughs> at all, but it is used to, to, it's used to, to grow my salt kingdom. Let's just say that. Bacon salt, bacon salted popcorn sounds amazing. That sounds like diabetes. That sounds like diabetes squared, <laughs> but we jumped forward in this stream. What I'm going to do is if you have not seen this full stream, I suggest you watch it. We're not going to go over all of it. All right. We're going to go over the part where Griffin comes on stream with Papa Frit and has a conversation with him. There is a communication to be had between the two of them. And I really would love chat's take on this. Um, and let's do that. Let's hold on to our butts, ladies and gentlemen. And let's let's see. Let's see. Let's let's be objective. Let's see what Griffin Gaming has to say. Okay? Gaming in the chat! I'll talk. Alright. Let's get you. Message me on Discord. I'll get you into the call. Let's go! Let's go! Griffin's totally unreasonable. I mean totally reasonable and totally not unhinged run. I just like I don't know, man. I don't need to hear the perspective of a bunch of brokies who can't even fucking buy it anyway. Like, fuck off. Damn, Griffin, the most cut deep knowing that isn't just a quote-unquote brokies calling you out for your weird need to flex your financial decisions and then... All right, is he in the... I'm waiting for Griffin to send me a Discord message so we can chat. Let's go! I honestly, I was, I was going, I was going through, through some things with the Hermacane when this happened, and I, I'm actually really sad that I missed this live stream. I really am. I'm I'm glad I'm glad that Griffin actually came on and had this exchange with Frit. Why are you guys saying no? Let's do it. Let me turn on my PC right now. Fuck yeah, let's Griffin! do it. Griffin. About time. Now we can finally talk. 
Now we can finally play Halo Infinite together, right? <laughs> Cry about people commenting on them. Look Apparently it's me flexing my financial decisions if someone asks me if I'm interested in getting a 4090 mm. and then remembering how people called me out for the 3090 saying I should have bought like a 6900 XT instead or some bullshit. I don't even know, man. The whole thing. Yeah, I've had people do that to me too. Where they're like, I can't believe you bought the 3080. You could have gone damn it. And they freak out at me, but I'm like, whatever. My whole reaction isn't to call them broke because they... Yeah, like... Brit isn't going to call them broke because he actually made a purchase that he said, like, he audibly takes a loss on. Like, he will say, like, yes, I purchased that graphics card and it was too much. And I'm salty about it because I'm salty about the price. They bought, buy AMD cards, you know? My whole thing's like, whatever. I don't give a fuck. I want this card because I know what it'll do for my PC. But yeah, I've, I've come across that audience. Or not audience, but those type of people. But I don't really, I don't really give a fuck if they're critical of my purchase. Welcome to the memberships, Jacob G uh, Greer. Thank you for becoming an enabler. We're about to have Griffin live with us. And that's how you should, you should take it. Like, if you're going to boast about any of your financial decisions, on, if you're going to put that out on the interwebs, you're going to receive criticisms here or there. And that's fine. People are going to have their own opinions. It's whether you get butthurt about them or not. Like, either you just let it go or... Like, why does it matter? Why Why do you care? Like, if someone's sitting there going, well, you should have done this and you should have done that and you should have done this, well, that's irrelevant, right? Frit knew he was taking a loss with that, that graphics card. He owned it. He admitted it. He has said it. He is still salty about it. He put it in the video that he did roasting you, Griffin. Like, <laughs> at least he owns his purchases. See, Griffin? See, I didn't even have to ask you to stream with me. This time you decided to jump on. I love that. 199 from McKenzie. Frit, wait, don't let him cheat on one boom. Boom, huh? What do you mean? Two dollars from PG Wavy. Frit plus Griff stream part two. Also, sup, Frit, it's me. Who is, who's me? Who's me? And honestly, like, for me, like real talk chat, unless a content creator is abusing their audience, and I'm going to say abusing their audience, right? So... They're like, you know, the whole e-begging thing or, you know, they're they're feeding a gambling addiction or they're basically taking the generosity of their audience and manipulating it for malicious means. Right. They're they're basically blowing their generosity on just dumb fuck shit like that. I can't get on board with because I am so freaking grateful uh, for anybody who comments on my videos, I don't care if that you're a troll or not. I don't even give a shit if you're a toxic troll. Like, your engagement helps me. So for me, like, anybody that gives me any kind of engagement or encouragement or even the toxicity that you want to throw at me, it is what it is, right? I'm not going to get butt hurt over it. I'm not going to fight with you. If anything, I'm just going to shower you in love. But I appreciate all of it. 100%. PG Wavy. Oh, is that the Wrestling Soup number one fan? $2 from Delta169. Griffin coming in here begging now. Interesting. Yeah, but if you're, like, seriously, if you're going to use your audience's generosity and just piss it away, like, that I cannot get on board with. Otherwise, I don't give a shit what you spend your money on. Like, it's, it's not my circus, not my monkeys. I don't care how you spend your money. Like, that that's you like you know if you if you want to piss away your money that's your bank account to myself in life and that's not how i spend would you look at that no of course i'm gonna let on griffin what do you mean not let him on what are you retarded no I'm drew that is very correct it's one thing to have donation goals to grow your channel but it's another thing to entirely rip off your viewers exactly people that want to donate into your brand because they want to see you grow like say they want to have you invest in emojis or better audio equipment or you know you can be able to pay an editor or what like any anything that would amplify you as a content creator like investing in you because they're investing into you as a person is so fucking beautiful to me it it's it's a level of generosity that i i still like i'm I kind of shut down with honestly because I, I I never thought anybody was gonna like donate to me in the first place. So it's like it, it's it's just a beautiful thing that anybody would spend their hard earned money on any content creator. And I just like I don't understand how you can just throw like being grateful out the fucking window. 
I mean, I'm I'm not why I just I can't I'm not wired that way. I'm really not. I just I don't I don't understand shitting on people that way either. Like I, cause I, I do feel like you're just saying fuck you to your audience. You're saying fuck you to the people that support you and you're you're essentially shitting on them by misusing and manipulating their generosity to like blow it all in fucking Vegas. You know what I mean? Like it, it's one thing to like have a vacation and, and you know, and, like enjoy life, you know, right? Because YouTube is a job. People don't like to think of it that way, but you know, editing, streaming, YouTube, Twitch, it is, it is actually a job, whether people want to acknowledge that or not. There's a lot of fucking work that goes on behind the scenes, even for streams. So the fact that there's not any work put into anything is just like this concept that people just don't don't do any work. It also blows my mind. I'm absolutely going to let Griffin on here. He has every right. To uh, one in chat if Minx, she should get a sound and, and add some birds on stream. I can't take written. No, guys, come on. I can't. I can't. I can't take from Rich. Why would you advocate me taking from Rich? I will have Rich on my soundboard. I am going to order my soundboard. It's going to be ordered this week. And that's because my audience has invested in me. And I appreciate that. And I'm buying a soundboard because you all want me to have one. <laughs> and I think it would be funny. And I would love to have Rich on my soundboard. But I can't, I can't steal the birds. Why would I steal the birds? To speak on his behalf. I'm not going to deny someone the privilege or the like the opportunity to speak on their behalf. I allow it for King Thrash. I allowed it for Jay. No, we got kitties on this channel. I'm not going to take away from all of the glorious cocks that Rich has on his channel. He's got beautiful, bodacious birds. He's got some gloriously big cocks over there. I'm not, I, I can't, I can't steal the birds. Hey, tech. Griffin is, a, Griffin very much deserves that. I mean, come on. There he is. Oh, there we go. Dark Mage said it. Rich is the bird daddy and Minxie is the mama, is the kitty mama. There you go. There you go. No, we're not. We're not replacing cats with birds. We, we got the key meows on this channel. Not, not the birds. All right. He's ready to go. Calling now. Um, I have to change my audio settings. Hold on. Give me a second, Griff. Hold on. Sorry, Griffin. Let me change my output. There we go. Can you hear me? I or can is hear it you. Up? I it's can hear you. All right, well, now you can say that I officially begged to be on your stream. So there yes! you go. Yes! God damn. I've been waiting for that W. You know, Griff, I'm pretty I'm pretty mad at you. I'm not going to lie. What's like? What's the main thing? Well, you said I was begging, right? Yeah, I, that was a shitty choice of words. I know. Of course it was a shitty choice of words. Bro, like, the thing, the thing is, is, like, I was just trying to pop. Okay, so I understand that Griffin is astronomically louder than Papa Frit on this stream. I might have to DM, uh frit and be like when, when you call someone on the discords you can turn their audio down a little bit because so i'm sorry that griffin is so much louder than papa frit i don't have any control over that back real quick because like people were telling me in the chat that you're like talking shit on twitter so i was just trying to like shoot something i, back mean, I was quick. talking was shit it. for sure yeah yeah obviously, that's all i'm saying like, I mean, like, like, if, I, if, I, if i have a fuck up take and, and alex doesn't respond to it i'd be pretty disappointed exactly if Frit has a shitty, like, a, just a completely fucked up take, and Alex doesn't respond to it, Frit would be like, are you sick? Are you okay, Alex? What's going on? Like, Alex jumped on the Lucas thing so hard with Frit, because now Frit's basically given, like, Lucas, the amazing Lucas, the green light to come to PC. Like, Alex immediately jumped on that and is giving him, like, rations of shit for that now. Like, you know? What oh, I, was I wasn't disappointed expecting you not to respond. No, what I was disappointed in, however, is I didn't feel it was fair for you to make it seem like I was desperate for your attention. Exactly. Like, making it seem like someone is, like, over-the-top desperate to get in touch with you or get your attention or anything like that is just a complete fabrication. And, like, yeah, it was not only a shitty choice of words, but it was a fucking lie. It wasn't, it wasn't even a shitty choice of words because there's a difference between lying and a shitty choice of words. Like, that is literally, that's make-believe. That's making shit up. You are lying at that point. Because I've talked yeah, to you no, before. That, again, that was a poor choice of words. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I think I said that in that video as well. But, like, I would have said so, ask okay, or So you say poor choice of words, right? You say yeah. poor choice of words, but you don't feel like your take was bad in general? Like,
I feel like, honestly, in regards to this, do you do chat? Do you feel that Griffin can actually admit that he has a bad take? Because he sits there, he's saying that he it was a poor, it's a poor choice of words. It's a poor cho poor choice of words. That isn't actually owning the fact that you had a shit take. That's just that's damage control, my dude. That's damage control. That's you trying to manipulate the situation and say, oh, you know, that thing that I said was a poor choice of words. It's just like the whole I'm sorry shit where I'm sorry that you felt that way. No, just apologize. It's not I'm sorry you felt that way. It's I'm sorry I upset you. I'm sorry I did this. It's 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 ownership. You have to. That's called accountability. The, like not the choice of words but the way you Wait, which which take in particular like the way i reacted the being told that you're like talking shit about me no no the one with the um the uh j2 cents we'll start off with the j2 cents stuff like oh yeah yeah that's easy to do so basically the only thing i looked yeah what's wrong with griffin saying he can he can take the l's right chat but what's what's wrong with him saying like being open and honest and just saying yeah it was a really shit take it was a really shit take yeah because i was at work at the time so i wasn't really like paying attention I just saw the title because I saw the 4090 cards just got like announced. Uh -huh. So I saw the title and as usual, it's like always the bitching like, oh, it's expensive or whatever, rather than just like looking at the card itself. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I made kind of a shitty choice and just screenshotted that video because of the title and said, oh, yeah, you know, and always like people complaining about the price instead of actually being like. Wait, you wait, what? You screenshotted a video. For your shitty take and it was the complete opposite of the shitty take. Wait, 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 what are what are you saying, Griffin? Wait, what? Excited or something along the lines of that. I don't know. So, but then okay. somebody pointed it out to me that, you know, actually the video was literally saying what you were saying. Just buy like a 30 series card instead if you don't like the price. And I was like, oh, that's a shitty fucking example. I'm going to delete that, which. At yeah, you should have deleted it. You shouldn't have. Wait, dude. You got to research shit before you fucking post it. You gotta, like, if you're taking a, a screenshot or a clip of a video, which is the complete, like, actually is agreeing with you and is the complete opposite of what you're trying to prove. Uh, hello? Oh, I was at work and I saw a thing. And it just, everybody bitches about price points, so I'm gonna take a snap of this and I'm just gonna post it on the internet. No wonder, no, like, no wonder people are roasting the shit out of you. At the beginning of that rant that everybody's been responding to, that's kind of the whole thing that started that rant in the first place. Okay. Was somebody mentioning the fact that I deleted the community post. And I was like, oh yeah. Uh, that was, a, he just admitted, it was a community post on his YouTube channel. So it was a shitty example, you know, I'll take the all on that one. So you agree that the post was uh, was an L, right? And you thought Yeah, no, one, that's why I deleted it. And okay. that was actually one of the first things I addressed in that stream that got me on the 4090 topic anyway. Uh-huh. Okay. Like somebody pointing out like, oh, you're a fucking hypocrite. Like you deleted. And I was like, no, actually, I watched the video when I got a break from work and somebody in the comments was right. They were basically saying the exact same thing I was. OK, see, I thought it was a wise move to delete the post. Right. I was, yeah, like, okay. no, I was no. like, I don't disagree with. One you. Oh, yeah. If you do a shit take on something and it like, well, yeah, if you if you lose all brain cells and do what you did at work, Griffin, without actually watching the video, you're just taking a snap of it and throw it in your community post uh, on your community tab. Um you know, yeah, you should 100% delete that shit. It was like, it was a bad take. What I don't yeah, think, no, that was, was what, what I don't, yeah, what I don't think went well was then when you were streaming and then like your reaction. Yeah. Like, I've had people, look, uh, I, I've been in your position where I bought a 3080 and people are like, how come you didn't get the AMD? Blah, blah, yeah. blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'm like, whatever. Right. Those were the people I was talking about in right. that rant. But the thing is, like, I realize, like, if people own GPUs, they ain't fucking poor for the most part anyway, right? Yeah, I know that shit. I yeah. mean, people come in my stream like every night and go, like, hey, man, I just got like a 27 build and I'm like, or 2070 build. And I'm like, See, there's these things like, okay, I understand everybody's got this, like, oh, the internet is the internet. Okay. But why would I want my image on the internet to portray that I'm fuck dumb? Right? I mean, let's let's have real talk here, chat. Like, I understand trolling. I get it. I love it. Uh, it it's hilarious. But like, when you start becoming like an extremist level of troll, like you just don't give a shit about the epic fuck dumb that you post on the internet because it's the internet and now that is your image that that is that is you on the internet why the fuck would i want to do that that makes no sense i i, I want i want the whole internet to know that i'm i'm stupid like why would i ever want that cool like i'll joke and i'll troll a little bit 
but I'm not going to sit there on Twitter and go complete mental, just like literally take my brain out of my head and chuck it underneath my bed and be like, hey, I don't have brain cells today, guys. Uh, I'm just going to say some fuck dumb shit all day long and confuse the hell out of my audience because all of a sudden I, I'm, I'm, I'm mentally unstable. I don't, I don't understand this thought process. And the internet can be blown out of proportion way too fast, right? So for me, it's like, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll throw some jokes on my Twitter and shit. But this whole, like, this whole concept of, oh, it's just, it's just the internet. I'm like, yeah, but it's also your image on the internet. And is that really how you want to portray yourself on the internet to the, technically the entire world? Because it's not just the public, right? It's the entire world. Everybody for the most part, has, unless you're like really a, like a third world, world country that does not have access to internet at all, but the majority of the world has access to the internet. Why, why would I want that? Like, <laughs> That's awesome. I'm like, I'm not out here going like, oh, that's a fucking dog shit GPU. You get a 3090, you fucking peasant. Like, oh, that doesn't me, happen. Uh, let me read this in the chat. Strohut TV, Griffin, you should delete your channel because your whole channel is an L, not only the post. Strohut, that's kind of fucking far-fetched, don't you think? Like, that's like... Yep. Yeah, educate yourself, Griffin, and you won't seem like a jackass if you, like, invest in a Skillshare subscription, buddy. <laughs> yeah, educate yourself. Uh, I don't agree with this individual that's basically telling Griffin to delete his whole channel. Uh, I think that's a little extreme. But, I mean, you're sitting here. Okay, and here's here's the thing. Like, Griffin... You've roasted the amazing Lucas on your channel. Do you really think that you can still potentially like roast the amazing Lucas on your channel if you're acting like this? Like you got schooled by your own take. This is like epic levels of L's going on here. Like this is. I don't think I've ever seen this ever. Much. Yeah, like, not... It's one thing to roast somebody. It's another thing to have somebody roast themselves. Like it, it, that is the epitome of holy shit. I'm not going to tell you to delete your channel, yeah, no. Griffin. I for one. If he wants will... to cut me a check, I'll do it. Like... <laughs> cut you a check to delete the channel. <laughs> yeah, let's do like a. Like, you can still make value. a comeback from all of this, in my personal opinion. But honestly, like the whole take from my perspective, as someone who can afford all of this stuff, was it. Yeah, that's like cancel culture telling somebody to delete their whole channel. Like, you know, I mean, I don't necessarily agree with that. I think, I think, uh, if Griffin from a year ago could come back to us, though, that would be great. At least rewind a year. It came across that you were just salty. People were critical of your purchase, and it, I well, mean, yeah, like, and I've, I mean, that's the I've thing is, salty. I'll talk shit about anybody. Right. That's the, well, that's the whole thing I do in my streams. It's not just like a graphics card topic or anything. Like, I'll just start ranting about anything. Hmm. Well, like, I don't... We... See, you start ranting about anything on your streams, and arguably, there has not been a single person that I've interacted with that actually says that your streams are good. Um, they say that your videos on your YouTube channel are good, but your live streams are considerably dog shit. Chat, am I correct in this? Would you say that Griffin's live streams are a shit show compared to his actual YouTube videos? We've had debates really about Call, like Call of Duty, for example. Thing. That was another one. Here's the thing. I'm watching your, um, your takes on the Actman with like Call of Duty, right? Okay. Yeah. I watched Brother Near's video. I watched the takes. And I'm seriously starting to kind of like question. I'm actually going to watch Brother Near's video on um the whole act man griffin thing so we might do that on another stream just so you know and you sometimes griff because i watched you like for like two years right every now and then and i thought you've had pretty decent takes for the most part but like your takes when it comes to cod are pretty mm -hmm. fucking bad I'm one not, in like, particular I'm, well <laughs> well your takes on uh what act man was saying about vanguard they but were like one in particular though oh the ones on zombies the one how you said Vanguard yeah, said had more content. In the you said Vanguard had more content than any COD game. Was your exact... Delta says, I've been telling for Tango over a year that Griffin dreams have been complete trash. We shrugged it off because he works a job, but they've gotten worse since then. Okay, you know, if you, like, if he, he has his jam outside of YouTube, that's fine. That's fine. But... 
I mean, to each their own, honestly. If there is individuals that like Griffin's live streams as they are currently, how current how currently uh, Griffin is conducting himself, more power to you. If you get enjoyment out of Griffin's streams, cool. Good for you. Right. I would almost consider you part of like an, an echo chamber at that point. But when you have the mass majority of individuals who have been in the same odd, like there's a shared audience pool, right? Like they watch Mischief, they watch Frit, they watch Alex, they watch Griffin, they watch the Ackman. It's like a shared pool of an audience. And you have the majority of that audience saying, Griffin, your live streams are dog shit compared to your videos. Like, apparently he has the worst shit takes in his live streams. And I think that he has proven that time and time again. Words. Yeah, long and, 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 and then throughout that entire video with zombies, as the actor pointed out, has less content than previous zombie games, more so than ever before. Way less yeah, content. I literally said in that, no, in that stream, I literally said, I don't play zombies, so I have no fucking clue. The whole thing people were pissed about me about zombies was, as I was saying, it's probably more of a case that they just put, it was developed by Treyarch than actually developed by Treyarch. Well, that's what, that's you, what assume, people were coming you, you assume Treyarch did it. Yeah, but that's it. really the only thing I commented on on zombies. Like, if you go back and you watch the replay... You also said that you didn't build barricades, right? Oh my gosh, Julian. Griffin's Vanguard takes in his Ackman reaction stream are septic trash, especially in the multiplayer section. Holy crap. All right. Boys and girls, should we go over the Actman Griffin Vanguard video? I think we might have to. I think we might have to harvest some more salt. Because holy shit, that is a strong statement, my dude. You said you didn't In play what, zombies? You said, yeah, you also said you didn't play zombies. You didn't care about it. Yeah, I haven't played zombies since like Black Ops 1. Since Black Ops 1. Yeah, I don't right. really like zombies. But yeah, you realize, right, that Vanguard did objectively have less content in zombies than previous. I know, I was talking about multiplayer. All right, the when I said more content than any COD, I'm saying multiplayer because it launched with double the amount of launch maps. It launched with 20 multiplayer maps, which is more than any other game in the franchise history. Right. But you were okay with Battlefield having less maps, right? No. I didn't know how many maps were coming to Battlefield. Hmm. I made a video saying not to buy Battlefield after I played the beta. After the beta, right. That's where I'm going to give you, like, the... Yeah, I give you a pass on that one. You did say that afterwards, so... Yeah, no, I... I literally salt for the salt gods. Yes. Praise Cheez-Its. Salt for the salt god. And the funny thing is that I say holy Cheez-Its and Cheez-Its are extremely salty. Like, let's compound, let, 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 let's deconstruct that one. Holy Cheez-Its. Yes. Salt for the salt gods. Literally have put zero minutes in the battlefield. I haven't played it. Five dollars from Butterism. Griffy, sometimes you just got to take the L and admit you. Yeah, I, you know what? Silent, I agree with you. There's a lot of sodium that I need to get caught up on. There is, and I feel like there is a lot in this interaction between Frit and Griffin. Made a bad take. I did when I defended the Skyward Sword HD. Stop doubling down. I agree with this take, uh, with, with that super chat, Griffin. I still think you're doubling down on your previous take. But, now, like, what is the take that I'm doubling down on that's, like, so wrong? Uh, it's basically a poor shaming people. And you said you didn't poor shame, right? You don't think you poor No, shame. that wasn't the intention of it. It may have come off that way, which, again, well, I apologize. It may have come off that way. Frit owns you with your own content. He literally took your rant from a video from a year ago and schooled you with yourself. That happened. That fucking happened in a YouTube video. I have seen roasts of many people, but there are other people roasting someone else. Griffin, you roasted your damn self in that video. Frit, honestly, Frit literally could have posted very minimal content in that video and just had you roasting yourself that's how bad it was you owned your own cheeks my dude all guys for the wording said, of that well no you said your exact words were i wasn't poor shaming anyone but i have a clip where you say yes i was poor shaming them uh yeah the people like literally or not really even that more of just talking shit about the people who have like no but job way, it's no life shaming. it's poor shaming griffin all right whatever i mean sure whatever if you want to call it that that's fine it's like if whether you think no, it it is. That's exactly what it is. It's poor shaming. It not whatever, not ever whatever you want to call it. It is. It is legit poor shaming. That's what it is. If it's wrong or not, I don't care. But I'm not going said, after somebody. You you no, no, no. Wrong. Listen. So I'm not going. So how, how do you roasting, salty, console fanboys? How 
it's the same thing. Like, chat, is Griffin a PC fanboy? I feel like he's a PC fanboy. I feel like, and, and this, 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 is, this is my thoughts, that, you know, when you get somebody that comes off console like a really extremist fucking fanboy, let's say someone like PS5, right? And they're like, oh my God, I'm going to PC. And they go, I'm going to buy the shiniest, biggest dick computer just because. I'm going to drop $5,000 on a computer because I have no idea what a computer does. This is the same shit. This is the same shit, chat. He is a fanboy. He's a PC fanboy. It's no different than if someone was to ignorantly come off console and be like, her, I'm just going to buy that PC because it's, it's, it's sparkly and big. I'm just going to push some buttons. Yes, PC fanboy detected. Hell to the fucking yeah. NVIDIA fanboy is more like it, Minxie? Yeah, well, that's a fair point, too. ...after people for, like, their financial status, it's more so going after people for their actions. For their actions? Like what? Yeah. There, that was just, like, a YouTube comment, right? It was a super chat that came your way, right? Or, uh... So, like, the whole poor shaming thing was literally the people that I call pocket watchers, okay? Mm-hmm. So... It... I don't agree with pocket watchers. I don't. I don't agree with that. Again, I don't give a shit if... Griffin Gaming goes broke tomorrow. I don't care. <laughs> I, give, I give zero fucks about that. If you don't fall into this category, like I said in the video, if it don't apply, let it fly. So if you either sit on the internet all day doing absolutely nothing with your life and you're mad at how other people who have more money than you spend their money, like if you're upset that somebody goes out and buys something they want. Because Why would you just automatically assume that they have that you have more money than them? What? Because you can't get it. Those are the type of people I'm talking about. Do you I'm not think those talking... were the people that were being critical of your purchase, though? But that's the thing is like the whole rant because that wasn't was your even... chat. That was your audience. Those were no, your no, no, no. Like the, th the th yeah, the, the the people that were getting salty with you, Griffin, were the fucking average consumer that do not agree because they have owned PCs their entire, you know, longer than you've been maybe potentially breathing air. I don't know how old you are, so I can't actually, you know, make this comparison. But when we you go from you go from graphics cards that were like $600 to now we're looking at NVIDIA graphics cards that are freaking $1,500. That is a gross and disgusting price jump. Like, what? No, it doesn't need to be that price for what it does. Right? And because we know it doesn't need to be the price for what it does, yes, people are going to get older graphics cards. Because they do what this particular graphics card fucking does. Thing was, is like, the whole rant wasn't even start. He's 25? Holy cheez-its. Really? Started by people in my chat. The whole rant was basically started on me looking back at that video I made, I don't know, like two years ago, it was like why I returned my 3090. I remember and that I had, video. Yeah. yeah, and I had a bunch of people in the comment section who were not regular viewers, because you can check. Okay. And they're like, oh, you should have bought a 6900 XT, or oh, like you wasted your money on a card. Who gives a shit? Who gives a shit? Who gives a shit? So, people had opinions. They thought you bought it, like, they, they thought that you didn't get the bang for your buck. They just expressed opinions. They just gave you their opinion. Who the fuck cares? Like, that's okay. It's okay if people have opinions, Griffin. Like, what are you, are you sitting there fighting in your comment section with everybody? Like, are you pulling, like, uh, an actual, like, are you doing low cow status? Are you fighting with everybody in, in your, in your chat? Because if you're doing that shit, yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna signal your downfall pretty fucking quickly like all that type of shit so it was more in response to those type of people it wasn't anyone in particular in the chat that even set me off in the first place okay it was I just mean, kind of reminiscing was, about that shit you say not set off but that was pretty ranty for you no i understand it's it's a ridiculous amount of money for the 4090 it really is i would never i would not i personally would not buy a 4090 and i do editing i work i work on blender like i create i create gaming assets so I personally do not see the value. I mean, yes, 
I could say arguably that there is value in the 4090, but not for the price point. That that price is not of value specifically to me. Like I, I'm not willing to pay sixteen hundred dollars for a 4090. It doesn't mean that it's a completely dog shit card. Rogue Spartan Mint Mixy One. What do you, if you think if he just said, "I said the whole thing poorly. It was directed at other people." I get why people have a problem with the 4090. I would, me personally, if Griffin got on this exchange with Frit and immediately said, I did a really terrible fucking take. Like it was a dog shit take. It was a bad take and just owned it. Um, And then said, you know what? I was directing, like my rant was actually directed at individuals that, uh, you know, wallet chase or you know that are basically telling me how to spend my own money right something something along those lines just own the fact that you did a dog shit take that's fine griffin is coming off like wings of redemption footage i've seen now oh my god really oh that's bleak thomas at minxy one i keep my playstation is a great game console big fact please listen look here, listen, look here, listen, look here. Okay. I have nothing wrong. I, I don't, I don't have a problem with the PlayStation. I love video games, so I don't really care what platform it's on. I do love the fact that more things are becoming cross-platform because I think, you know, I don't think anybody should be forced to buy anything, right? Um, especially in regards to gaming. So if your buddy has a video game on freaking the PlayStation 5, you should be able to play with your PC buddy, right? That that's the gamer world I would like. Um I don't I don't need me personally, I don't need a million and one exclusives. It's actually kind of frustrating to me as a content creator that I can't play with every single one of my audience members because not everything is cross-platform. So like as a from a content creator's perspective, especially with Vigi games, like I want that cross platform because if I have that game, I want to be able to play it with my audience. Like you're not the type of guy that raises his voice by any means because I've watched all your videos. And oh, when I play COD, yeah, I get like yeah, that. But when you get disgruntled, you do tend to swear more and go off the cuff. And, oh, I swear a lot anyway. Yeah, but you seemed genuinely upset by those people's comments and J Two Cents comments, right? Like I'll give you the J Two Cents. J Two Cents. No, J Two Cents. Now I wasn't upset about the, the post. I'll give you. I'll give you a pass on that one, but like with your own audience, I don't really understand like how you got that upset. Where it was like you would. But then, that's the like, thing is, it wasn't my audience that I was upset at. It was just the idea of like those people. The idea of. You were upset by the jeez, the animosity that like those people. I was upset by those people. Jeez. Those people. Yeah, there wasn't there wasn't like anybody particular in my chat that was saying like, oh my god, you're a fucking retard for buying a 4090. Like, I don't remember anything like that. Literally, the only thing regarding the 4090 I saw was like, why did you delete your post about the 4090? And then that kind of st like started the whole snowball of me talking about like when I bought my 3090, mm -hmm. people were sitting there bitching about me spending my money on something I wanted. And that kind of like started the whole thing talking like, yeah, and I guarantee you there's gonna be like other people talking about that shit when I get my 4090. And you know, yeah, Drew, a PC and a Switch is what I prefer. Exactly. It's it's literally what you prefer. And there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing at all. Absolutely nothing. Then, well, I mean, at the end gonna, of it... People are going to talk shit regardless. Yeah, but that's right? the thing is, if they want to talk shit, I'll talk shit back. That's kind of the whole concept of the stream. Yeah, but if you're going to talk shit back, at least have a fucking leg to stand on, Griffin. You can't talk shit if you don't have any... Like, you have no foundation to talk the shit, my dude. Seriously. You owned yourself. You, ha you have nothing. There's no platform. There's nothing. There's no base for your argument. You can't talk any shit, especially in this instance. Yeah, I understand the talking shit back, but like then there was the whole sixteen hundred dollars isn't life changing. I'm really gonna question you on that one. Like I, I don't. Did think you, you get can, to that part of the video? I don't think you can walk your way out of this one, Griffin. <laughs> Did you get to that part of the video though? Uh, in your uh, response, no, not yet. Yeah, so, like, the whole premise with that, like, that's the part I definitely fucked up, like, super hardcore on. And looking back on that, like, I really do regret saying that shit. Uh -huh. Because. Yeah, he should have said all of this instead of a 40-minute, 40 48-minute 40 response video. Yeah, like, his 48-minute his response video, guys, that was just a bunch of L's. 
Like he honestly, he wasn't, he was not taking the L's. He was like, that was redirection, right? That's, oh, you know, I had a poor choice of words. I you know, that, that's not, I had a shit take, you know, that that's not like, you got to hold yourself accountable. If you're not going to hold yourself, like if you agree, like if it was pointed out to you that your take was really bad for A, B and C, right? What's wrong with owning it? Just own it. It's okay. Like, in fact, people are going to appreciate the fact that you owned that L and you admitted that you fucked up, opposed to doubling and tripling down and try to do damage control, because that's all that it feels like Griffin's doing at this point. Because I meant to kind of put it more in the framework of saying, like, if you're even considering buying something like a 4080 or a 4090, then it's not going to be like a life-changing sum of money. So I don't really understand why people are acting like it is because, I mean, let's face it. If you're looking at spending 1600 bucks on a graphics card, that's obviously not life-changing money to you. The thing is, the people being critical were not looking to spend 1600 bucks. No, they weren't looking to pay space 600, like $1,600. The ones that were being critical had, would not and have no intention of spending $1,600 on the 4090. On the card, you get what I mean? And everybody was like, what the fuck, dude, is with your disconnect because you don't understand. Like, yeah, but that's what I'm looking to pay that. And that's why they were critical of the price. And, and but they're then, critical of the you thing, saying that you wouldn't mind if they doubled. Now, you yeah. said hyperbole. You said it was hyperbolic statement. Oh, but it yeah. It does not like, come off that, that way whatsoever price. in the video. I've watched it. Uh, Don John Smith, like it or not, Minxie exclusive games are in some way a necessity. Necessary. It's sad. Yeah, but it's true. They promote creativity. Yes, John, Don John, I can I can see that point of view, but me personally as an indie developer, if you love video games, I I personally would like um the po the populace to have the ability to buy whatever games they want to buy and play it on any uh medium that they want to play it on. I know that that's a very broad view, but and I, I don't have anything against exclusives. I grew up with exclusives. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm older, so I've, I've grown up with exclusives. But with my love of video games and how much fun I have gaming, and how much other people have fun gaming, I would rather have them have access to their preferred platform with any of the games that are released. Um, and that's another reason why I love Steam so much. Uh, I don't mind waiting for some things. I don't even wait mind waiting for some PC ports. You know, the PC Master Race is PC Master Race for a reason for me personally. Um, because I can't argue buying a console, right? I can't argue like our auto like I could argue buying a Switch just because of Nintendo, but I'm not gonna buy a Switch. So you know, it is what it is. Like, I'm going to get a Steam Deck. Like, I want a Steam Deck. But for me, like, I have so many games on PC that I can play. So many games that, like, you know, a handful of games that are on my wish list and stuff. Like, I'm not lacking in, in video game content for me, like, video games for me to play. And as more PC ports happen, that's just more shit for me to play. And if you love video games, you're going to fucking play, it, like, anything and everything that you like multiple okay. times can i just say something real quick okay so in the like original clip of me saying like the 1500 bucks isn't like a life-changing sum of money like immediately after that i follow it up oh no we don't cancel don john for having an opinion we appreciate opinions we appreciate opinions on my stream i love opinions i love your thoughts i love going back and forth with you guys with like i think what like less than one percent of the pc market's actually gonna buy this uh -huh. so that was me like i guess thinking that I wanted it in that framework, but I just didn't do a good job conveying it up front because I was more focused on playing. Dylan, you are correct. Yes, I'm kind of that way with exclusives. Would it be nice if they were on all platforms? Yes, it fucking would because we all love Vigi games. My, on me, on my channel, I advocate. We all love the Vigi games. I love Nintendo games. I love PlayStation 5 games. I, I love Xbox games. I love all of the third party games. I just love video games. Anything that brings you enjoyment, like, you're an adult for a very long ass period of time, right? So if you're playing a video game, like you've had a rough day at work, right? And you're getting enjoyment out of a video game. I don't give a shit if it's fucking Elden Ring or Candy Crush, 
like you do you. Enjoy what games you want to play because that's happiness. That's joy. I love Lego games too, Benjamin. Fuck yeah. Like just, just, I love video games. That, that's the heart of it. And yes, exclusives are necessary. Very much for Nintendo. Um, I don't, I don't necessarily agree with Nintendo's practices. They, they've definitely become more of the mafia over the years for the gaming world. Um, I hope that <laughs> that changes a bit, <laughs> but it is what it is for right now. I can, I see what you mean. Like less than 1%. Yeah, no, but like I think, I think, 100%. I think I'll take the fucking hour. I think the argument people are making is that it should be more available by being cheaper. Because if you look in the past, like the flagship GPUs for NVIDIA used to max out like at 600 bucks. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. I don't know shit about PC components. So I, which I, I, can I love all your thoughts. I love all of your chat. Like, dude, I love interacting with my chat. You guys are fantastic human beings. You guys are lovely. Uh, I love seeing your thoughts and feelings in regards to this, especially for the, you know, all of the gamers, right? Tell. I can fucking tell. I just want the most powerful GPU. Like, that's it. Wait, what? You just want the most powerful GPU? That's it? Oh, shit. Oh, here we go. Oh god, I'm gonna get heartburn. Oh, Griffin's gonna day say some dumbass shit, isn't he? <gasps> okay, let's go. But why though? Is what I'm wondering. Why not? Because, well, because life short. Yeah, life is short. But like, fuck, like you don't exactly do workloads like Cineblend. You don't do 3D rendering. I just want it, man. I don't know what to tell you. I just want to have it. Oh my god. Really? So about that uh, Lamborghini analogy that I made earlier. I just want it because I want it. That's fine. I mean, if you, again, if you want to piss your own fucking money away, you do you. But when you have people calling you out because you're poor shaming and you're saying some fucked up shit on your stream, people are going to criticize you when you have hot takes like that. When you start mouthing off about a fucking graphics card. You just want to have it. You just want the position. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, no. All right. I'm bracing myself, chat. Shit. I don't have anything to, like... <sighs> should I have gotten whiskey for this chat? I feel like that should have been a thing. It's all right. Exactly. Okay. Well, I under... Like, fuck. Like, I don't know what to tell you, but as a person who, like, looks for a gaming GPU and a work GPU, I do not see where the 4090 is going to fit into my life. I mean, do you have a PC? <laughs> I agree with Frit 110%. I have a work, it's a work, my PC is a work PC and a gaming PC. I don't see the relevance of the 4090 fitting into my life. You're going to be able to handle the 4090? Actually, I'm thinking of buying a new PC. You're going to so. need a new PSU. <laughs> no, I got, a, I got a thousand watt PSU. I'm good. You got the, do you have the fucking adapter to connect that card? It's a three prong? Um, I'm pretty sure. Mm. You just I want the card. You just basically, so basically you just want the card to have it, but you don't really understand how it's going to like yeah, you don't you like, don't understand how much like you don't understand the uh, what it's going to do for you right you just want it cuz it's the most powerful one well i just know it's more powerful than what i have right now that's it that's all you know that's all like, you know about the, the gpu I, I, wait griffin is roasting people on technology and he doesn't know anything about the technology wait a shit is this actually happening whole what Huh? What? Wait, what? You do gaming shit and technology and you do like you roast fan like what? Wait, what? All right. Let me let me tell you. Have you heard of how I built my PC originally? Oh god, here we go. Delay, or I shouldn't even I watched, say built. I, re I, re I remember watching your um your video where you came to PC gaming. But do you remember like what I said? No, no, I don't remember about the uh the building part. No, but I just remember the video okay. specifically. Okay. So literally literally the way i built my pc and this shows you how like this is kind of my mindset when it comes to most things this is okay brace yourself ladies and gentlemen this is the mindset for most things for griffin gaming oh man i'm so excited to listen to this is i didn't want to have to worry about a fucking thing so i saved up enough money for like a year and a half because i wasn't really making money at you on youtube at this point okay. i was only still making money from like reselling while i was in college uh -huh. so i saved up a bunch of money for like a year and a half so that I could literally just go on the site and click the most expensive component in each individual option. So I wouldn't have to fucking think about it. Uh.
What? Wait, what? Oh, my fucking Cheez-Its. Oh, sweet baby kittens. Oh, the stupid. Oh, there's so much fucking stupid here. Okay. Oh, you, but as a person who, like, looks let's for li a... Let's listen to that again, chat. A gaming GPU and a work GPU, I do not see where the 4090 is going to fit into my life. I mean, do you have a PC that's going to be able to handle the 4090? Actually, have, I'm thinking of buying a new PC. You're going to so. need a new PSU. <laughs> Just no, I got a I got a 1,000 watt PSU. I'm good. You got the, Do you have the fucking adapter to connect that card? Uh, I'm pretty sure. Mm. You just I want the card. You just basically, so basically, you just want the card to have it, but you don't really understand how it's going to like. Yeah, you don't, you like, don't understand how much like you don't understand the uh, what it's gonna do for you, right? You just want it because it's the most powerful one. Well, I just know it's more powerful than what I have right. I know I did a bad streamer thing and I re re went I, I went back too far, but but what what the actual shit fuck? No, that's it. That's all you know. That's all like, you know about the, the GPU. All right. Let me let me tell you. Have you heard of how I built my PC originally? Or I shouldn't even I watched, say built. I, re I remember watching your um your video where you came to PC gaming. He came to PC gaming. Shit! What platform did he come from, guys? There it is. There it is. There it is. You console fanboy. You oh Griffin is exposed. I Fritz just said I remember the video from when you came to PC gaming. Does anybody know what fucking console he came from? Not that it matters. But holy shit. He pulled a fucking he he would he literally pulled what amazing Lucas would pull. Right? I just want the big dick shiny computer because I just want the big dick shiny computer. I don't know anything about computers, so I clicked buttons. Oh my fucking dude. Exposed. 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 Hashtag drama alert. There's you you're a salty fucking console fanboy. What? Hashtag breaking SS sniper wolf has a vagina. More of that at eleven. Vagina. Hey guys, this is scarce here. Lots of news today, lots of exposure. And double upload. So, I am completely ignorant to computers. I have no idea what goes into them, really. I just saved up enough money so I could go on the shiny website and click all the buttons so I didn't have to worry about it to buy my PC. Dude! But do you remember like what I said? No, no, I don't remember <laughs> about the uh, the building part. No, but I just remember the video okay. specifically. Okay. So literally, literally the way I built my PC, and this shows you how like this is kind of my mindset when it comes to most things. And this is your mindset as it comes to most things. Holy shit! Griffin buying a car would absolutely be frightening. Thanks is I didn't want to have to worry about a fucking thing, so I saved up enough money for like a year and a half because I wasn't really making money at you on YouTube at this point. Okay. I was only still making money from like reselling while I was in college. Uh -huh. So I saved up a bunch of money for like a year and a half so that I could literally just go on the site and click the most expensive component in each individual option so I wouldn't have to fucking think about it. Uh, that is how uh, I built my first PC. Uh, and I say build very loosely because NZXT put it together for me. Uh, uh, okay. So this this is the thing, gonna, which is why like, I think it's really. With... Oh. 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 I think my soul just died a little bit. Chat. I don't know nothing about PCs. I just push buttons. Okay. With you, I'm gonna be honest with you. It is. Yeah. It, it com completely comes across as blind consumerism. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't really care. Like, call it whatever you want. It's fine I if mean, you that, don't that's care. The truth. It's, fine. it's obviously you don't care. You don't get that. Well, you say you don't. You don't care, but why are you getting so butt hurt when people call you the fuck out on it? I mean, for real. <laughs> when people call you out on your stupid, why would you even get defensive? Just own the fact that you're fucked dumb. Care, but you seem pretty upset at what people thought about your purchase. I do think you care, Griffin. I really do. like if you save up and you like, and you, a lot of people save up for their PCs, right? 
but everybody especially if you're getting like it built you want the most out of that pc so you're going to do the research you do and I don't think on some level, really... but at the end of the day, when I take a step back, it's like whatever. You know, in the moment, I may have gotten a little heated, it's not, but it's, it's like yeah, in, it's in not the like, thing. It's not a, like a life event that you're gonna remember forever. It's not that kind of thing. What? Yeah. It's... So here's the thing. Like I like this is great. Like all Griffin had to do was push a button, and then he got his Xbox right. So instead of actually make doing any effort or educating himself or even learning about PCs at all, he's like, I just pushed buttons so I didn't have to fucking worry about it, and that's and then bam, I I magically had a PC in my house, and it was it was sent to me. Okay. Just Whatever. like a momentary kind of, it's like a momentary moment of like frustration while I'm getting my fucking ass beat on shipment. And, you know, just in kind of like my Call of Duty shit. Benjamin Cy Griffin was the Xbox version of Lucas and he managed to get into PC gaming. gaming. Seriously. Dude, PC is closed. PC is closed. It's a talking mind state, so yeah. I'm no, I agree. Like if you want my perspective, like... You're coming across like you're actually taking the L right here, like you're not supposed, like you were supposed to in that video. Like here, you're taking. I did more take L's. the L on that. No, I one hundred. No, you did not take the L. You did not. There, there was an accountability. So don't act like you were taking the L. You just like it's a poor choice of words. No, like just, just own it. Just, just own it one hundred and ten percent. Like you know what? I was poor shaming. It was fucked up. I sh It was a really bad fucking take. It was, you know, I was paying attention on, I was paying attention on COD. I didn't realize what the fuck I was saying. And yeah, it was, it was a really hot take. It was a very bad take. Just own it. Just own it. 100% worded the $1,500 thing like comments, a fucking a lot of people in the comments, A lot of people in the comments viewed that video as like sarcastic. They didn't think you were serious about the L and that you were wrong. Or that you were admitting you were Yeah, wrong. but I'm also on enemy turf right now, so. You're not on enemy turf. What the fuck are you talking about? We share an audience. In the context. No, you're not on enemy turf. Like, people are, you're like exposing yourself, dude. Like, honestly, this is sublimely hypocritical. Very hypocritical, especially with your thoughts and your rant in your own video from a year ago. You are very hypocritical. And you're actually exposing your audience, Fritz's audience, Alex's, anybody that had like a crossover audience, just how ignorant you are how much you don't give a fuck and you don't care and how you don't care about being ignorant. You don't give a shit. Like, again, that's why I throw, I threw ignorance is bliss on the thumbnail because you don't actually care enough to educate yourself. And that's funny to me because apparently you're college educated, right? You, you're, you're studying, you've, you've been to college, what have you, whatever. And this is a good argument to having a college degree does not mean you are smart. This is why Elon Musk actually hires people that do not have college degrees. You are the most amazing argument for being educated and fuck dumb at the same time. Just because you have a college degree doesn't mean that you are smart. Next to this shit, yeah, 100%. You're not an enemy of anybody. It's a bad take anyone can come back from. Honestly, it's not even yeah, close not to the worst take I've ever. I mean, if you've had a year of like really bad streams, like let's say, let's say hypothetically, you have a year and a half of really shitty streams that like are slowly bleeding your subscriber count, and they're like, "Hey, I don't, I don't really agree with the hot takes that you have on your streams. They're kind of dog shit, and people are leaving." Like, I mean, you obviously don't give a shit about YouTube, and you don't give a shit about your audience. Which, okay, fine. Found a lot of. SRG Ice is at Minx C1. I shut the gates on PC gaming tight on my way in. <laughs> yes. Shira says at Minx C1, I could build you guys a computer and I would take my time setting up the system so people can have at least the experience that they want. That is fantastic. That's how you should build your computers. Uh, SRGI says at Minx C1, I was dedicated to learning everything I could about PC gaming to get the best experience out of what out of it i've watched countless videos and countless reviews that's i advocate that like if you want the most out of your pc gaming educating yourself is is a fantastic idea and just because it's shiny and bright just because it has a five thousand ten thousand dollar fucking price tag you know doesn't mean it, it it's everything for you know it's not everything that you, it could potentially be right
you know, shiny price tag doesn't mean more. The fucking memes, like 1600 bucks ain't a lot of money. I don't know what DLS has. I have built a computer of my own for the last 10 years. A lot of people do. A lot of PC gamers are like, no, don't get the Dell, like, don't get the pre-built shit. You know, build your own computer because no matter what happens, you can constantly upgrade your computer, which is the argument against consoles. Like, com PCs are, you can upgrade this shit at any time, right? Interchangeable components. You can, you can always upgrade your, your PC. You can't do that with console. You have to wait for the next uh, next console to come out. But that's, again, that's the argument for the PC Master Race. It's like, not only do you have, uh, a, you know, uh, access to loads of fucking video games, but you have the, you actually have the processing power and everything from, hey, I get to upgrade my PC whenever I want or whenever I can afford it or whenever I want to invest in it. Oh, yeah. Dells are absolutely dog shit. DLSS is like, uh... No, I know what DLSS is. I don't know what the fuck 3.0 is. DLSS 3.0? Really? It, it, it kind of just... It... And I don't have any problem with people like... I, I've used gaming... I've used laptops as well. I've used... I've, I've, I've had a, a laptop and I've had a, a desktop... I've had two desktop gaming PCs. And I, I love them both. I love the mobility of having a laptop but also now, because I'm making game assets and I'm building my brand and stuff, like, I'm working on my PC. So having a desktop PC, m you know, makes sense because I'm working in Blender and stuff. It's kind of obvious what it is. I know what, what DLSS is. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's kind of obvious what DLSS 3.0 is, isn't it, Griffin? Aren't they doing some different shit, though, this time? Where it's, like, changing the frame rate or something? It's going to be a lot more. It's going to have more latency. If they're going to give you more frames, but with more fake frames comes more latency. But... You don't really, Griffin. 3.0 stands for the next iteration of. Yeah, I know that, DLSS. but I didn't know like what? the specifics. Okay, okay, all right. The specifics. I know that 3.0 obviously goes on. To fucking it's just a more advanced form of DLSS, and it's locked. Yeah, but like people were in my series. chat were saying it was like a new feature or something. I was like, oh, yeah, I don't know what that is. Have you ever used DLSS for your cards? Yeah. Have you? Yeah. Pretty sure it's on my card right now. You. you Pretty sure, like, I'm not talking about pretty sure. I mean, like, have you ever enabled it and noticed what yeah. it does? Yeah, I put it on performance. Oh mode. lord. Okay. Okay, I'm just, I just want to be reassured that you know what DLSS is. I'm yeah, no, I know like, what DLSS is. I just didn't know the difference between 2.0 and 3.0, which is why I didn't comment on it. But I also said, like, it's kind of bullshit they're locking it behind a paywall, so. Yeah, you did say that. You did say that, but... And, and so, that this also... is the thing I think a lot of people are confusing. Hmm. I'm not defending NVIDIA shit. Like, the 4080, people keep bringing that up. I've never mentioned that thing. Like, if it's a dog shit card, don't fucking buy it. The whole point is, is, like... I don't get into the technical specifications and shit like that because I don't fucking know anything about it. I've never talked about like specs. I think I've made should. fun of. Com I think you no. should. It shows that you don't know anything about specs. Holy crap! Like, you know, you don't have to know every single spec about a PC. You don't have to know the complete ins and outs of a computer. Just if you don't know, why are you doing such a dog shit take? Why? It makes no sense. If you have no knowledge about that, what? I mean, there's like, again, learning on stream, different. Like if it's a learning process, like like if, okay, okay, let's, let's rewind a little bit. If Griffin was on stream, right? Building his own computer or something, like he was legit trying to learn all of the things in regards to PCs, how they were built, what was the best bang for your buck, like what was going to achieve what he wanted to achieve at what particular price point, right? That'd be different. He's learning. But you're blindly ignorant, like, and you choose to be because you don't care. You don't, you don't give a shit. You just, I just want to click buttons and have a magical computer in front of me. And then chastise and ridicule individuals that are legitimately upset that the 4090 is like 1500 bucks because it doesn't need to be 1500 bucks that's the that's a that's a whole computer oh, because the, no, i make no. fun of people for talking about specs and then i use the example that i don't know what the fuck i'm talking about so i'm not even gonna pretend to like even well i think there's more people to make i think it's a lot funnier to make fun of people who actually don't know what the shit is versus people who choose to be ignorant about it you get what i'm saying yeah, you're choosing to be ignorant about it. I mean, if 
And again, Griffin can choose to be ignorant about it. He can. That's his choice. That's his prerogative. But if you're going to expose to the internet world that you are that ignorant by choice, that you are that fuck dumb, but you're going to have hot takes about things, people are going to call you out because you're being, you're, that's hypocritical. Yeah, but I think it's funnier to make fun of people who have no idea. And then hardware. Like, I think you should, yeah, I don't care I think you should learn day. about it. I really I just do. I don't care, man. Well, I have I like mean, three like, free hours a day. Like, okay, I don't we're really talking care. about 1600 bucks, Griffin. Yeah, I avoid, I, I, you know, laptops are not easy uh, to upgrade. Therefore, I don't have a laptop anymore. And if, like 1600 bucks, you don't care about. I mean, like, it's your money. No, it's your if fucking I drop money. 16, but like, right. I'm just kind of like thinking about the ethics of all of this and like the logic. 1600 bucks it. is not going to break me. I'm not really. It's not going to break it. you. But this is the thing, too, is I also explained in that stream that because, you know, we're both YouTubers, we can write shit off on our taxes. If yeah. we buy a GPU, that's like an immediate 30% cost reduction because you get to write that shit off of your income tax. So well, it's income I mean, tax, you don't have... not under Biden's taxes. But then taxes, also, but, you. Yeah. yeah, but then you get to roll in the value of your current GPU, which is depreciating in value every single year, which, this, you know, as a business student, this is what I do with phones every single year, because every year you keep old technology, the trade in value or resale value decreases. So while I can still get a thousand bucks out of my card and I can still write this shit off on my taxes, you know, I'm basically only paying three to 500 bucks for a 4090 if I want to upgrade, which my 3090 I'm willing to bet is probably going to depreciate by more than 300 bucks next year. Mm hmm. Does that make sense? Three hundred bucks. Uh, about three hundred. So like it sells for eight hundred bucks say right like now. Two hundred, not three hundred, but. Uh, what the but I mean, you get the is. you get the I point. Get, I understand what you're saying. Yeah. Like, it's it's funny to me. Like, I get this feeling like Griffin actually cares, but acts like he doesn't care. Like, am I am I wrong in that chat? I f I feel like he cares. You mentioned cyberpunk edge runners. I just bought Cyberpunk Red Tabletop Game and I'm listening to your stream while trying to figure it out. Aw, thank you, Tanner, for the $4.99. I appreciate you. And good luck with trying to figure it out. That That's some fun stuff. So, like, it's not just like, oh, I'm going to drop 1600 bucks. It's like I also kind of laid out my reasoning for it. But then I kind of thought, like, well, I'm going to buy a new CPU, a new motherboard, mm -hmm. new RAM. And I've always wanted a streaming PC. So I'll probably just get another computer and then mm -hmm. use my current one as a streaming. So desktop. my question is, like, so when people were critical of your purchase, wouldn't it have just been easy to just say, like, yeah, I think the new cards are bullshit, but I want them. And I was yeah, exactly. Just own it. Like, if, if someone's being critical of your purchase, just like. Yeah, it's bullshit. The price point is too expensive, but it's the best on the market, and I want it because it's shiny. I wouldn't shame anybody. I wouldn't poor shame anybody. I wouldn't act like a fucking arrogant douche canoe. Like just just own own your purchases, right? If you're gonna if you're gonna flaunt, okay. And here's the thing: if you're gonna discuss your purchases on the internet, and people are gonna offer up an opinion because you've given them that insight right you've provided that information to your audience so if they have an opinion on your purchases how about you just own your purchases you can discredit the price point but say i don't agree with the price point but guess what that's shiny as fuck and i'm gonna buy it just because i want it it's still illogical it still doesn't make any fucking sense but at least you stand by what the fuck you want to buy well, it? that's the thing is I couldn't really say if they were bullshit or not because I didn't look into it. And that's, uh, what I, that's, that's why I didn't even L. bring it up. That's your L, Griffin. Again, uh, like I'm not... I kind of assumed a lot before actually looking but, like, at the what did I? What did I defend that NVIDIA was doing? Uh, well, you even said you wanted them to raise the fucking price. <laughs> you did say that you wanted them to raise the fucking price, which is mind-blowing to me <laughs> you said you were you all right like, no 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 so like i was literally saying the people complaining about me spending a certain amount of money because me buying the card reinforces nvidia's decision which if we're being honest yeah yeah it does i mean you don't have to agree with it that's your opinion but anybody buying that particular graphics card at that 15 to 1600 dollar price point is supporting that right chat am i wrong in that Am I wrong in that? If you run out and you drop $1,600, right, on a graphics card, you're a bend, you're, you are essentially sanctioning that level of bullshit, which then affects graphic cards in the future. It's the same argument with Diablo Immortal. And, okay, yes, it's a free game, but guess what? Loot boxes. Like, it's, it's the same argument with loot boxes. If that game model becomes profitable, guess what other companies are going to do? 
they're going to do it because it's it, it's it's a level of greed that makes them money if people just accept it and pay for it and just throw money at it it changes the demographic and it, it fucks it up for everybody else that that's that's what you need to understand people that are buying things at these insane horrendous price points across the board and it's not just in pcs but if you drop let's say scalpers or whatever if you drop fifteen hundred dollars on anything that is so grossly overpriced you're affecting the market nvidia is insane it is like enterprise sets the value of all this shit before the consumer ever does like the big businesses that are spending like tens of millions of dollars yeah like this is this is inadvertently saying hey let's just put full-blown gambling in fucking gaming let's just and you have to think like in in regards to like loot boxes and shit that's promoting gambling in teenagers we have the younger generation they're going oh i'm gonna spend a dollar ninety nine here, and I'm gonna spend a dollar ninety nine there, and I'm gonna spend a dollar. No, I got my I got my Christmas money. I'm gonna blow fifty dollars here and forty dollars here. By the time they're done playing that game, they could be thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars in. Like, no, 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 no. You are essentially sanctioning that level of bullshit. Players to upgrade their fucking server racks who are buying these things in bulk, you know, they set the price before they even hit a store shelf. But the thing is, is I was saying like, oh, those people who were upset over the idea of me spending 1500 bucks because it was quote unquote damaging. Yes, it will make gambling addiction worse. Chiro, that is 100%. We do like, and it's, and again, like, I don't understand how Griffin can't understand this. Like, dude, my dude, if you drop $1,600 on a graphics card, you're basically saying, hey, NVIDIA, I don't give a shit that it's $1,600. Here's my money. You know, shut up and take my money. And then guess what NVIDIA does? Oh, fuck. We have a bunch of people throwing money at a $1,600 price point. Let's do that. You know what? Next year, we're going to hike up the price even more. And we all know that NVIDIA isn't going to change their prices. They've said it. They're flaunting it. So why would you want to support it? The market. You know, but I basically is, just said, well, it, you know, it, if that makes them mad, then I hope they double it so they get even more mad. That was like what I was trying to get across because, you know, I, I want to see the fucking ever, salt. That was definitely a really bad way of going about it. Like, I think you did get salt, but not the type of salt you can harvest. I think it's the type of salt that is basically... You know, like, that's warranted salt, my dude. That's not salt you can harvest. If you're like, oh, yeah, if you, if you want to, like, you're trying to trigger an audience. You're trying to trigger uh, a particular, you know, subset of people. Right. You're trying to trigger this particular part of whoever's watching you by saying, yeah, double the fucking price. So you've got people that are already up in arms about the fact that that video card, that the, the 4090 is sixteen hundred dollars. And then you're like, eh, they can double it. People are like, what? P literally, people are just going to sit there like, what the fuck are you saying, Griffin? Like, literally, what the fuck are you saying? Because this level of dumb ass shit. No, absolutely not. You know, I don't discriminate. You're drowning in, <laughs> you're drowning in the salt. Um, yeah. But no, for real. Like, <laughs> I don't really still understand your logic here because you you say you want to get them upset by just saying things like that, right? Like, okay, so you you want to you want to trigger like just the normal consumer that is criticizing you and has valid criticisms about being like completely blown away about the price point on the 4090 and you're like meh double it like i'm just gonna i'm just gonna pit like obviously it's like i'm just gonna piss off the gaming world i'm gonna piss off everybody Ura, like what yeah. i think they believe you griffin <laughs> i cannot <laughs> because help you somebody do, like because that because you do brag about your expenses and your yeah you, like if you're openly bragging about your expenses and what you buy like luxuries and your riches so i think your audience is not really um they don't really find it funny. I think they're, they take it pretty serious because I'll be honest with you, Griffin. Uh, it's only really your videos where I can tell you're being humorous on your streams. You seem serious like 24-7. Yeah, I honestly, guys, and I'm, I'm going to be up in front and honest. Like, I've only been able to be on Griffin's streams for all of like 10 minutes. 
10 to 15 minutes. I think that's the longest I have stayed on a Griffin gaming stream because um, shitty comments and boring, boring. Like he's, he's not, he's not entertaining for me personally and that's okay. Like he, he's not my flavor. Like I like more interactive um, content creators, like streamers and stuff like Asmongold and like Frit and Alex and Rich. Like those are the type of entertainers that I personally am like, oh my God, I'm busting a gut laughing, right? I can't believe you just fucking said that. That's amazing. Or holy shit, that just happened. And then like, I've got tears in my eyes because like full on, full blown on belly laughs, right? That's entertaining to me. I would not say that. Yeah, no, I would highly disagree with that. Really? Maybe in that, maybe in that particular clip, sure, it came off that, but most streams, fuck no, I'm like talking shit, having fun, saying a bunch of dumb That means the one, oh yeah, also he does it deliberately, deliberately for content. Okay, that sounds like another individual we know. Shiro, at Minxy1, running Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC is, br is a brutal task. You cannot run the game at 60 FPS at all without a second GPU. SLI is completely dead. Oh my gosh. Dumb shit. You know, completely joking around. So, like I said, like I've not, I, I've actually not played, I've played Red Dead Redemption on console, but I've not actually played it on the PC. A bunch so, of sus okay. shit all the time. Like, so in, in conclusion, it was not your own audience member you were making. That no, it was, it was nobody in the chat I was responding to. It, it was more just, who sent you a super chat or anybody who, told no, you it was somebody that I was like, I was just reflecting on that 3090 video. That was like oh. the whole thing that set it off. Wait, what? It's just uh, the people. Give me a second. $10 from Brother Near. Griffin, I want you to go to Brother Near's channel and check out the video he did on you about Ackman. I think. I already watched it. Oh, you have? Yeah, I'm subbed to Brother Near. He's in my oh, channel all the time. Really? $10 yeah. from Brother Near. Can we appreciate the ultimate irony that a commentary channel whose purpose is to do research in order to call people out doesn't do basic research on GPUs? For real, though, Griffin. That's like. What? Oh, my God. Brother Near. Oh, that was an amazing super chat. Let's just rewind that. Let's just rewind that. I have to. Let's just let's just do that. What's doing? Uh, well, you even said you wanted them to raise the fucking price. <laughs> you said you were you all right. Were, no, no, no. So like, I was literally I saying far. the people complaining about me spending a certain amount of money because me buying the card reinforces Nvidia's decision. Which, if we're being honest, like enterprise sets the value of all this shit before the consumer ever does. Like the big businesses that are spending like tens of millions of dollars to upgrade their fucking server racks, who are buying these things in bulk. You know, they set the price before they even hit a store shelf. But the thing is, is I was saying like, oh, those people who were upset over the idea of me spending 1500 bucks because it was quote unquote damaging the market, you know, I it, whoa, like, yes, I basically it, just, it, it, it does, it does actually damage the market. Said, well, you know, if that makes them mad again, if a business model works, it's obviously going to spread because companies want to make money. So if you throw money at something that is ridiculous as a consumer that affects the market as a whole because other businesses are going to go holy shit that business model works people are spending that much money on that let's do that how do you not know like did, wait wait my understanding is that griffin is going to school for business how Mad, then I hope they double it so they get even more mad. That was like what I was trying to get across because you know I, I want to see the fucking ever, salt. That was definitely a really bad way of going about it. Like I think you did get salt, but not the type of salt you can harvest. I think it's the type of salt that is basically, you know, I don't discriminate. You're drowning in. I, I'm gonna own my streamer fail. I totally rewinded way too far, but that's all right. <laughs> You're drowning in the salt. Um, yeah. But no, for real. Like <laughs> the best part, the best example of that was Sony and Activision. Yes, Rogues. Barton, yes, 110 million fucking percent with that. I don't really still understand your logic here because you you say you want to get them upset by just saying things like that, right? Yeah. I think they believe you, Griffin. <laughs> I cannot <laughs> help somebody do... like if he what? He already graduated, he works for a company and believe he does risk assessment. I'm so flabbergasted by this. I'm like I really wish I, I I apologize for not being on cam for this one because I'm literally picking my fucking jaw up off the floor.
like because that. you do brag about your expenses and your luxuries and your riches. So I think your audience is not really, um, they don't really find it funny. I think they're, they take it pretty serious because I'll be honest with you, Griffin. Uh, it's only really your videos where I can tell you're being humorous on your streams. You seem serious like 24 seven. I would not say oh. that. Yeah, no, I would highly disagree with that. Really? Maybe in that maybe in that particular clip, sure, it came off that. But most streams, fuck no, I'm like talking shit, having fun, saying a bunch of dumb shit, you know. If you're okay, <laughs> and here's the thing, here's this, you obviously don't care about your streams, Griffin. So you just say whatever the fuck you want to say, and that's fine. Just just own up to your L's, right? Like just take accountability for all of it. Don't like try to redirect or, you know, try to damage control it. Like own it. If if you're an arrogant fuckstick, just own the fact that you're an arrogant fuckstick. There's not, I mean, obviously that's going to be off-putting for some, but other people are going to be like, eh, that's just Griffin's personality and he, he's kind of a dick, you know? But when you say something so shitty and you get ratioed into the ground and then you try, you try to backpedal and do damage control because you know somewhere in your brain that what you did was really wrong and you're like, oh, fuck, now I've got like... An entire, like all the consumers that me, you know, that are upset about this particular price point are upset what's going on with NVIDIA and this graphics card that are not happy with what's going on with the 490 that are like coming at me and you're poor shaming and you're doing all of this fuckery. What? Yes, embrace being a fuckstick and embrace being an arrogant asshole. Like if that's if that's what if that's what you are, my dude. Just own yourself. You already did, actually. I, I tell a lie. Uh, you owned yourself with your own content a, from a year ago. But don't don't double back and be like, oh, you know, I I could have I could have you know it was a poor choice of words. No, be like I fucked up and I said a really dickish thing and and I should have never said it like that and I was triggered on stream thinking about a past video about a video card that I thought about you know, X amount of time ago and people gave me some criticism on that and, you know, he got all up in his feelings and he did a knee-jerk reaction on stream and then he was clipped for it. Like, just own it. I'm completely joking around. So, like, I say a so, bunch of sus okay. shit all the time, like... So, in, in conclusion, it was not your own audience member you were making that no it was to. it was nobody in the chat I was responding to. It, it was anybody more just... who sent you a super chat or anybody who... No, it was somebody that I was He's a consumer. Oh, consumer. Thank you, Golden Apples, for the one ninety nine. I appreciate it. Like, dude, if you, like, have a shit take, you have a shit take. It is what it is. Like, my takes are not always going to be perfect. Like, I don't expect that. Like, nobody's perfect. Like, humans are going to fuck up. But, like, if this is legit part of your personality and you flew off the handle, just say, yeah, I'm sorry. I was, you know, I didn't mean to pour shame. Like I, it was, it was fucked up what I said. Just, just own it. it was like I was just reflecting on that thirty ninety video. That was like uh, the whole thing that set it off. Ten is just the people. Uh, give me a second. Ten dollars from Brother Near Griffin. I want you to go to Brother Near's channel and check out the video he did on you about Ackman. I think I already watched it. Oh, you have? Yeah, I'm subbed to Brother Near. He's in my uh, channel all the time. Really? Ten dollars yeah. from Brother Near. Can we appreciate the ultimate irony that a commentary channel whose purpose is to do research in order to call people out doesn't do basic research on GPUs? Yeah, like if you're a commentary channel and you are calling people out on this topic, but you're not even doing research yourself, Griffin, holy shit. Like, okay, how like how much can you expose yourself in this one interaction with, with Fertanga? Like, my dude. Exposed, exposed, exposed. You don't do research. You're calling people out on their dumbass takes. When you literally are the epitome of a dumbass take. You are it's fucking grossly hypocritical. And you don't expect people to like call you out on your bullshit? Like you don't think anybody is not going to be like, oh, damn, that's really fucking hypocritical of you. Like, you you don't actually give a shit about technology, but you're calling people out on it. And you don't know anything about fucking PCs, but you're trying to call people out on it. 
for real though, Griffin. That's like, <sighs> fuck, man. Like, That's not I don't think shit. you're stupid. I'm not Griffin. a hardware Griffin, channel. I don't think you're stupid. You're a college educated guy. You don't have to be a hardware channel, dude, but you have to do research, right? And I'm going to say this in regards to like the commentary community, dude, they get fucking roasted. There is a reason why, and, and I can say this because, you know, Tipster said this in the interview that I did with him when I was interviewing some members of the commentary community. They, he was like, I will never be the first one to break a story because it's my credibility on the line. It's my ass on the line. Like, you have to do research. You can't just be like, oh, I'm completely ignorant of this one thing, but then I'm going to call somebody out on this with absolutely no research, like none. What? What? Hypocrite gaming? I think that that is, uh, honestly, Julian, that is correct. Like, dude, you have to, you actually have to have a foundation to stand on. I, right, but your lack of G, like knowledge on GPUs is kind of what got you here, is what I'm- Like, I'm not going to sit here and spout off, like, all the different things in regards to GPUs. In, on my stream without doing research first or you know if i'm going to compare and contrast things like i'm gonna i'll pull a fucking full-on review tech usa and like frame rate and specs and and everything like if i'm gonna test somebody something not test somebody test something and i'm gonna provide knowledge to the internet i have to do fucking research no it didn't i think it did 100%. my wait my lack of knowledge got me here Your like lack of knowledge Yes, your gross lack of knowledge and complete ignorance and your choice to remain ignorant and not fucking giving a shit that you are ignorant has gotten you here. In terms of my channel? Well, your lack of, in, sorry, your lack of info on these GPUs, not lack of overall info, uh, not overall, but like the lack of info you had on GPUs is what got you here. I mean, I wouldn't disagree with that. Okay. I mean, maybe if I could have like had the information that people were really that like upset over the 4080, which seems to be the biggest complaint. Yeah. With yeah. them, with the what? And, what is and it? I the 16 think, or the 12 one? I can't. I can't fucking remember. But but you have to. Seems... I mean, like, you have to admit though that going out and buying these cards does like give Nvidia incentive to continue doing this kind of shit. Thank you for it. Thank you. You going out and buying these cards at this price point gives Nvidia the green light to keep doing this shit to give zero fucks about their consumers yes 110 percent. can we get hands in the chat for papa frit the amount of facts that he is spitting in this internet like he wins frit wins so far like we're not even fully through this and this is a massive win for frit and i would like to note this is an individual that it like i don't know how many beers deep papa frit is in i don't know if he's eaten some shrooms i don't know how many bowls he's smoked but this man is not sober ratioing fucking griffin into the ground he is not sober and he is schooling griffin into the fucking ground hell fucking yes hell yes this is so this is this is fantastic this is beautiful but at the end of the day, man, it's a gaming product. I'm not going to take a moral stance on It's more on than a gaming product, product though. Uh, it's not just a gaming product, Griffin. It's more than but that. But, like, what are what are all of our viewers using it for? Uh, all of our viewers here, they use it for tons of shit. I know people who make mods. They're, they're make probably going to 90% use it for video games. I mean... You are going to... No, you are assuming, sir. You are assuming that 90% use it for video games. No. That is incorrect. That is incorrect. That, 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 that's not based on fact. That is you pulling a random percentage out of your ass and throwing it on in this interaction. You're saying 90% of it's going to be used for gaming. That is not true. Computers are used for a magnitude of different things and loads like absolute, like blender editing, freaking video game design, uh, the unreal engine, freaking unity. Like I, uh, Hello? But of course, you don't know much about computers, so that makes sense. That you would just assume that 90% of the populace is going to use, you know, 90% of the population is just going to use their computers for video games. I mean, 90%? Okay, for video games? Yeah, that's the fair. Thing, the thing is, is in an actual, like, professional setting, if a company's buying these things, they really don't care what they're priced at. 
Mm. It's all about efficiency. That's it. Like the little one hundred dollar increase from fifteen hundred to sixteen dollars, or six hundred dollars up over the course of six years. A lot. Yeah, but I'm not like I'm not even arguing that. I'm saying like when it comes to like an actual hardcore like user of a forty ninety, you know, the people uh, running like servers and everything. There we go. There it is, Delta. Hello, McFly. Yes, yes. Back to the Future reference. Hello, McFly. Like, can we just have like a hand slap on like? Griffin's forehead. Hello, McFly. 100%. Oh, I love the Back to the Future reference. That's exactly how I'm feeling right now. Thank you, Delta. Thank you for that. Everything like that. They're not going to like stress over 100 bucks. And that's kind of the thing a lot of people forget is like most of Nvidia's sales do not come from like direct to consumer. It goes to like the hardware manufacturers well, and like these the bigger thing, companies. Griffin, Nvidia is trying to sell these work cards as consumer grade cards. Right. No, no, no. That's not even what I'm arguing. Okay. I'm arguing that before these things even hit the shelves. All right. I'm being asked to check Discord. Why am I checking Discord? Oh, Griffin right now? Oh, Delta sent me something. Don't ask questions. Just consume product and then get excited for next product. Yeah. That's exactly what we like. Am I wrong? Isn't that exactly what like console fanboys get? roasted for like what holy what the fuck here's the original picture of this gpu all right. Uh, thank you for sending me that. Holy crap. For us, a company like NZXT, your Alienwares, your whatever, they've already placed orders for the next two years. Dude, like, honestly, Griffin, if you don't know anything about technology, why would you expect anyone in your audience to take you seriously on what you have to say? Like, no shit, no lie. I'm like objectively, like I'm not I'm not trying to be a dick here. But you have just proven in this exchange with Papa Frit, you know sweet fuck all about computers. Like none. Out for these cards. Mm -hmm. So before they even hit the shelves for us to make the decision of the gigabyte card was removed from Newegg because of that mistake. Yeah. I can see that mistake. Like we'll bring the mistake up. We'll bring that up. Right there. So Newegg took that down because giant, like, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Hey, do I want to spend 1600 bucks? Probably before we even know the price. These companies have already signed distribution contracts with all these different producers of the GPUs and with NVIDIA. Why EBGA left, but yes. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying is the price has already been determined. Hmm. So... It's going to be what it's going to be. So They're not going to... So, okay, so do you agree that price and value are two different things? I think price heavily plays into value, but you if you want to get technical about it, yes. Other, but they're, but they are, uh, they're they're heavily... I feel like if that was almost $100,000, like, okay, can you imagine having that whoops on Newegg and then Griffin going, oh my God, it's almost, it, it, it's worth like $100,000. I need that in my computer. I need that. That is the best thing on the market. That is that is the best price. That is that is all the things. That is the big shiny. That is the big dick fucking graphics card. I'm gonna blow almost a hundred thousand dollars. Like just that. That's that's his mentality. That's his mentality. Are you telling me that you like if you saw that mistake on Newegg freaking Griffin that you drop almost a hundred thousand dollars on a graphics card because that's basically what you're saying. Like, because it's the shiniest, it's the, it's what you consider the biggest, it's considered the best. Would you actually make that fuck up? Fully intertwined with each other. Because the value- they are two separate things when- The value- In certain contexts, right? Like, completely different things, right? In the, yeah, but I mean, in the context of buying something, the value you get out of it is what justifies said, the price. you said, because Mischief sees the value in the card that you think he agrees on the price. That's what you said. Yeah, but that's the thing is, um- They're not- Yeah. The value in the card is different than the price. Just because the card is awesome 
doesn't need like if if the card is potentially awesome, it doesn't necessarily mean it needs to be sixteen hundred dollars. There's no there's no reason for it to be sixteen hundred dollars. It doesn't need to be sixteen hundred dollars. No, that's not oh, the thing. That's, a, that's an the, L. Uh, that's an L. That's not a thing. That's oh, a, it's a massive the, L. Let me find the DM. All right. Thank you. My phone. Uh, hold on. This is a super chat that I think you'll be interested in reading. Uh, $5 from Ryan Everett. Enterprise don't really use RTX. Those are consumer end cards. Price anchoring is a very real sales tactic. They will push out low-end consumers. I don't know if Griffin Gaming is like the worst at gaming. So, Thomas, I don't. I can't say that. I don't know like how good Griffin is at Vigigames, Games. So, I can't say that. What do you think about that? And I've not, like I said, I've only spent maybe 10, 15 minutes on his streams because I, it's just, it's kind of mind numbing for me. It's not entertaining for me. So I haven't even watched his gameplay long enough to be able to say personally myself that, that you're shit at Vigi Games. Um, yeah. When I'm in enterprise, I meant like the uh, hardware people that make like computers. The hardware people make computers. Yeah. Um, give me a second. $2 from Compa Angel. I watched the hub in 4K. <laughs> Okay. Nice, man. Oh, uh, let me see. Two Canadian from Yokaru, the fire hazard of the 4,000. All right, my lovelies. I'm going to put some sweet tunes on for you because I need to use the restroom. So I'm going to be right back. Here's some sweet tunes. You know those words, they hurt me You'd find out what made me angry Then use it to your ability Now you're trying to avoid me You're the big problem here A bully to many for so many years Now shut your mouth, close your ears Never learned your lesson and nobody cares That's what you're here for Here to make me miserable, I know You get joy out of it You hurt me but call me the same as again You hurt me and do it all over again crap i think i peed the equivalent of that of a racehorse um and i had to get more drink pretty salty i needed something to drink holy shit my sodium levels got a problem holy shit i had to cleanse the palate ladies and gentlemen uh chat's mad at me for never having watched back to the future specter um, please go watch Back to the Future. Uh, yes, do that. You're, you're missing out on like movie history. You need, you need to watch. I'm, I'm, I'm flipping tables too. Please go watch Back to the Future. It's also a big issue that is, well, I mean, I don't, so Yokaru, I don't think most most of the average consumers are going to disconnect their GPU like 30 times. But uh, a lot of people who are doing mining and uh, 
workloads and stuff will disconnect GPUs quite often, so it is a big deal in my opinion. And Nvidia needs to. I mean, I don't know. This is what the EVGA cards were for, <laughs> you know, like fuck Nvidia. So what are you? Yeah. Looking for? So. This is the DM. I'm going to read it off. Okay. I said, if I see the value, what's the problem? I use my 3090 for more than just gaming functionality since it's a workstation card. And All right. I'm throwing it down, Spectre. I refuse. I refuse to play a horror game on stream until you watch at least the first Back to the Future. I'm not saying you have to watch all of the movies, but you at least have to watch the first one. And until you tell me, and I'm going to trust that you've watched it, because I would hope that my audience wouldn't lie to me. Maybe I'm just too sweet and trusting. I don't know. But when you tell me that you have watched back the original Back to the Future, the first movie, then I shall play a horror game on YouTube. But until that happens, you need you need to you need to moveify yourself. You you need to you need to grasp the movie. You need to grasp the cinema, and and you have to, you have to do it, my dude. And not just a gaming card. It replaced the Titan line for a reason, which this is where the whole price thing, I think, also kind of gets interesting because people are ignoring the RTX Titan in the 20 series was twenty five hundred dollars, which the 3090 and now 4090 are. Oh, yeah, I will totally withhold the the spooky, the spooky gaming. I will basically the replacement for that. So if anything, across that sector of GPUs, the price has come down dramatically because they've targeted more towards the game. Oh, Dylan. Thank you for becoming a member and welcome to my kittens. I appreciate you so much. Thank you, Dylan. And thank you again, Mimi, for being part of the Minx squad. I appreciate you both. Thank you for the memberships. It's awesome. Um, also, I don't know if Jay is still in the chat. Um, he came in asking earlier if I have ordered my soundboard yet. Uh, I, I have not ordered my soundboard yet, but I am going to this week. Um, so donations, my, like donations have like a, you know, a hold on them and PayPal. So I don't, I don't actually get them right away, but the money that has been donated to my channel is being put back into my channel. I am getting my soundboard and I'm ordering it this week. So hopefully... Uh, by the end of the week, I'll have my soundboard set up with a bunch of awesome sounds. And I'm sure I will get a whole bunch of stuff suggested to me on my Discord that should be on it. And I will put a bunch of funny things. I will have some DSP on there. I will have some Rich. I will have some Frit. I will have some Alex. Um, Gara's Giggle is absolutely amazing to me. So Gara's Giggle might be on there. Uh, we might have some Chris the Narc. I don't know. We're just going to... And we're going to have some video game stuff on there. I'm only going to have 15 buttons because I'm not getting the biggest soundboard. So um, I'm actually going to get the one that Alex has. He's already uh, DM'd me the soundboard that he has. And uh, that's the one that I'm going to invest in and get. So gaming audience. So that's, that's another not, reason. That's not good, though, right? Like <laughs> that the price came down 900 bucks. No, because like, fuck, they're marketing these workload GPUs as gaming GPUs, right? But to well, be I mean, fair, like, always the for the spec, like if these are supposed to be marketed as workload GPUs, these aren't very good. Like a Titan was an actual fucking Titan. <laughs> like, these yeah, again, I don't, I don't know the finer details. I just know that the 3090 did replace the Titan series. I yes, it did. It did replace the Titans or the 30. I don't know TI how. Or it's, I don't like, know like what extent that yeah, went through. It's, and it's, and so I'm basically just... trying to merge their consumer grade cards with their work cards and trying to like basically, it's it's pretty shitty. Yeah, what N I agree. What NVIDIA is trying to do is very shitty. And trying to combine gaming cards with, like, work cards is is not a good thing. And the fact that Griffin does not know that this is happening or what NVIDIA is doing in regards to the graphics cards is, like, what? And anybody that is building their computer, and again, I'm going to say it again, I'm going to say it again on this stream, just do your research. Figure out the best for what you need and is what good what is good for you at whatever pr price points you are comfortable with. However, please do not get ripped off. <laughs> please, please, for the love of Cheez-Its, it makes me really sad when people literally get scammed and ripped off and all those horrible things. So, like, please do your research before you build your PC. 
Uh, that's all yeah. I have to say from my experience. I think it's very shitty. You should look into it. Honestly, if you made a video after doing a lot of research on this. I agree. I, th I think that if like Griffin took the time to educate himself and actually look into what's going on, that his his whole mindset would change. And I think it would be a very different, a very different video that was released. At least I would like to think so. I would like to hope for that stuff. I think you would come to a very interesting conclusion. In my personal opinion, I don't think uh sierra says the 4090 please wait until the price goes down before you buy them minx c1 that's my suggestion i agree with that suggestion 100 percent. if you want a 4090 i don't care that you want a 4090 just if if that's if that's like your shiny wait until the price goes down 100 percent. don't 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 be throwing 1600 dollars at nvidia and basically giving them the justification to keep fucking raising prices and 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 contribute to this insanity you would look at the 4090 like as a good deal but you're not i don't looking. think it's a good deal that's the thing you don't, don't think it's a good deal correct so i'm wondering i'm not like, looking at this you, thing as like oh my god i'm picking this up on black friday wait you don't think it's a good deal he doesn't even think it's a good deal ah uh... Griffin. <laughs> oh, Griffin. Griffin. My dude. You don't even think it's a good price. But you want one. And you would buy one anyway. Prices. Like a good deal is getting the 3090 Ti for a grand, which is fucking awesome. You got that? That is a good deal. That is a very good. No, deal. people in my chat have, and it's, I'm fucking jealous. Sergi Production says you missed my super chat from earlier. I'm sorry, Sergi. I missed a lot of super chats. I'm talking. I'm I go ahead and, I'm uh, talking to Griff. I'm sorry. He's a guest. Can I go here. ahead and read this uh, DM yes, real go quick? Ahead. Go ahead. So yeah, I said if I see the value, what's the problem? I use my 3090 for more than gaming. It replaced the Titan line for that reason. And the mischief says I see the value as well, but I also see the. So you have a 3090, which does absolutely everything that you need to do for what you're doing. But you disagree with the price. But you would buy one anyway. You know, you know, when you're, you're listening to something, it's completely, absolutely, astronomically devoid of all logic whatsoever. Drew, you were not lying. You were not lying, my dude, when, when you said that this was that bad. <laughs> When my audience was telling me that this exchange between Papa Frit was this bad, you guys were 110% correct and deserve a round of applause. You were not wrong. Problem with pricing and how much NVIDIA keeps adding on every generation. Gotta draw the, or draw the line somewhere. So this was when I was playing into the fact. Yeah, Mischief's like, it's expensive as balls. You have to draw the line somewhere. You just can't, like, you can't be just, you know, making it rain and be like, hey, this price point's okay. I'm, I'm willing to get ripped off. That he was acting like I don't need to take a moral stance on a GPU. But in his DM, if you take away that last part, which is him drawing a line, which is a moral stance, mm. you know, it's basically him agreeing that the value of the card. That's not a moral stance. What? How is that a moral stance? Is there? Is it a moral so stance or is it a consumer stance? Oh, it is 110% a con consumer stance. As a consumer, you do not want to pay that price. You do not want to get ripped off. I mean, drawing the line, well, no, I would consider on, a moral stance. Hold on, hold on, stance. no, no, no. Is he drawing the line for the pure like uh, moral stance of it or is he drawing a line as a consumer for like what he would prefer? I mean, morality plays a big factor in the consumer decision. Like, morality? What? 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 Yeah. Ah! You think morality plays into into my value what? or something? Like, if I think I think a lot of people. Right. Yeah. Griffin, come on, you gotta be happy. You have people. Right come on. Griffin. You have people that won't go to check. Dude. What? Oh man. Yeah, I know. Uh, Rich got his strike man removed, and I know that he's back on YouTube. Thank you for that battle. Chick Fil A because they think they're anti-gay. Come on, Griffin. Okay, fine. Listen. Okay. <laughs> okay Drawing well, a line to me is a moral statement. 
drawing the line. Like, but when you're a consumer, that means you you're draw holding a line a, on yeah, what but, you feel is worth purchasing, though, and the value. Yeah, you can identify the value of something, but you can also say, hey, this price point is trash, and I'm not going to pay this. And as a consumer, I'm not going to pay this because I understand that I'm getting ripped off. The fact that you do not understand this. How, how, dude, how do you function? Do you, you went to school for business? I, do you know how to grocery shop? Like, what oh my god like he must not give a shit about inflation do you you know like he must just walk into like fucking the grocery store and be like oh man that three pound of meat that was three dollars like four months ago and is now eight dollars i'm just gonna buy that i don't care i don't give a shit nope eight dollars for a pound of meat i'm good with it i'm totally fine what like do you actually care what you spend like obviously you don't care what you spend you don't care what you spend your money on and that's fine that's fine i don't understand that thought process I don't have to. My brain isn't wired that way. I don't appreciate getting ripped off, nor do I want anybody else to get ripped off, like ever in life. But okay, Griffin, <laughs> you do you, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. You compared to what you're willing to pay. But this is the thing he's implying well, is even though I, to, sorry, even though I see the value and I'm happy with what I'm buying because of the price they're charging, I need to take it upon myself and draw a line basically Griffin, in the sand and say no more i'm, I'm sorry but i'm not that's me. literally what he's implying no he's you're implying stretching. as a consumer griffin it should be obvious i mean come on holy shit the fact that i'm surprised that frit didn't knock himself out in this exchange with the amount of face palming he would be doing i mean what am i you're a consumer as well so, and if uh, i see so, the value so, so in what i'm purchasing you don't view it morally right he's not viewing it morally no. either he's just viewing he literally it as described in his video up to that point that it was a moral issue and that's why he specifically said even if you don't look at this from a moral standpoint followed by everything even you kind of if just you don't look at it from a moral standpoint means even if you don't look at it from there but he also gave you a consumer standpoint he gave you two different perspectives but i think the whole con <laughs> griffin doesn't understand perspective <laughs> oh man you are the perfect argument you're amazing you are the perfect argument for someone that has gone out of their way to spend money on a college education that is so fucked dumb. You are the perfect argument, Griffin. You are the perfect argument that, me, that, that says if you pay for higher education, that does not necessarily equal smarts. Consumer and morality standpoint plays into each other heavily. I don't I mean, think there's that big of a distinction. Opinion. Thank you. Oh, Dylan, thank you so much with the gifted membership to Dark Mage. That is fantastic. Thank you so much. Oh my god, people are gifted memberships now. You guys are so sweet. Holy shit. Damn it. Oh, you guys are so sweet. And I, I, I don't think there's that big of a distinction between the two. I think there definitely is. Like, a consumer can make purchases out of their moral decision, but a consumer can also make purchases based off, you know, like, fuck. Yeah, okay. Is that so worth it? Thank you, Elon Musk, for hiring people that are intelligent, not basing it off college education. Do you know that the smartest individuals in society, in history, were not college educated? Ayo. Is that not worth enough money? To, is, that, is that product worth the money I have in my pocket now? But like, why wouldn't he just say something like, oh, it's just not worth the price to me? Or he could have said something like, That is like, what he said, yeah. though. No, he said you got to draw the line. You got to draw the he line says, at what I the also price see... You got to be someone who negotiates, not just accepts a price. You know what? Yeah, you got to negotiate. You just can't accept a price. It's called the bartering system. Like, <laughs> negotiation is a part of life. What I mean, like, I mean, I mean, you take business, don't you? Like, yeah. <laughs> yes. Fritz, like, you take business, don't you? Oh, <laughs>
for it. You went to college for business, right? You educated yourself, right? <laughs> you understand how all this all works. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> mic drop. <laughs> yeah, you don't always have to negotiate. I don't know, man. This this is kind of like more of a semantical argument. I feel like because I, I, I do, it's feel, obviously... I do feel it is a semantical argument. Yes. Yeah, but I think I, I honestly do, think I... like we're not going to agree on this one. No, we're not going to agree on it. But no, we're not going to agree on this one at all. Not at all, and that is okay, because Griffin. You're awesome, my dude. You are a special fucking kind of snow. You you are a special snowflake, my dude. Special snowflake. <laughs> like, I don't have a anything against individuals that are ignorant. Because, I mean, there's a lot of things that I don't know in life, right? You know, I'm not an astrophysicist. Uh, I'm not an ask, you know, I'm not an astronaut. I'm not going to tell you the checklist of of the cockpit before someone takes off in a rocket. However, <laughs> when you are blatantly ignorant by choice, you choose to be ignorant because you don't care and you refuse to educate yourself and you boast about being that level of a ignorant and that fuck dumb because of your ignorance on the Internet. Oh, you are fun. You're fun, Griffin. You are 110% content worthy. Thank you for providing this, the salt. Like... <laughs> but from my perspective, I think you're just stretching on that one. Now, we're yeah, not going I mean, to agree on this one. This one is pretty hard. Like There is no right or wrong on this one. But I feel like you're just kind of trying to make it seem like... He was giving you a moral stance when he wasn't. And yeah, but if you look at the whole conversation, which I'm happy to send you, that's what the whole thing was. I, I, I watched your stream where you read the entire con or most of the conversation. No, I didn't read. No, we sent like probably 100 messages back and oh, forth. I would like to look at that. Yeah. Dark Maids, I'm sorry, but in business, you are always negotiating. Yes, yes, Dark Mage, you are. There is always constant negotiations going on. Thank you. I would like to yeah, look I, at that. Yeah, I can send you that. Okay. So yeah. it was it was much more. <laughs> Griffin is a troglodyte. <laughs> Aw, come on, chat. Let's be nice to Griffin. It's not his fault. It's not his fault. He chooses to be this ignorant. He chooses not to educate himself. He chooses not to give a shit what's going on in his in his, in his PC. He doesn't care. He doesn't care. He just wants the shinies. He just wants the shiny things, chat. I mean, he didn't give a shit how much it costs. He didn't go to school for business. Like... <laughs> More of a moral stance than anything. So take this so out, Griffin. This is five from Wayneman, if you don't always realize. So I, agree I think that, that plays into your point. And, um... 100%. I don't think it's that, like... I don't think it's... um, It's not always like that for me. Like, for instance, if there's a... It, it is not always like that for me either. Yes, morality can be a part of it because it it, it can, like arguably, like it, morality can be argued into this company that did something I would consider immoral. Yeah, exactly. Like if a company was doing um, what is it? Like a moral argument. Let's let's go with a moral 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 argument. Chat. I can English. Words are hard. Uh, so like if I knew that. A company was misusing their employees, like, say, working them ungodly hours and not paying them overtime or um, was like ripping off Blizzard Activision cough, um, you know, so there's these these companies and these businesses that have absolutely terrible business practices that are, you know, that's a moral it's a moral choice, whether you want to support that particular business or not right like they fucking did something heinous uh like i don't know abused their employees uh fucking you know did also you know you know like uh like amazon yeah like amazon like jeff bezos shit i'd be like oh fuck, yeah you know whatever take oh my god fucking amazon don't get me started about amazon that's like a whole freaking 30 minute rant for me
Oh, thank you, Dylan, again, with the gifted membership. Thank you so much. Ju, you got, you got, oh, man. Seagar got a gifted membership by, by Dylan. Thank you so much. Aw. Thank you for becoming one of my kittens. Thank you so much, Dylan. I appreciate you. It's super sweet. Oh, my God. Now you, got to, you guys get to use emojis. You got to use the emotes in the chat. They are super awesome. I can't wait to add more. Like, it's really exciting for me personally when I can turn around and take stuff and, like, invest in really cool shit for you guys. Take a stance and not See, that's a moral I, stance I, I, take I take. I would take a stance. I don't like Amazon. I don't fucking use them for that reason. Take, but, but there'd be... That is true, Horror. Uh, Spectre has not actually watched Back to the Future. And I, I have, I'm, I'm taking a stance against this level of fuckery. And I said that he needs to go watch the like the, just the first movie. I'm not saying he needs to watch more than one. Just needs to watch the very first Back to the Future. Also, but then there might be a person who doesn't care about that and is like, mm, I don't know if I'm going to buy this product from Amazon. It's priced too high. It's a little cheaper over here. I'm going to go over there instead. That is not a moral decision. That's a line yeah, drawn but I th on I think what someone's willing to pay. I think that's a little different, though, because what you're talking about is just going to buy the same thing just somewhere differently. A better example of that would be like, oh, you know, yeah, they've done a bunch of fucked up shit, but that's not enough to deter me from still purchasing something I want. I think what you're kind of looking for is like a threshold. Oh, my God. My confused kitty face that you guys are throwing in the chat is exactly the face that I have been making with Griffin like this whole exchange. 100% morality like you can acknowledge like hey a company has done some fucked up shit but you know at the end of the day i still want to buy what they're selling because it's not that bad i mean look at everybody that buys iphones which yeah, is literally made by literal fucking child that's slavery not what i'm so. talking about though i'm talking about the stance of you know you but you're, like, you're talking you about bargain hunting like that's different than you know just passing on an entire product completely what mischief is kind of saying is i'm not buying a 4090 anywhere because of what nvidia is doing what you're kind of describing is exact words no, it's just, this is just an example. Okay, so, but what did he act like fully say? All right, let me just... What do you mean this? you're using someone as an example, but that's not what he said? What? How are you going to use someone as an example for what you are trying to portray, but they didn't actually say... Oh my god, Griffin's mental gymnastics are fucking exhausting. Just use somebody completely different then. So person know, A Griffin, says... I don't know, I want mischief's words. He said he's not buying it because of his stance on the price. That's what my the fuck, argument. Griffin? No, but listen, what I'm no, trying to no, describe listen. is that, no. No, listen. What the fuck? <laughs> let me exactly. What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh, I wish I was on this. I for it. Damn it. Let me. Oh man. I'm actually glad Frit did this with Griffin, but I really wish I was on this stream. Let me just That's say this. Exactly what, what, I've you're been saying he said. what you're describing is saying I don't. That's exactly what Mischief said. Yet you're trying to make, like, hello. I don't want to buy something from Amazon because it's cheaper at Best Buy. Where, where did his holy shit? Like, where did his brain go in the last year? Where did his brain go, Chat? Because his brain is no longer there. I, I honestly. Can we all agree? Do you think Call of Duty has officially rotted his brain? Do you think you can get Call of Duty brain rot? Like, really? Is it? Do you, do you guys speculate that this could be potentially a thing? Because I think that Griffin Gaming could be a good argument for Call of Duty brain rot. What uh -huh. someone like Mischief is saying, not Mischief in particular, is saying, I don't want to buy like this mischief? anywhere. No, we're talking about Mischief, not like Mischief. We're <laughs> Julian, this is your brain on COD. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Any questions? Oh, man. Talking about okay. Mischief. I'm just trying Give to me get a second. This, I'm trying to get this whole thing for out. Crazy Cracker. I only really care about the price because I'm worried about being priced out of PC gaming. Because Nvidia said high prices are here to stay. Exactly. And face the AMD prices along Nvidia. I don't like Jensen's statement either. I agree with you, Crazy Cracker. But no, Griffin. You. We're not talking about someone like Mischief. We're talking about Mischief. And okay. What whatever. Said. So Mischief says he's not buying the 4090 or whatever at launch because of the price that Nvidia is selling it at. Would you? Good for Mischief. Good for Mischief. He is not supporting he's not supporting what Nvidia is doing. The price point is a ripoff. He's not okay with it. 
he identifies it as a ripoff and is choosing not to purchase that piece of hardware. You described to me just there is saying, I'm not going to buy it from Amazon because it's cheaper somewhere else. Those are two entirely different things. So he said he's not going to buy it because of the price. That's what he said. Yeah, he's drawing he drew the line. A line on what he's willing to pay. Yes. And you're saying that I don't care as long as I can get it cheaper somewhere else. Right. Like, but I don't care still about drawing a line on price. Like, like, wow. I think it's a little different. All right, but it's that's more, still, you have to admit what, 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 what Mr. is, is talking, talking about is more of a boycott. It is not close to a moral stance. I think it's still a moral stance. Because right, he well, talks, okay, like, in his video, he literally talks about how they screw over EVGA. That's a moral issue. Let's move on from this point. We're not going to agree on it. No, like, it's okay that you don't understand, Griffin. It's fine. Agree to disagree and move on. You don't get it. It's okay. It's okay. But from my perspective, this is just my perspective, and it hasn't changed. And I think that you are really stretching here, Griffin. And it's not really like, it's not going anywhere for me. Uh, we're, not, we're just gonna have to disagree. Is that all Griffin plays on stream is COD? On this one and move on. Um, $10 from Torbulus. I think the problem people have is buyers that just want the best GPU and don't care because they don't know enough. Oh, Dylan. You sweet little cheese it. Oh man, Dylan with another gifted membership. Welcome to the kittens. Tyler, welcome, welcome, welcome. You can now use emotes on the channel. Huzzah. Thank you. Oh, that's super odd. Yeah, you guys are... You're killing it with kindness, man. I can't. You guys are just too... Whether it's Twitch or YouTube, you guys are freaking... I can't with the kindness. I love all your faces. Fucking fantastic people. Talk about tech and Griffin... No VR. No one's making anybody look bad. You guys all contribute. I love all your faces. And it doesn't matter if you gift memberships or do donate. None of that. Like, none of that. Oh, Nick Knack. Thank you. Welcome to my kittens. I have all the kitties. I love having all the kitties. Welcome to my kittens. The mama kitty appreciates you. I do carried some of that same energy oh man and now you get to use do you see the little rage kitty that i have on there for you guys i love that i love it i can't wait to put more emo emotes like as we i don't know the unlocky things on youtube i have to look into that more but i know once you get like certain milestones and shit like they allow you to upload more emotes like it does on twitch so i hope to be able to bring you more of those love you both that's a you know torbulus right griffin that's a viewer of yours yeah, but like, what's inherently wrong with that? Wrong with what? Buying something I want. I didn't say there's anything wrong. There is nothing wrong with buying something you want. All right. Let's, let's not, let's not, let's not, let's not do that, Griffin. Don't go there. You work very hard for, I'm assuming, I'm going to assume you work very hard for your money. Um, you've said multiple times that you have like three hours of free time. Um, so you work hard for your money. Whatever you want to buy, buy. Just stand by what you fucking say. Like you backpedaling and trying to do full-blown damage control and not actually taking the L for your shit take. Because you've taken a lot of L's, don't get me wrong. Like, Frit has done a, a good job in this interaction, not only pointing out your L's, but you have been accepting of your L's, right? But in regards to your absolutely shit take about the whole broke shaming and, uh, uh, and like, you know, the poor shaming and all that kind of shit, you just like, oh, I poured, I poorly worded it. Da, 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 da. Like, you're not actually saying, I was on stream. I got triggered by a previous video about my, you know, my 3090 and in regards to the 4090 and I had a word vomit. I fucked up, you know, um, yeah, I, I, it was a really, really shit take. And then, like, you doubled and tripled down. And you made a response video to fucking Mischief. With L's in that, too. You did you did actually have some valid points in that one. Uh, but there was a lot of L's in that one, too. So, uh, what? Just, if if this is how you truly feel, my dude, just own it. You know? If you make excuses and shit, that's what alienates people the most. Like, 
if you were if you just acted if you acted like a douche canoe if you were a complete arrogant prick just own it just say you know what yeah i was an arrogant prick or yeah i was a douche canoe with it inherently. well i was addressing the super chat oh Oh, because that's kind of what he was saying is like, I'm buying something without knowing what it is. But it's like, what's wrong with that? People buy a new iPhone every year. Not wrong with, what... There's nothing wrong with that until you actually know. You know what I mean? Like if you're like mindlessly buying stuff for a while until you start knowing about the tech, you're going to be like, oh, shit. Like, OK, I know better. You get what I mean? Like that I knowledge comes a long it. way. I think you would know better if you knew more. I don't know what I things. described earlier, though, like the whole like rolling value of the technology and depreciation. I'd still probably buy it because. Um, I identify as a rainbow sparkle kitty unicorn. Long term, it's the better decision. I mean, my GPU is already depreciated by over 50%. So yes. why would I hold on to it longer and just keep like taking more and more of a loss on it? Mm. Well, I actually, that is a blatant lie. And I'm going to call my own self out on it. I do not believe in labels because I am not a soup can. So as much as I would like to identify as a rainbow sparkle kitten unicorn, um, I can't because I don't believe in it. I personally think that you are in a position where you can make this purchase and I think you are in your right and I don't think uh, that I'm in any like position to tell you to stop whatsoever but I am in a position where I have more info. Um, Anna says I mean see one what grinds my gears basically is Griffin age shaming mischief shake my head yet he is butthurt on mischief and says that he lives off of his parents uh he's 16 or 17 years old so how is he living off of his parents he also lives in the uk he's also he's also testing for his exams to get into college uh i mean honestly if griffin has a very ignorant take about the united kingdom just like he has on on pcs i wouldn't be surprised on the gpus and i can tell you whether i think it's harmful to the market or not. And so basically, I think that's what people are telling you, right? Because you don't really, you're not aware of <laughs> what NVIDIA has been doing. You just buy cards, right? You don't look into yeah. NVIDIA's shenanigans or yeah, I don't really care. cards you buy, you play, that's it, right? They make a product I want to get and yeah, I have the money for it. So that's about all the thought I need to put into a purchase. I don't know. Mm -hmm. like, I don't think that's every, I think you should. He just turned 17 a short time ago. Oh my God, a seven, holy shit. We're going to, Griffin, we're gonna like is that where is that where society is going, chat? We're gonna age shame a 17 year old for living with his fucking parents. Are you for real? How about you don't age shame anybody for living with their parents? How about if you're 35 years old and that 35 year old says, Hey, I'm gonna stay with my mom and dad because they're older and they need help, and I'm gonna take care of my parents what because they're older? And, you know, they took care of me when I'm younger and I'm, I'm taking responsibility for my family. How about we just not age shame anybody? How about that? Like, who the fuck cares? Like, there are so many different cultures that you literally stay in your parents' house until you get married. Like, what? Who the fuck cares if you live with your parents? Who gives a shit if you're take care you're taking care of them? Like, it's because Western culture is like, oh no, we're just gonna shame everybody. You live with your parents. Like, do you know that it's an honor to take care of your elders and other cultures? It's only in Western society that we fucking shame this shit. Like, eat a bag of dicks with that take. Should uh, definitely have more info, Griffin. I think you should be a more informed consumer. That's what I think. I mean, I will be about other stuff, but something as inconsequential as like a fucking GPU. I don't, I really inconsequential, don't care. Inconsequential? Uh, fine, fair. That's inconsequential to you. But 1500 yeah. bucks is inconsequential to a lot of people, right? No, I'm just talking about the concept of a GPU. Like, what does it do at its core? It plays video games. Like, video games are core... entertainment. Well, uh, Mario, we know that Griffin does not always uh, run on actual logic. Basically, according to Griffin right now, if you are a teen that doesn't make money on your own, you cannot judge how others spend their money. Oof, weird logic in my opinion. Well, I don't give a shit how you spend your money at all. However, if you're going to ruin shit for the majority of gamers by throwing money, and I'm going to say, again, 
due to blind ignorance at companies that are willing to rip off their consumers dude my dude you you are you're part of the problem you are a part of the problem whether you like to admit it or not like i'm not going to place that much value in an entertainment product uh, gpus are actually used a lot more for other i know but like what am i prime i'm not going to put that much value on an entertainment product huh what primarily using it for well gaming. you said you're using it for work and stuff but i'm questioning what work what do you no, no, no. need like, for the 49 youtube shit. yeah but like for well, what though speeds up your rendering time your rendering time what what software are you using to edit adobe Pro oh my god here we go get oh papa frit oh shit hold on to your butts this is gonna be fantastic oh someone that actually knows shit about editing is gonna okay hold on i'm getting too excited chat hold on here that's gpu uh, no not gpu no, the cpu bound no, it's not. Da Vinci, da Vinci is the one that's more GPU bound. I can show you right now. I have it set to NVEC encoding. You have NVEC encoding, but that's only to like fucking render effects you're using. No, it renders the whole thing. There's an option. It doesn't option render for... your frames faster. No, it does. So there's a, an option called software and hardware encoding. Hardware uses the GPU. Uh huh. And software uses your CPU. You can track the usage in like your uh, task. Yeah, manager. I do. It... Most of its usage only happens when I'm using effects. All the frames yeah, and everything like that. Mine goes the way the faster. Still than all CPU. Like fucking CPU bound. Mine still goes pretty quick on that compared to my CPU, so. <laughs> Are you literally having this exchange with an actual editor, Griffin? <laughs> no. Are you actually telling Papa Frit? Who edits his videos? Who actually edits his videos? How to edit? And what's faster? And frame rates? Like. Are you sure it's not your CPU, Griffin, for the editing? <laughs> well, that's why I'm getting the new PC, is because I need a new CPU. Yeah, I know that Adobe does uh, NVENC. I use it for. My also, it reduces so. crashing as well. If you have it like your timeline bound, it does GPU. reduce crashing because it allows you to edit at a higher um, quality yeah, and with the effects at once without slowdown and replay being. That's what the GPU acceleration really helps with a lot on. Um, but uh, I but would say it's is, better. I wouldn't say it renders much faster. Not from my experience, but. Yeah, when I switch it between software and hardware encoding, it goes Adobe uses faster. GPU. Okay, that's my L. Looks like Adobe uses G is GPU bound. Uh, Vegas is CPU bound, so that's what I use. Um, is it GPU bound? Uh, Vegas? I don't think so. No, Vegas is CPU bound. Uh, yeah, Premiere definitely is, because I had to go in and manually change these settings to get it to detect mm, my GPU. Okay. Ew. Uh, yes. Anyway, Griffin. So, Ew. I think I've basically covered all the uh, major problems I have with your take and uh, your video and your stream and your reactions. Um, I'm still of the position that I think you're not. Julian Green. Apparently Griffin knows more about editing than Frit, who is an actual editor. Griffin, by any chance, do you eat pizza with a spoon? Holy crap. <laughs> Julian. <laughs> Julian. <laughs> Man, I love you all so much. You guys say the funniest fucking shit. You guys are fantastic. Firmly taking this L. I think there is still an L to take here, Griffin. Uh, you may right. have... There, there is a lot of L's to take here, Griffin. I, I don't, I don't, I don't think you fully comprehend. And I don't even think after this interaction you actually fully comprehended. Like, you, it didn't sink into your skull how many L's that happened during this this exchange with Papa Frit. Can we highlight way? that real quick? Let's go through the concessions real quick. The concessions. Let's just check. So, like, tell me what you think. Mario, at Minx C1, kudos to Fred as he maintains sanity with Griffin's logic falls apart and doesn't care about specs. Uh, again, Fred can only do this because he's not sober. I am unfortunately very sober right now. I don't want to be because this level of of choosing to be fuck dumb like this is this is a choice chat griffin is choosing to be this ignorant and choosing to be this fuck dumb please please holy cheez it's 
don't ever shut yourself off to learning, educating yourself, and growing as a human being. Because this is what Griffin is doing. He's cock-blocking himself to knowledge. And it is, it is crystal clear. You guys should take the L on, and I'll tell you if I agree or not. Well, I think you should take... Well, you've already actually taken the... Actually, no, I think just, you have taken the L's on the stuff I had problems with, actually. Yeah, so, like, just go through it real quick and just you took make the sure... L, you took the L on not... I would 100% need to be drunk to deal with Griffin. Yes. Facts. Knowing about GPUs. You Correct. Took the, uh, you took the L on... Uh, you agree that, basically, the price is shouldn't be raised, right? You agree with that, and you agree that the LSS shouldn't be locked, all right? 100%. Uh, I think yeah. that's stupid. You also agree that uh, you could have worded everything... I mean, why did you, like, no offense, like, Julian is right. Griffin is putting more effort into being stupid than actually learning. Why did you, why did you pay? Why did you go into potential debt? Like, this is another question to me. Like, why did you make the effort to get college educated? Like, why did you spend, were you just throwing money at a college? Like, you throw money at PCs? Like, why did you spend the time to try and go ed and, and educate yourself through through a college in regards to business. If you're going to choose to be this fuck dumb, like, did, did you get your money's worth? Because I'm questioning that right now. Everything better. You don't seem to agree yeah, that was yeah. a bad take. You just. No, I mean, the whole concept of me buying what I want because I have the money is never going to be considered a bad take to me. Like, mm. I'll just make that clear. Like, I don't think anyone is in any position to tell anyone how they should or shouldn't spend their money. I agree with that. Unless you're doing something malicious. Like, I don't give a shit how you spend your money. You spend your money. You do you. Just note that if you're going to be this ignorant and dumb in regards to computer parts and the, the you know, consumers as a whole, and you don't understand why 1600 you like, you said that 1600 you don't validate, like, $1,600, you don't think it's a good price point, but you still would be willing to throw $1,600 at the, um, the 4090, like, I'm, I'm really trying to, like, I'm trying to keep on the straight and narrow with your mental gymnastics, and it, and it, I'm, I'm I'm trying to formulate some sense, and I and I I don't think I can actually make some pennies out of this. Unless there's someone like DSP who sits there and pleads poverty all day well, on about, stream begging. Uh, for what about when game prices were raised? The only I mean, time I, I really like, to be fair, actually, which, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm, gonna stop, I'm, gonna stop there. I'm gonna stop there because you actually buy games at higher prices, so I don't think you care about game prices. But it's kind of weird that you take a stance on game prices, even though. But like, what was my stance? Because the only one I can remember. Like, why are you, like, exactly, why are you taking a stance on game prices if you give zero fucks, my dude? Because I've seen people bring this up, is the video I made about MBG when he was basically defending the fact they were charging for next-gen upgrades, which that was what I was calling out because, like, literally a next-gen upgrade is just switching some graphical sliders on uh -huh. the dev kit. Uh -huh. That's what I was calling out, like, why the fuck are you paying 10 bucks for that? Okay. That, was the, that was the stance I took on $70 games. Hey, you know what? I love all the I love like we like even if we have a Griffin fanboy or any anybody that's in an echo chamber jump into my chat, you know I appreciate all of I appreciate all of the opinions, throw them down. It's fine. I don't care. Like we'll discuss it. It's all good. The other one I've taken is the fact that Microsoft and Nintendo have not really done it themselves, which Microsoft is starting. Yeah, but. Hmm. That was the only other thing I said in comparison. In fact, like I've but said a bunch you, of times. Do you like, agree? Do you agree though that your purchase of these GPUs does affect the market? All right. So so far, how how do you like? I know that I'm seeing some L's in the chat. Let's put some L's in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. If you think that Griffin Griffin has taken a lot of L's, a lot, a lot of L's. If you think, if you think that Griffin has taken an astronomical amount of L's in this lovely exchange with Papa Fred. Um, please put them in the chat. I'm morbidly curious. And the way it, like, NVIDIA... I don't think... I mean... You agreed with I mean, it earlier, right? He hates $70 games, but is willing to spend $70 on COD. Oh, so it's okay if he wants to spend $70 on Call of Duty, but hates any other games that are $70? Wow, that makes fucking all the sense in life.
Holy shit. So that is on your some L. microscopic is... level, yes. So I will take on that one. Sure. Okay, I will overall, concede you've taken one. basically a lot of L's. I'm satisfied. <laughs> I'm an easy to please I'm person, happy. but I I'm an easy to please person too. I mean, you have taken quite a few L's. You've accepted those L's. I think that you've backpedaled and you've tried to avoid uh, a couple of the other L's, but at least you've taken you've taken some L's in this. I'll give you that, Griffin. Um, I wish we could have brought Mischief on, but he's, you know, uh, England time, so he's doing whatever, sleeping, I guess. Um, uh, yeah. Well, I appreciate can I just, you. Can I just point out something real quick about Mischief? Okay, go for that it. That motherfucker said, I have been sheltered by my mom yes, and dad yes, my well, entire I was life, gonna, I was and he's a point, fucking yeah. high school there. Like, yeah, holy yeah. shit. So, Fuck off. The L's that Mischief takes are further in the video, <laughs> which I wanted to get along, get, get to, uh, because I was going to point to people that he was wrong about all of that because there he is wrong and i agree that like he shouldn't have said that i was like no griffin's been taking care of himself for six years i know that you do well <laughs> for yourself i know you went to college i know you did youtube for a bit but now you have an actual job i know that you aren't a good i mean if you're like if griffin's in a good financial place fine and if like he wants to piss money down the tube i don't care i don't care but if you're gonna take stances on computer parts whether it be a power supply, uh, motherboard, graphics card. My dude, you have to know shit about the components that you're, 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 you're having an opinion on. You have literally said in this, in this exchange between Frit, you don't know shit about computer parts. You don't understand, you, have, you have no knowledge of hardware. So you are not in a position to have an opinion or to flame anybody in regards to PCs because you have admitted how your your PC was built, right? You're like, I saved up money for a year and a half. I just didn't want to worry about it. I got on the website. I had a company build it for me. I pushed all the pretty sparkly buttons and I got my pretty sparkly rainbow unicorn because I didn't fucking want to think about it. Well, you see, the problem with this is if you don't fucking think about it, and you're willing to throw money. I mean, if, if you love getting ripped off, Griffin, circle jerk with that. More power to you. If you love getting ripped off and spending ridiculous amounts of money for shit that you don't have to, not my pro I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I think you're foolish. I think you're dumb as fuck. That makes absolutely no logical sense at, at all in life. But okay, because even if I had fuck you money, I would still research everything that's going into my computer and I would make sure that I'm getting um, the best for myself with that particular PC, even if I was to have it built. It doesn't mean that I'm going to have like every single shiny fucking computer piece put and thrown into my computer just because like I don't like I'm not the dude that like jacks up his truck, has the balls hanging off the truck. And like is super overcompensating in life. I don't need to big dick it with my computer. I just need my computer to do the things. So even when I have like, let's say if I ever achieve like fuck you money, my audience is fully aware that I will still price check and I will still get the best things I can get without ripping my own self off, right? Holy shit. Even if I had fuck you money, I would not be this dumb. Ever. Ever. And I don't agree with games being $70. I don't agree with consoles being ridiculously priced. Like, it's all greed. It's all corporate greed. These businesses do not need to be this greedy to bring in the amounts of money that would be considered successful. It's corporate greed. If you want to contribute to corporate greed, you do you, dude. But you're gonna get you're gonna get some criticism for it. You're gonna have people calling you out on your bullshit. You're gonna have people calling you a hypocrite. They're going to and now you've exposed yourself to all of YouTube and the internet that you're a fucking fraud, that you're a fake. You're literally you are an ex ex fa you're you're an Xbox fanboy that that ascended from like console fanboyishness to PC and you didn't know anything about PCs. This is exactly what the amazing Lucas would do.
if he went to PC. He would be like, oh, man, I don't want to have to worry about it. I'm just going to click all these buttons and then I'm going to have this epic, shiny fucking computer just because. Like, just blow a shit ton of money just just because. Like, this this is fanboy shit. This is this is legit fan. This is this is take my money. I don't care. Like, I'm just going to I'm just going to contribute to the corporate greed and it's OK. Like. Jesus. I know the amazing Lucas has a PC. I know that he is it's like a crazy one. I he should send it to me honestly because i'd make better use of it but it is what it is <laughs> good financial position and you're educated yeah uh, but the thing is still no zombie you know what really like is surprising to me you know it's bad when someone gets compared to the amazing lucas the fact no let's 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 do this we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do this we'll do this the fact that griffin gaming has even roasted the amazing lucas is hilarious to me my dude, it's like a fan, it's a fanboy roasting a fanboy and being like completely ignorant to what actual, like what PCs do. All right, let's do this. We're going to whip this over on stream. Sorry, Papa Frit. I don't mean to uh, cover up your face, but we're going to do this. Like, where are you, my dude? Uh, right here like he's sitting here taking the piss out of the amazing Lucas my dude really <laughs> you're gonna criticize you're gonna criticize the amazing Lucas with everything that you've disclosed on this fucking stream Oh my God, that is hilarious. Assumptions about you made assumptions yeah. that I'm going to call out as I continue the stream. Um, and <laughs> yeah, he was content. absolutely wrong about that. No disagreement. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to point that out because I thought it was funny. Yeah, I know, I know. You're no, you're. <laughs> yeah, it was it was bad. It was bad because when I, I watched it the first time through, I was like, yo, no, no, that's wrong, mischief. The guy actually, no, he has a job. <laughs> I mean, again, like I said. We're being objective. Mischief had some L's in his video. I acknowledge that as well. Fucking wrong on that one. And, uh, yeah, but, I mean, honestly, I... Also, I didn't agree with the whole, uh, Mischief going after, like, sub count and shit. Um, I don't really like... I, I'm not a fan of that. Like, okay, so in regards to sub counts, um... When Deaf Noodles was pulling all of his like self destruction bullshit, which he's still doing, and he was like bleeding thousands and thousands and that like epic amounts of subscribers, right? Like ma like daily, and he probably still is. I haven't looked recently because Dennis is Dennis and Dennis does Dennis things. However, that's something that is like very surprising to me and should be like something that you should reflect upon as a content creator. But when you're like throwing around like, oh, you have so many views on this video or you have so like you have so many subscribers or people start big dick in it with subscriber count and fucking views outside of potential like, oh, this this content creator might actually buy subs because or views because it just doesn't match up to um, like the sub count and the view count and like things like that when when things are obviously janky. Okay, fine. I can understand that argument. But this whole like big dicking it thing with like, oh, this bigger YouTuber or this sub count or this fucking like get out of here with that shit. It's it's actually really cringe. I appreciate that you came on here and talked and are willing to like take the L's on certain things. Yeah. I'm pretty sure in your mind you don't feel like you're wrong on anything. And No, I, I definitely was wrong. Like I would say the biggest thing is if I could go back and reword this entire thing. Half of it probably would have never come out of my mouth, and the other half would have been worded in a much better way. Mm -hmm. See, and that's the cool thing, FBI. Like, thank you for pointing that out, because I'm a very small channel. So I actually had close to 100 people watching me earlier. Now, we're at 11 o'clock, right? 
So the comparison of you saying I have X amount of people watching me and Griffin has 325 people watching him when he has over 200,000 subscribers on YouTube. See, that's not a viable argument because your view count, like your views on your stream are more reflective of your actual sub count or your actual audience. So that's irrelevant. Well, it was just kind of one of those moments where I was just running my mouth like a fucking moron. And it's funny that people make that comparison. Like if Alex was streaming, he would obviously have like 600 or however many people like when Frit, because he's got over 50,000 subscribers, he he normally pulls in anywhere between six to eight hundred people like review techie like it, it's based on your sub count and it's based on your actual audience on because i was focusing more on playing shipment at the time which i don't know if you've ever played that, that shit is like literally well, I, I tried doing the modern warfare 2 beta yesterday but for some how'd reason, that go well i downloaded the game <clears throat> have to update the drivers and then for some reason once i launched it it just stayed stuck in the updating game screen and there was only like 17 hours of the beta left and i was like kind of pissed i was like fuck i really wanted to try this and it just no just didn't download you're gonna have to wait and see what happens next but uh it's still sitting also good for griffin like, good for Griffin. I'm glad that he still has 325 people that are willing to lis listen to him. Liter whether it's hate watching him or criticizing him or actual people that live in his echo chamber or people that choose to be that ignorant and fuck dumb. Like, well done to Griffin. Like, if he can maintain a decent live stream, I don't begrudge anybody of that. Like. Sitting on my drive. Hmm. Yeah, but I am. I, shame. Yeah, I, mean, I, heard, I, heard, I mean, I heard good things about Modern Warfare too, so I wanted to try it out. It feels like classic COD to me. So if you're a fan of that, you might like it. It's definitely different than the past three. Mm. And with it being on Steam now, you can always refund it. So that's mm -hmm. kind of the big plus. Yeah. Well, ultimately, Griffin, I'm gonna let you go. I, I'm satisfied in the L's you handed over, but I still think that there's a lot more you should like consider <laughs> rethinking. You know, I think. Yeah, like actually being accountable for, but I mean, that's, that's your opinion. You're entitled to it. You're allowed to remain, like if you choose to stay ignorant and you want to do, like, again, just because you're ignorant doesn't mean that you're dumb, right? Just because you don't know doesn't mean that you're dumb. However, like the part where you start going into the fuck dumb category or area for me is you're choosing to remain ignorant because you just don't care. Like, I, I don't care about what's going on in my PC, so I don't have to educate myself about it, and I don't care, but I'm going to make tech videos, I'm going to make gaming videos, I'm going to talk about all this shit and have a have a stance on it, uh, but I, I don't know anything in regards to, like, I, I, I point and clicked my PC, and then you're going to criticize other people, and you're going to pay $70 for COD, but you're not you don't like the $70 price point and you don't agree with the $1,600 price point, but you're willing to pay it anyway. Like there's a whole lot of double standards that are going on. It's very fucking hypocritical. And it's just, like I said, the mental gymnastics are just like. I think you should think about actually doing some research on GPUs. I know you don't care, but I think it will go a long way. I think well, this is why I typically avoid like the you conversation. Want, you you don't, I don't think you feel re ripped off by uh, high price GPUs, right? I really don't because like the thing, the way I look at it is like, it's not. You're not getting ripped off. <laughs> okay. All right. Why do you not? Okay. <laughs> Why Griffin? Do you feel like you're not getting ripped off? This should be amazing chat. I'm super excited for this one. Something I use every day. It's something I'm going to enjoy using. It's something I make money off of. It's something like my 3090 video, for example, that paid for the whole card by itself. Mm -hmm. So I can like make a review video or whatever on it and it pays for itself. Also, it's a business expense. So it goes right. against my income well, I mean, on like, my taxes. You and, so I can, like, you and I can do that, but the average consumer can't. But that's the thing is I wasn't making. Yeah, like what? You're actually giving the argument that just because you can write shit off on your taxes and the normal consumer like what? Just because you make content on YouTube and you can write certain ta things off on your taxes. What? Making the case for the average consumer. I was solely talking about the people calling me out for buying it. If you don't want to buy it, that's perfectly fine with me. Like, I don't care at the end By of the way. Way, it's I a still GPU. Just, they want, can, can you show me? That's all right. Uh, FBI is, even if FBI is a troll, we love the trolls. It's okay. He's allowed to talk about it.
He can, he can, oh yeah, FBI, he can, he can talk about it all through the floor. He can talk about it. It, it just, it doesn't mean that anybody's going to take him seriously. And that's fine. These people who called you out? I, I mean, you know, anybody, I mean, people can talk about someone swallowing the moon. It doesn't necessarily mean it's true. You can, you can talk about anything in life. Like we can, we can play the make believe game all day long. I don't want to see these people. Oh, just go to, uh, you want like the video? There's a video you where you said, that, so there's a video where someone calls you out for buying the card. Yeah. If you just go to that, like why I returned my 3090 video, there is like hundreds of people in there going, Oh, we got a 6,900 XT. The 30, 90, we're talking about the 4090. Yeah. That's the thing I was saying earlier is nobody in my chat was really calling me out for buying a 4090. The whole thing that set this entire thing off mm -hmm. was the fact that people like it made me remember that scenario. Hmm. That's what I'm like. That's the part that's missing from the beginning of this entire clip. Mm -hmm. Because somebody mentioned the community post. I said, yeah, Dylan says, as long as there's no doxing, spamming, or someone is putting a link to a scam, let people speak their minds. Yes. Yes. Oh, well, he's just adding to your view count. Yes, he is. Again, we, we love the trolls. We love them. They help me. They help me. They're fantastic. Um, yes. Griffin is allowed to have his, his particular take in life. Like, his mindset, 100% allowed to have. That's his opinion. That's how he wants to conduct himself through life. That doesn't mean we're not going to find humor in it. Um, that doesn't mean that salt isn't going to be mined from it. And the fact, you know, if, if he wants to be a PC fanboy, uh, like, I, I, I just, I mean, this is how, this is what happens when you come from console, right? Because arguably... Anybody that has been gaming on PC for years pretty much conducts themselves a very similar way, right? I'm going to upgrade my computer after such and such time. I'm going to get a new graphics card. I'm going to get a new power supply. Oh, shit, I need to invest in a motherboard. Let's change that out, right? But with people that are like, oh, I just bought a console and then don't even want to bother like learning about PCs, they're just like, you know what? I'm going to save up my money just gonna buy the shiniest piece like i'm just gonna click all the parts because i don't give a shit it doesn't matter how expensive they are and then just bam they've got a pc it's two totally different mindsets yeah that was a really shitty example for me to use because the title was not like the actual content of the video and in the post i said you know if you have a problem with the price there's great deals on the 30 series cards right now and they're basically half off which is literally what jay said in his video just like the amazing lucas can have his terrible takes Harmon Smith can have his fucking terrible takes. The Dreamcast guy, like, everybody can have their own opinions. It just, you know, it's just more salt, ladies and gentlemen. It just, it just adds to the salt mines. We enjoy the salt. We love the sodium. Like, if, if you, if you want, if you want to give us things to, to joke about and to make fun of and to try to, <laughs> figure out where the fuck you're coming from. <laughs> like, we got you. We got you. If you're going to be this silly, like, I, I appreciate the individuals that are this silly in life because it's very entertaining. Oh, so then when I saw a comment pointing that out and I got a break from work to watch the video, I was like, oh, shit, this is a oh, fucking fat L on my thing, Griffin. You kind of rushed this video. You really half asked this response to mischief because you could have put screenshots of all of this kind of criticism and kind of really, like, actually show well, that's more. the thing i just i just tried to keep it to only mischief because the apology at the beginning was genuine the salt is fantastic and i am on a mission to earn the site the title of salt queen and papa frit has already sanctioned me in dms and he said and i've said this on previous teams that we need a strong female lead so i have to hone my craft ladies and gentlemen so i hope over time my salty streams get better uh because i i have to I have the, the, the Jedi Master that is Papa Frit that I have to look up to. So, you know, um, yeah, I, I, I would, dude, Frit, if you ever watch this, please let me be your Padawan, 100%. Just throwing that out there. Anyone. And that's mainly like the main response I have. Because mm -hmm. for the most part, I still stand by the fact that I should be allowed to buy whatever I want. Oh, of course. Like, no, nope, you don't need permission. You're a grown ass adult. You should be, you're, you're allowed to buy whatever you want. But if you're going to rip your own self off and you are going to throw money at these t these 
toxic corporations that are literally like, hey, we know about the high price points. We don't give a fuck about the consumers. If you're dumb enough to buy this price point, guess what? We're going to keep doing it. That's on you. But you do understand that when you have that mindset, you're part of the problem and it does affect other gamers as a whole, right? Because then you see other companies that are like, oh shit, NVIDIA is getting away with this crap. And, and wait, wait, the 490 is $1,600. What are we doing? Like we could totally be like nickeling and diming people. Like let's raise our prices. Or the next graphics card that comes out from another company is like, say, $1,400, right? Because they're like, oh, we don't want it as expensive as the 490. So we're going to say, we're just going to like make it $200 cheaper so people think that they're getting a fucking deal. Like blind ignorance, like that, that's the problem. And, the, and, and you, you don't understand, you just, Griffin, you just don't understand. I really wish we could make you understand. And the only person who should be watching my pockets is me. Mm -hmm. So 100%, I stand by that. The other but stuff. You don't think pe the, but you think people are in the right to call you stupid if they think your purchase is wrong though, right? Yeah. Like. I think your purchase is wrong. If you get a four, if you get a four ninety before it drops in price, and you pay sixteen hundred dollars for it, you're fucking stupid. You're fucked dumb. That's okay that you're fucked dumb, but people are gonna call you fucked dumb for spending, for ripping your own self off. Right, like they think that's bad. I, yeah, no, like literally at one point, mischief goes like you're acting like no one can criticize. You. I'm like, no, that's not the case. Like literally in my chat, this happens every night. Is all like have a. FBI because she's a dude I am I really am I'm I'm I I really would like to be in an epic bromance with Frit and Alex you've you've pegged me down my dude 100 percent hot take or whatever people will call me out for it and we'll go back and forth and it makes the do you know that because I you want to hear the funniest shit chat really quickly I know this is not on topic but people are actually telling women who agree that oh how do i want to spend do i do i want to discuss this on this stream so women that don't powwow with other toxic feminists that are like you know abuse has no gender apparently they're like no you because you don't agree with my toxic levels of um feminist uh are actually male and you have a toxic male inside you. This shit is literally being spoken right now. Like apparently, because I believe that abuse has no gender, that I believe that the R word can actually happen to men, that I believe that there needs to be actual equality in life, I have a little toxic male inside of me. Like make sense of that chat conversation interesting i don't ban people for disagreeing with me or anything like that so if anything i encourage people to disagree with me i mean i, think, I, have people I, do, who... I do think because i don't agree with extreme biases against men i have a toxic male inside of me oh text adds a lot more to this entire situation oh no 100 percent. but i don't think it absolves you of all the l's you know what i mean but i do think the context adds a lot more and i think your video and your responses suffered from not showing that um, I understand that you work a job. Well, I don't really edit. have the context because I delete the stream. So. Oh right. Well, what about uh, Griffin? Oh, that's right. Julian, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Yep, it is literally one of the dumbest things I've ever heard. Right. It was. In they the only live record chat. the video session. Wait, you, I thought you said it wasn't in the live chat. The people who said that to you. What? Well, you you deleted the stream, right? The yeah. The one with the, the only... com with the one with the comments telling about being critical about your purchase. No, and anybody that like throws down the stupidity that men can't actually have the r word happen to them oh my god just yeah there's a whole there's a whole just clusterfuck of dumb that's flying around in society nowadays and i don't agree with it and because i don't agree with it i am the bad guy and because i am not signing up to the toxic amber herd womanhood of special special snowflake uh, I'm the bad guy, and that's okay. I can be the bad guy. It's fine. Or, or in your stream, no, you're so referring no, to the 3090 video. 
the 3090 videos where I saw the critical comments. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, no, no. In the stream, nobody was really calling me out for buying a 4090. Like, people were just asking me if I was going to get one. I said, yeah, probably. But then, and then that, somebody... doesn't really, that doesn't really help your case because, like, it would mean that you just kind of freaked out over nothing. I nobody, agree. Nobody told you anything. That's Dude, that's the thing is I turn into a fucking toxic sperm. Well, hold on. Then you have to take the biggest owl, Griffin. I did. I literally said that if I could go back and redo this entire thing. Did you literally just say I become a toxic spurg on I don't even like that, uh, by the way. Like Wow. Tell me how much I want to be on your streams without telling me how I just really don't want to be on your streams, Griffin. I think I wouldn't say fucking half of it and I sure as fuck would reword so you're everything I said. Over a video from last year is what you're telling me. Yeah, I'll take the L on that. Like I said. Like that's kinda of retarded. That's what I'm saying. I'll take I agree. Okay, I'm glad you agree. You'll find you will but, find no debate. Like, what the, like, like, I'm, like, 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 I'm kind of like starting to piece more together and like realizing that you had this spiel over nobody actually. You know what, Griffin? Here's the cool thing about this: when you can't afford to buy food anymore, and I'm not wishing this upon you, but this is this is inflation. This is this is this is the world that we live in right now. Like the cost of food is steadily going up, and it will continue to go up. So when you can't actually afford with your shiny, shiny, beautiful salary, how much money you make and how much money you're willing to piss away, how you are going to cope with not being able to feed yourself. Just throwing that out there. Being critical of you, you actually just kind of have it like it just came out of your head. I don't know, Griffin, like I think you've got to put cod down. It's rotting your brain. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't believe you don't play zombies. You need to fucking play. Oh my god, he just admitted that Cod rots his brain. Oh my god. And Fritz fucking telling him to put down Cod. Griffin, put down the Call of Duty. You have. Okay, Griffin, do me a solid. Griffin from a year ago that was spitting fat. Like the Griffin that roasted you, that roasted yourself. Because you roasted yourself. The griffin that roasted you as of right now, please rewind a year ago. Uh, reflect on that thought process. Soak all that in if that's your true self, right? Do that. Play zombies. I don't like zombies. Play old school zombies. But, I mean, griffin, like, it's... I don't think this is making your case any better. Um... It's really not making your case any better. This is like the worst exposed ever. <laughs> I don't think Griffin because if it could have exposed himself as hard as he did in in this exchange. Holy crap. I mean, all I can I like, be is honest. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm glad being you are being it. honest and you're not like being like other people who are like, well, I, I, I didn't mean it. But but like, damn, you know, it just kind of. It doesn't really make the situation seem any better for you. It, it's... I think it honestly does, though, because it's like the whole narrative is I'm what? attacking people. No, the whole narrative was I'm attacking people. You weren't even attacking people. anyone. You were just attacking your own head. Yeah, like you went full, like, word vomit on your stream, which caused this whole thing, which caused multiple, cre like, uh, uh, so many creators to go, what the fuck did Griffin actually say? And you had videos made about you. Because your take was so bad because you just lost all mental faculties on stream. And instead of just admitting, hey, I lost all mental faculties on stream, uh, that was a really bad take, and actually take the L that way, like be accountable for the L, all you're doing is like the whole, the whole thing, the whole video with mischief, like Fritz said, was just a knee-jerk reaction, and it wasn't, it wasn't produced as well as it could have been. And I just feel like that's like a that's a real butt hurt defensive like oh my god, he made a video about me, so I need to make a video about him and you know get like you got more Ls in that. I admit that Mischief had some Ls, but dude, you took what you took out more Ls in that than you needed to. Like help me help you or you help yourself. Exactly. So that's what I'm saying. Like people are portraying it like I'm going after my viewers and stuff because they can't afford a 4090. So this is this is honestly, chat, I think this is like a year ago he gave a shit. He might have actually cared about what he was doing on YouTube 
or even about content creation. And now I feel like he just doesn't give a shit. So this is Griffin from a year ago going, I actually give a shit. And then this is Griffin like, I don't give a shit anymore. Which was never the case. Okay, fair enough whole, on that one. The but whole, like... whole poor shaming notion is non-existent because technically the people I'm poor but shaming didn't even But why did you say it, exist. though? Because That's the what concept I'm wondering. Of like, if there was nothing the... to ever cause you to say this, why did, why did you say it? Because it reminded me of the 3090 situation. <laughs> uh, Look, like Griffin. Um... <laughs> I don't know what to play, I'm, I'm, but... a part of me is glad nobody got told they're poor and shit, but a part of me is like wondering what do you actually think about people, Griffin? Who actually are you? You know? Like, I mean, fuck. It's gonna be a long stream. <laughs> Whoa. I gotta pee because I got fucking Can you keep the chat busy a bit? I gotta go take this. Uh, let me pull it up. I mean, unless you gotta go, but uh if you wanna no, sure. go ahead and read some of you in Mischief's chat. I think one of the chat All right, ladies and gentlemen, do we think like I I I'm 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 asking throughout the stream do you think that griffin gaming is officially ascended to low cow status yes or no i would like to hear, hear you clear up more after hearing what we've heard like those of you that have been on the stream since the very beginning and you've listened to the whole thing and those of you that are going to listen to this in the future please put in the comments section below do you think that uh, obviously, I have pom poms for the previous Griffin Gaming or his mindset a year ago. I I'm more inclined with that thought process. But do we think that he's he's legit? Like he's part of the salt mines, and we could we could literally do like low cow material. More without me talking to you. I'll, I'll, this. Chance, I'll be right back. <clears throat> Shit. I've fallen from grace. I've fallen okay. from grace. <laughs> PTSD from 3090 basically again kudos to you both for the respectable discussion you both he's a baby low cow he's a low calf <laughs> a low calf I've had I mean it's all gaming at the end of the day man Lyra with the two Frit have you brought up the begging thing well let me see if this is actually like active I think he's kind of pretentious I think he's a bit arrogant I think he's kind of a dick I think he just gives zero fucks um I don't know why he's making gaming or tech content on his YouTube channel. It doesn't make any sense to me. That may be old. Shit. The whole thing is... A like maybe a year ago, two years ago, it made sense, but I don't... I, it doesn't make sense now. Overblown? I would 100% agree with that. <laughs> but hey, man, it's free real estate, right? Oh, let's see... It's free real estate, he says. Oh, dude. How am I doing all right? My voice is cracking because I haven't had anything to drink and I literally just got home from the fucking gym, bro. Um, Griffin, I did not call you out that night. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> that backs me up. Thanks, man. So, Oski Woski with the two. What's up, Griffin? What's up, man? I have the live stream recorded. Oh, shit, nice. <clears throat> shit, dude. You're the best. Oh, I can't fucking push the button on here, guys. I don't have like my desktop audio going through. I'm sorry. I mean, if those of the if the individuals that watch Griffin's live stream just enjoy the fact that he like big like he has small PP energy and he just tries to big dick everything in life in regards to finances, then it is what it is. All right, I'm back. <clears throat> sorry to everybody. I know there's been a ton of super chats I missed, but I've been I just been wanting to talk to Griffin without trying to distract. So I will read those near the end of the stream. Appreciate all of it in the memberships. Thank you. Um, didn't, yeah, my voice probably sounds like shit over Discord. Also, my throat well, I mean, is fucking dry. You sound like leaving no matter what. Like, there's just nothing you can True. do about that. I was, I I, you know, I, I'm not going to lie. I actually had to go out of my way and actually like really edit hard to make to make uh, my friend sound like you. Because he, like, he was doing your voice and I had to do a lot of fucking uh, editing <laughs> to really make it kind of sound like you. It, was, it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. Like, if you have the leafy voice, like, it's not easy to replicate. Can we talk about how Griffin spent $100 on Battlefield to spite someone? Yup. Sure. And do you know how many hours I have in that game to this day? Zero. Wait, what? What? He spent $100 on Battlefield and didn't actually... Oh, man. What? You spent $100 just to spite somebody? Oh, you are so petty, my dude. Oh. 
so petty. Well, it, well you did we take did the L on that, that one. You did yeah, no, I'm in the game the with shit. That one, but, but the uh, thing is, I, I literally just, I literally just bought it. This week. I, I just bought it. You and I streamed. You and I streamed about the whole Supernova thing when you and him debated about Battlefield. Yeah, the only, that was like, a fun debate. Like Supernova could have won that debate, but he, mm, 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 like he just he. he Matt, well, imagine spending a hundred dollars on a game and then never touching it. Like, imagine spending a hundred dollars on a game, right, and then never touching it. Just let that soak in. He could have had a good take. I don't think he, at the time, I don't think he could have won it because he was basically making the argument that any single player game can be worth full price, but no multiplayer game can. That was his whole argument. Which Thank he you for said, like, Trey Cooper. All right, go ahead. Sorry. He was saying, like, Battlefield has historically had a campaign which was just objectively false. It was only a multiplayer game until, like, Bad Company. Mm, yeah. So, I'm no, not, I don't I'm, think he could have won that. I don't, I'm not against, by the way, at the final, to finalize, I'm not against what you, like, you spending your money how you want. Obviously, nobody ha can dictate how anybody spends. Like, to you. Oh. Okay. Okay. Is there money? But I'm just, just still kind of baffled. I'm, I'm like, yeah, can we get some skulls in the chat? We need some skulls in the chat because I'm, I'm fucking dead with that. I have never in my entire, bre ever, not even, even tiny, tiny baby Minxie, have I not ever spent any money? on a video game that I've not ever played. Like, I understand some people have games that they bought and they're still in the plastic wrap and it's on the shelf and stuff. Like, it's still in the plastic hard copies of anything because, like, in regards to, like, the dot .hack series and things like that, like, it's hard to get a hold of, like, old media and it gets excruciatingly expensive over time. But the fact that, like, what, like, you buy things with the thought process that even if you can't play them right now, you are going to play them. And you spent $100 just to spite somebody? Whoa! Nobody ever told you this at all and you just went on that random rant. Because it was just... It, I'm still kind of, I'm still trying to like... <laughs> I'm still in disbelief that you just kind of ranted in your own head that way towards everybody because it just... It was, Bro, it, was you, once, it was really fucking once I, once I get into that COD mindset, it's just, it flows, man. The toxicity just starts flowing. Oh my god, Griffin, put down the COD. Cut the cord. Play a different video game. The Call of Duties is not doing good things for you, my man. So maybe the secret is less COD, but I don't know if I'd even... The secret is less COD. Yes, listen to your... Listen to the words that are coming out of your face hole. If this is what Call of Duty is doing to you, Griffin, a year later, we have we have audio evidence of you having brain cells a year ago. Now there's a there's an extreme loss in brain function. If it Griffin, I will recommend you Hellslinger uh Hellsinger. I don't like metal, bro. I can't do it. It's a rhythm. Griffin, game. I just I, What? Keep keep let's just keep letting the hot what? takes flow. Like, Jesus Christ. What, what the fuck? No I don't metal? like metal. I've never None? liked it. No. Oh. Ah. <gasps> you don't like metal? Oh my god, I got to listen to the what? I got to I got to Griffin doesn't like metal? You don't you don't like you don't like you don't like rock music? You don't like you don't like metal? Wait, okay. No. I think it has to do turn with the chat on you even more, man. Like, fuck. bro, the thing is, all right, okay. And I'm gonna say this: like, I don't like all rap music. There are still some rap songs that I like, so I'm not gonna say that I don't. I dislike the entire rap genre of music because there are some rap songs that I do like. However, like, rap is not my preferred genre of music. But you don't like metal. Is is my dad used to listen to like classic rock all the time from like the seventies and eighties? So anything with a guitar, I just have like an. Oh no 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 no! I I'm not I'm not I'm not judging. I'm not judging. Metal rock like metal is is like to each their own. But I can't get on. I I personally can't get on board with that because I love. I love I love music. I love music like I love video games. So. Version 2. Uh, 
I just like got so sick like of it as a opposite. kid. Like I just couldn't get enough guitar. I've been I even like some country music. I like some. Not all country. I like some. I like some rap. Not all rap. Metal. I love a shit ton of fucking metal. I love metal. I love rock music. I love techno. I like trance. I like yeah, playing guitar since I was like 12. So I just can't get enough of guitar music. Oh, do you want me to piss off the chat even more? Uh, um, no, 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 I, I played no, no, Doom no. 20. Okay, okay, please don't piss off the chat. Oh man, Griffin's gonna piss off my chat. I already know it. 16 and Doom Eternal on mute. There you go. Griffin! What? I'm kicking you off the stream. We got Wait a shit fuck. You muted Doom and Doom Eternal? No. No. You muted Doom? I like EDM. You muted Doom Eternal? Blasphemy. I don't care. I don't care, chat. Call me bias. I don't fucking care. You muted Doom Eternal? I Game of Thrones shame you. On my channel, I don't care. I, I love I love the medals. If you muted Doom Eternal through the whole game, you are now officially Game of Thrones shamed. Game of Thrones shamed. Shame. 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 Like, like, I, nope. You lost me, Griffin. You fucking lost me. Can't. We gotta go. We gotta, I'm sorry. Like, this is just too much for me right now. I cannot. I legit can't. <laughs> this is like, can we get blasphemy in the chat, ladies and gentlemen? Do me a fucking solid. Like, I, okay, and I'm going to say this. I have not played Doom Eternal, right? I've played Doom. I've not played Doom Eternal, right? Actually, no, I haven't played the remake. Okay, so the Do there's Doom and Doom Eternal, and they're newer, right? Okay, right, the original Doom, different. But the musical score in these games is sick as fuck. Absolutely amazing. And you muted it? You can't play Doom Eternal on mute. It's part of the epic man mode that is Doom Eternal. That is, I'm sorry, that's the biggest fucking L for me out of the whole stream. Like, out of this whole interview with freaking Frit. Nope. Nope, that is the biggest L for me. You muted Doom and Doom Eternal. If Why? I opened up Doom right There's now, no it would be on you. wonder you want to play Metal. Oh my fucking god, Griffin. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Call of Duty. Stop playing Call of Duty, Griffin. What the fuck? <laughs> the chat is so against you right now. Dude, this is what happens every night, though. That's what I'm saying. Like, this type of negativity and interaction is fun for me. I don't know. I like being... Shit. Hey, people cannot like Doom. It's okay. You don't have to like Doom. You don't have to like Doom Eternal. I personally love metal music. This is an L for me. I shall Game of Thrones shame Griffin. That is my opinion. I'm allowed to have that opinion. If you don't like Doom and you don't like... Like, why did you even play... The musical score was part of the... is part of the experience of playing playing these games. The fact that you muted the whole game, so you, you didn't even have the sound effects. Like, what? It is full on 110% fucking blasphemy. Dog, uh, it's on him. I, mean, I don't know. I think this time around you weren't happy about the negative energy, but like... Ugh. I mean, the thing is, man, like, I don't know how true this is for you, so I'm not going to speak for you, but I think with content creation, you definitely play shit up a little bit, right? Is that a crazy thing to say? Like Wait, what? Oh my god. Griffin. Dude, how many times are you going to stab yourself in your own foot with your like with your like your L's? Like you just you just threw down that you muted Doom and Doom Eternal. Okay, let's I'm process this is too much. I'm processing. I'm processing. I'm fucking processing. Like no, when I turn crazy. off my your, your team when I turn off my like, fucking this is treason in the eyes of me yes yes I I do not get to play the levels of metal that I love on stream because of copyright just throwing that out there uh you know keep like fucking 
PC or whatever, you know, this gaming shit doesn't even cross my mind. I don't, I don't care. Like, it's just for the streams mostly, and mostly for my content. Like, my life is not. A little, like, fake though, right? Like. Yeah. Well, I mean, isn't. Wait, Papa Fritz just called Griffin out on being flat out fake, and he's like, "Yeah." You just. You just admitted to being fake. So... You show your, your, your fake, Griffin. Anybody genuine on YouTube? I mean... <sighs> oh, VR, I'm sure. Like, I, you know what? Everybody has their own opinions. I'm not gonna necessarily say someone is a troll VR, but I'm sure we'll get some spi- Like, we're gonna get some spicy trolls eventually. And then, you know, we're just going to shower them in love and they can say all the toxic bullshit that they want. I don't care. I've even instructed my mods to let it like unless they actually use like slurs and shit. You like you ban that stuff. But if they just want to come in and be like, oh, she's dumb or she's a bitch. Or if someone comes in calling me a fucking Karen because they don't know how to intellectually like in like actually wreck a person. Uh, then with words and logic and all of the knowledge it is what it is uh, we will just shower them in love and uh send them on their way i mean if everybody said exactly what they were thinking 24 7 you think anybody would have a following online especially no, today i mean absolutely not you're correct <laughs> yeah um on that one yeah um but so you got to be a little fake and you got to play it up you got to be engaging you got to have like some energy there like i mean i'm a pretty lifeless but what boring do you actually care about then griffin like what do you actually care Wait, so everything that you do, like, you, what you do in your videos and shit is fake? Like, what? Uh, I am as genuine as I can be in regards to, like, TOS. Yes, content creators are bound by TOS. Uh, so, yes, there are certain things that cannot be uh, discussed or talked about and uh, you know censorship and all that wonderful stuff um which is not wonderful by the way but i am me on my streams i'm uh, i'm me in my videos i'm me on my on my streams i act like, i i i'm i'm not acting uh i'm not fake holy shit griffin care about like be I mean, if you don't really care about video games, but you make content on games. Like, exactly. You don't, you don't give a shit about video games, but you make content on video games. You don't give a shit about PCs, but you have opinions on PCs. You obviously are pretty ignorant of, to all the, the hardware. Like, what the shit are you doing? Like, what the fuck, man? Like, what do you I actually care about? I'm totally with Frit here. Like, what the actual fuck? My bank account. Your bank account, so why don't you just make, like, financing videos or some shit? <laughs> I actually thought it, that, that's one of the big topics I talk about on no, stream no, no, that no, everybody no, loves. No, no, I'm seriously suggesting it because I do watch Yeah, no, I've actually thought about that. I want to get, um... Why would, no, if you, like, no, I, I, I wouldn't want Griffin making financial videos. Uh, because of his hot takes on, uh, price points and value and just consumers, like... Do, do we really think that he could do finance videos? I mean, objectively? Um, I need like two more classes to become like a financial advisor. So I was thinking about doing that at some point. And then you need two more classes to be a financial advisor? Oh, sw dear sweet Cheez-Its. You are not saying this shit. You can't, you can, no, Griffin. You can't, you're two classes from being a financial advisor and you, this, this, these are the takes that you have like, am I wrong, chat? Am I in an, like, did I, did I, am I in the matrix? Did I miss something? You're two classes away from being a financial advisor, but you've said all the ignorant dumb on this, what? And I could say, like, this is financial advice or whatever the fuck. $10 from the Rowdy. I, I'm sorry, Griffin. Sorry, not sorry. You're definitely not the first individual that I would come to for financial advice. Just off, just off what I've seen with what you are discussing with Papa Frit right now, 
there is no way in fiery hell that I would come to you for financial advice. Because you would be like, doesn't matter about your bank account, Minxie. Uh, if you like, it doesn't even matter if you have the money or not. Just go blow like $5,000, like go blow 10 grand on the biggest sparkly computer you fucking can. Just piss money. You would literally instruct people to piss money away. What? Six doom on you is an effing crime. Well, here's the thing. I don't think so. There's a, there's such thing as keeping certain things private, certain like thoughts and life matters private. Yeah, but that doesn't not that doesn't not make you a that doesn't mean you're not a genuine person. It just all right, ladies and gentlemen. You know you know the meme of the stream deal. We're gonna do meme of the stream. So if you don't know about my meme section on my Discord, Griffin Gaming is completely up for grabs. Uh, whether you think he's a lol cow, whether you think he's fake, uh, whether you want to do memes about his blind ignorance in all of the things, I don't know. This individual one is like two classes away from being a financial advisor. I'm completely blown away by... I can't. I can't with this person. I honestly can't. Well done. For being the smartest dumb person, like really actually the dumbest smart person in the room. I uh, I don't know. No, I'm certain, just, it just I'm means there's certain things you yeah. share with your life. It doesn't mean you have no, to be it doesn't mean you have to be fake. Because you I don't can still share a lot that. about your life, but you don't have to always share every aspect of That's, that's not even what I'm saying. Like, that's not even what I'm saying. You're I'm like saying playing like, a character and stuff, right? Yeah, like you kind of play up your interest or your care or, you know, your outrage or genuine enjoyment. Like, you know, look at PewDiePie, for example. Do you think he would have gotten as big as he did if he just sat there like smiling, playing Happy Wheels? Or was it the fact that he literally spurred the fuck out? But how do you know like, if he wasn't know? actually happy playing it? And that's his actual yeah, ex action. And that's what I'm trying to... Well, even if he was happy, like if he was just sitting... You're totally going to bring like PewDiePie in the mix? Uh, and they're smiling and laughing every once in a while and not freaking I'm the fuck a good out. Time. And All my reactions are 100% real. I'm yes. Oh my God. There's a thing called integrity. And all of Papa Fritz reactions are genuine. All of my reactions are genuine. Griffin, um, newsflash, cupcake, um, not everybody on YouTube that creates content is fake or portraying a character, right? Yes, Frit has a PNG image of himself, but he is himself. That is his personality. He is genuine. Those are genuine reactions. Same with mine. Like my brain hurting over your level of ignorance and fuck dumb. I've been drinking. Yeah, that's why I said I'm not going to that's why I'm not going to speak for you. Okay. But I'm just saying like there's a very long history of people on YouTube that, you know, play it up for the camera. Hi hypocrite hunter, something see love how you're reacting to my favorite locale like <laughs> Fair. Fair. I think Let's like say. a good examples of that kind of attitude are like Ethan Klein, um Hassan Piker, uh I don't think Ethan Klein even fucking tries. Anymore. No, Ethan Klein is fake, right? Right? But I don't think there's anything good about admitting being fake, Griffin. I don't think it's no, there's nothing good about admitting to be fake. Why would why would your audience support you? Why? If they know that you're fake, you don't care. You your your give a damn is busted. You don't give a shit about what you're doing and what you're making, really, in essence. That's what you've said. Um which is contradictory because you're like, oh, I have fun doing it, but I, I don't really want to research anything and I don't actually want to have an educated stance on anything. I uh, <sighs> Dear sweet kittens, give me, give me the strength. It's good. To, I mean, I, there's honesty and then there's admitting to being fake. What you're doing is admitting to being fake. You, yes, you're admitting to be f f fake. Oh, I'm going to get weird Tourette's now. No, I'm not even saying being fake. So, like, I have an interest in gaming. But it sure as fuck is not. No, you don't have an interest in gaming. No, okay. All I know so far, and the chat can correct me if I'm wrong, you're a Call of Duty fanboy that needs to put Call of Duty down. You've played Doom and Doom Eternal, but you muted them. What other Vigi games have you played, Griffin? Like, 
you have an interest in gaming, but you're not interested in anything that actually like plays the games that supports the games. Um, I don't think there's very much diversity there in your gameplay, and I could be I could be wrong in that. But what? Not one of the things that defines my life. Well, I mean, I think you should have more things to define your life than your bank account. I think it should. Have. No, that's that's like my. Like yeah, like this is this is what happens when you build your your all of your character off of off of your bank account, like money. Like you're the least interesting human in the room, honestly, because when you base your entire existence off of your bank account. It's like basing your entire existence off your gender. You're not, you're not interesting. Full stop. If your brain stops there, if your brain is only encompassed by your bank account, you are not a interesting human being and you don't bring much to the table. Other than the fact that you really, really love those dollar bills. And if you want to throw those on your bed and masturbate in those at night, like more power to you, dude. But this is what happens when you hyper focus on money. It's not always the best thing in life. Like there's so many different aspects to life that you don't need money for. And unfortunately, we're forced to have currency, right? So, I mean, money is a part of our life, whether we like it or not. I don't give a shit about money. I am, like, literally the complete opposite of Griffin. Um, I, again, I really hope that I can do, like, roll up to one of my, a few of my audience members' houses and, or meet them somewhere because, you know, I'm, I'm a content creator and, like, roll up playing bromance and hand them 10 grand. Because that that's my that's my actual level of care of money. Like, if I have fuck you money, guess what? I'm gonna be making it rain on uh, on on people like good people that are genuine human beings that deserve like like not a break in life. You know what I mean? Um, you know, just just a good thing to fucking happen happen to them, like some reprieve. Because being an adult is a really shitty experience, right? Like, you have your high points, don't get me wrong. Like, being an adult isn't all bad. But for the majority of the populace, like, how many times have people said that, like, man, I wish I had really fucking paid attention to my parents as kids because I really wish I could go back in time and be a kid because you're only a kid for a very short period of time. Being an adult, probably 90% of the time, is stressful and bills and job and family and all of the things. Like... The fun that we have as adults has to be focused on because it allows us to maintain sanity. Adulting does suck. There's nothing amazing about adulting. Money, yes, we're forced to have money, but money isn't everything. He criticized Upper Echelon Games' take on Doom Eternal. Oh, jeez. I'm not surprised. My primary focus. But your primary you know, focus, I mean, I know that you have a dog now and you're going to the gym yeah. and stuff like that. That's good. Well, my my but, primary focus is to make as much money as young as possible because then the whole, like, time value of money compounding interest thing kicks in. What? Hey, there's nothing wrong, all right? There's nothing wrong about making money, especially the, the younger that you can make it. Don't get me wrong. Like, if you start investing your money, like... But see, this is funny to me because Griffin is willing to like piss money away at the drop of a hat. But yes, you want to make as much money as you can young so you can invest in things so you can retire comfortably. But that's not every aspect of life. And you don't seem like the individual that's actually like investing in things to help your future now i could be wrong about that because you're so you're it's just easy for you to just chuck money away like it, you, you don't care so and, and and you're two classes away from being a financial advisor i'm really trying to make sense out of all of this uh but i'm fall again i'm falling short because it just you want to make as much po money possible as you're while you're young but you you don't 
fully acknowledge that your spending is is crazy is kind of looney tunes and that you're ripping yourself off financially like i mean i understand you work hard for your money and and spend your money on lug you know you're again you only live once and you can't take it with you when you die i get that but huh i just so in, in, all in all you are just building your character off money he's, he's i mean i've been he is. He's literally building his money off of character. Like, these are literally, like, the douche canoe chads that, like, spend their, like, their entire family's inheritance, like, their daddy's bank account. They drain it. It's, like, the same, it's the same mentality. It's the same mental... <sighs> Pretty honest about that one. I mean, that's fine. I understand that, but, like... So, there you go, boys and girls. Griffin Gaming only gives a shit about money. He's fake on the internet. Overdramatizes things. Obviously doesn't give a shit about his audience because if he gave a shit about his audience, um, he would care more about what he, I guess, does in his live streams. I don't know, like his really crazy cod brain takes. Um, he's making videos about video games, but he doesn't really care about video games all that much. I mean, honestly. Like, let's let's be real here. Um, he's making tech-ish videos and criticizing individuals. He's actually making fun of, of console fanboys, which is absolutely hilarious to me. That is funny. That is actually funny shit. Because what, like, Frit and Alex and everybody, like, what console fanboys are getting made fun of for is the exact, like, I'm I'm sorry Griffin is like that class of, like he's he's a he's a fanboy. He is. 100%. Like you have you've proven yourself to be a PC fanboy. Or like an ex like you're an ex console fanboy that has moved on to PC now. Like admitting admitting to people that this is what you are opens you to criticism. Uh he also charges $50 to watch a single video, FYI. What? Hunter. My dude. What? He charges $50 to watch a single video? Uh, what, what evidence do we have of that? Because I've watched videos on his channel. I mean, I watched his horrible take on the act, man. Like, that's a whole different, like, his whole, like, the, in, his whole take on the act, man, and the, the QTV, like, the Cupcake TV situation. I did not agree with a lot of Griffin's points in that video. Uh, alternatively, Willie Mac did a better video than Griffin. On Patreon? On his stream, he he nowadays nowadays does that according to a former pay pig. That makes you one. All right, so like Hunter, that's something that we're gonna like need evidence. I'm not, I'm not gonna speculate on that. I don't have evidence of that. I know that I can watch his videos on his YouTube channel. However, if that is real, uh, that is fucked. Like, if you're charging fifty dollars for anyone, like, in all fairness, like, I have memberships set up and like subs and all that, you know, I reached affiliate on Twitch. Like that's all, that's all you guys. Like that's just there for you guys. I, I, people asked for that. <laughs> yeah, we need, I need evidence of that. I'm not, I'm not, that's, 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 that's pretty fucked up though. I'm not going to lie. I really hope that that's not a thing. 
criticism that you don't like. But like, what is the criticism that you the know? Criticism I don't, isn't it, your blind consumerism and the way you went about buying that GPU and shit. Like people view you as this guy who's like, okay. Like I'm all good with you know everybody calling Griffin a lol cow now uh, after hearing this shit, but I'm not. I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna throw down that. And honestly, we we don't we don't need evidence of that. Um, we don't need to delve any deeper than what uh, Griffin has exposed of himself on the internet. Money hand over fist over. Which we have enough of that. In all fairness, out of his own mouth. Like, Griffin has exposed himself so hard on this, on this, with Frit, that his ass is eternally running through the streets of I don't know what town naked for the rest of his life. Like, that's the level of exposure that he has. So bad. I did not know how, like, the level, I, oh, the levels of bad. For everything else i care about nothing you know that tree that butterfly I mean, that's, nothing for me if that's not making like a money, long, you know like that's a long running joke in all of my videos it's like like why are you making this video on like money this, like, there's, not, there's not like mean, yeah making that's not a joke like there's a long there's a there's a there's a joke griffin about the reason that you're making this is money but that's legit what you're doing it for that's not a joke then that's truth like that's the truth you're making it for money that's not a joke then videos for money is, is i mean but it's not like that's not my you're mr passion. krabs griffin that's what the chat's saying you're mr krabs mr krabs I mean, I'll, mr. Krabs. I'll <laughs> he, had, he, had, <laughs> he had the biggest house in bikini bottom so i'll fucking take that he had shit. the biggest daughter in bikini bottom too <laughs> all right oh we had a blip in the stream are we okay guys Oh, I'm so not happy with how sporadic my internet is being. I can't wait until the tech human comes out on Tuesday. Ugh. <laughs> Tell me thick. <laughs> okay, that's why people do YouTube for money. That is not true. That is not true. Not all individuals do YouTube for money. Uh, arguably a majority of them do, especially if they do it for a profession. But I, I'm not going to say that every single human being, I'm, I can't speak for them. Not, we can't say that every single human being that does YouTube does it solely with money in mind. A lot of people do it for hobbies. If they end up making money at it, that's fine. But, you know, I, I personally, me, I want to grow organically. You know, I want to, I'm, I'm or, like, have organic growth. So, I mean, I, there's a whole bunch of fucking hot topics that I could do and like propel my channel or do this with my brand or what the fuck ever. But that's not the kind of community that I want. Right. Like I have met some amazing people so far streaming in the last five months. Um, I I'm I'm growing at the rate I should be growing because I'm not I'm not I'm I'm doing content that I give a shit about. So. Whether that has five views or fucking 50 or a, a million, I, I, that's irrelevant to me. Like, I'm spending time with my audience who I enjoy. I love bringing these streams to everybody. I like going over the topics that we go over or the games that we go over or anything that I do. on. Like, I have a good time, honestly. So however my growth happens is how it's going to happen. Ah, biggest house and biggest daughter. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, well look, listen. Didn't he have the only daughter? Uh, I don't. I don't even fucking. They never explain. Um, they never explain <laughs> that shit. But yeah. Uh, yeah, I agree, Drew. Money is definitely the icing on the cake, but money itself is not amazing on YouTube because if like if you're going off of ad revenue, no. Super chats and memberships are arguable, but you could have the same argument on Twitch with subscriptions and uh biddies so yeah uh, but i mean that's the thing it's like that's why i've stopped making like a bunch of console fanboy videos all the time it's just because like i'm genuinely having a hard time because i'm always of the mindset where when this stops being fun for me i'm just gonna stop because i don't need it it's not i mean if you don't need it and it's like it, it alternatively griffin it has stopped being fun for you because you just said that you have more interest since you started working and you're more focused on your job which 
good for you. Like win in life. But if you don't give a shit about if you're not really like hard, if you don't really give a shit about gaming and you're not really super awesomely into tech anymore and you're just. Like, why do YouTube then? Like that that's actually a little legitimate question because why do YouTube? I mean, if you're going to sit here and be on the so a social platform where you're completely fake, like you're not even you're not even like a caricature of something, you just you're just flat out fake. And you're just what? I'm lost. I'm really lost with this. Like I this is this is a very greedy weird aspect it really is like because the only reason he's not giving up youtube is probably because of super chats or you know what money or what little money that youtube does bring in so he's willing to nickel and dime it into the ground essentially what destroy your brand uh i i don't I don't care. I want money. Yeah. I, it's obviously it's just about the money. I mean, you're going to nickel and dime your YouTube channel into the ground. And that's like super sad for your audience. Wow. I really. I really feel. I do like I, I feel very I feel a lot of sympathy for. Griffin's audience if if that's if if you have these takes a year ago or people like oh yeah Griffin's awesome and he's like he's he's getting it and all these things but you're slowly like the mask has fallen off and and you're I I don't I don't think you're actually being fake on your live streams I think you're being yourself uh and obviously people are turned off by that um no one no one really that I've spoken to has anything good to say about your live streams uh, other than the fact that they say that you've fallen off really hard. So I don't know. I'm assuming there's a lot of hate watching going on or um, echo chamber -y stuff. I don't I don't get. I unsubbed from Griffin months ago. If anything, I'll catch the VODs on his active channel. Fair. I don't know, like, man, dude. So your whole YouTube channel isn't based on anything that you're passionate about doing. It's just really anymore. I I'm not going to discredit the fact that Griffin might have had passion for the things that he was doing previously, but I feel like that's kind of gone down the hole. So never been my long term career path. Uh -huh. So that's why I've been a lot more selective with my topics. Like for, example, uh, yeah, okay, so like, for example, so like, for example, that God of War video I made recently, I know damn fucking well a large portion of my audience mm -hmm. did not like that take I had, but I don't care because it was like, you know, something I actually wanted to talk about. Mm -hmm. Well, so. here's the thing, though. All right. Um, I don't think that excuses your bad takes whatsoever. I don't think so either. I think like, that's I the think, thing like, is they're my you, You're like, saying like you don't care and you're not putting enough into the channel and the day becomes boring. You're just I don't really think it justifies bad takes. I think you need to try. I think you should care. I think he should care too, and I think he should try. That's my personal opinion, though. Because, again, your audience is... There's people that actually give a shit about you. They like watching you. They enjoy your content, and you're essentially letting it go downhill. Otherwise, just nah. leave. Just leave. But that's the thing. If is, it means if nothing I... to you, if you don't need it, why But I do here? enjoy it. That's the thing. You do enjoy it. Okay. Yeah. You, that's what you get out of it, is enjoyment, correct? Yeah, that's why and, I'm more selective and about that. Topics enjoyment now. comes from the audience and the people watching you. So you owe it to those people to try and to always be there. And if you don't want that obligation, uh, I think you should just. I don't. I don't hmm. think there's any. I don't think anyone owes anything when it comes to a content well, to creator. Well, to be fair, YouTube isn't your job, so yeah, you don't. Oh, I don't. Man. I don't beg for money. I don't have like subscriber goals, donation goals. I don't have Patreon tiers. Like, n there's no obligation. Like, mm -hmm. this is like an at will employment kind of thing, you know. I'm here because I want to be and people are watching my content because they want to be. There's uh -huh. no obligation on people to watch my shit. Just like there's no obligation for me to put out certain type of content. Uh -huh. well, and I never want to. So you don't think uh, who basically before you were working a job, this was carrying you financially for a bit, right? For a little bit. Uh, I mean.
I love this line of questioning. Oh my God, can we get some hands in the chat for Frit? <gasps> Keep on with this line of questioning. You have done an amazing job, Papa Frit. I am so freaking proud of you. Oh man, I just want to give you squishies. I'm totally sending Frit hugs for this. This whole exchange is brilliant. It was my was it yes or no? It was my largest source of income, but it wasn't my only. I would have been okay without it. You would have been okay with it, but it was still a source of income that carried you. Yes or no? I mean, it gave me a lot more expendable cash. Yeah. Uh huh. And things that you used to buy like components to better your life and but your the, content. So you I mean, think yeah. you owe it to your audience? I mean, I'm grateful to my audience, but I don't think anything is owed from me or them. I think that. Are you grateful? Like, are you Griffin? Are you grateful? Really? I don't know. That that's that's subjective. This is solely like, you know, if you like my content, watch it. That's great. I appreciate that. But, you know, I've never been like somebody who has like a if you don't leave this many likes on the video, I'm not going to upload another video. Here's the thing, you may yeah, because that's ridiculous. Like now you're just doing weird like you're making the comparison like a weird extremist stuff. Like, who does that? No one's like, if you don't leave enough likes on the video, I'm not going to make another video. Like, no. You make content because you enjoy making content or you enjoy what you're doing. Or in, like, regards to, like, say, an example, like my Blender stream, if you like making game assets and you like sharing that with your audience, like, or you like video games and you want to share that with your audience, or, you know, what? mainly make your money on YouTube off of Super Chats now, right? Pure donations. You don't really do it off of uploads anymore. Yeah, you're you're literally people are donating to you. Right. Uh, my uploads still get. I would say you're, probably. I've seen, I seen, I seen that you you've been uploading a little more recently, but like. I would say it's if I had to guess, which I could check. I want to say it's like seventy thirty live streams and uploads. I mean, I still get a lot of ad revenue. I don't know what your CPM is, but I get about eight dollars every thousand views. Well, that's pretty. Yeah, that's a uh, well. Mine right now is at thirteen, but um. Yeah, that's good. Uh, the only reason mine's at 13 is because of the consistent uploads. YouTube will pay you less if you're not consistent. I've no. No, is that is that like your cut or before YouTube takes a cut? Oh, good question. Actually, it's <laughs> like because if I get 10,000 views, it's like basically 80 bucks. Well, I that's mean, the way. I just I'm uh, it's conflicting statements because you enjoy this. Your audience has helped carry you financially in certain situations. I'm guessing that you know, there's mo extra money in your pocket to buy stuff you liked for sure. I do feel you owe it to the audience to do better and. That's my opinion as someone who's passionate about this and really cares for like what I do. Um, well, yeah, going forward, obviously, this is going to be in the back of my mind. So, no, it's not. No, it's not. You're I I I don't think this is going to be in the back of your mind at all, Griffin. And that's OK. That's OK. You you don't have to take on. You don't have to agree with everything for it. You, you don't have to agree. You can agree to disagree on everything that for it's saying. Um, you can continue to be ignorant. You can continue to be fucked up. Like, you do you, dude. If, if this is how you want to navigate the internet and this is how you want to navigate life, you do you. However, the salt is glorious. And we shall harvest you for the salt. Because you can't not with these level of takes in life. Like... <laughs> I don't know if Griffin's going to bounce back from this. Like, I, I do feel like he could be, per, like, completely propelled in, like, low cow ter territory. Because if you keep collecting this many fucking L's, like, you have a closet full of them. It's just, you do you, man. But, oh, the salt, she'll let, you know, salt for the salt gods. I mean, this is something you can overcome easily. <laughs> In my opinion, yeah, I know that. But I think I, I think uh, it would do you some good to uh, read up on GPUs, Griff. I think it would do you. Uh, good night, Delta. Have a wonderful night. Thank you so much for being on stream. We appreciate you. Good uh, to view money, like to just realize that not everybody is. Dude, I had to. Read, I know you're loaded, I, but not I had to read nine hundred. I've had to read like nine hundred pages of fucking company documents today. I am good on reading. Mm. Well, <laughs> that's what I mean, man. It's like this stuff is so inconsequential now. Many, it's like uh, how many hours a week do you work? Huh? What do they got you doing? Uh, it really depends on the day, but I usually work around ten hours a day. Mm. Ten hours a day. Okay. Yeah. That's uh, damn. <laughs> so you get no yeah, time, right? Or yeah. On a salary. I'm on a salary of my company pays overtime uh, for your first few years because they were having a problem with people leaving. Um, for my so I get overtime, so. Mm. Oh, so wait, what, how do you get overtime if you're? Hi, Inklet. Welcome to the chat. On a salary, though. 
So the way my company works is because they had so many. I that to you, MK, but or I'm K. Like you, you do you. You you do the you on that one. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that. <laughs> I'm in excess of forty hours a week. Mm. So if I work 50 hours, then I get 10 hours of overtime at one and a half times pay, which I'm more than happy to take. You know, I remember before you were working a job, I remember you were making more <laughs> videos and you were on YouTube way more often. Oh, yeah. I mean, I had a lot more free time. Mm -hmm. No, I I'm the complete opposite. I was working uh, full-time jobs before I quit everything and then just do did this full-time because it was paying way fucking more. <clears throat> and I enjoyed it a lot. Um, so it's the complete opposite for me. So from my perspective, I always feel like it's owed to your audience yeah like frit is coming at it from a full creative standpoint this is something that he enjoys he loves doing it you know he he gives a shit about his audience like he'll he'll troll his audience like he'll fuck around you know it's 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 papa frit he'll joke with all of his audience but he gives a shit about his audience this is something he loves doing he just said on stream like he quit all of his jobs and started doing youtube full-time because it paid more and it's something that he's passionate about and it's something he wants to do. And that's that's the thing in life. Like to get paid for something that you actually love doing, that's what you should be doing in life. Like anybody that is literally going like hates getting up in the morning and is going to a miserable job that just absolutely s sucks out their soul and suffocates them in life. Like the dream job is to get paid for what you love doing. Because then it feels less like a job. Um, maybe you're not for like from that perspective, but I think, and I understand your work schedule. I understand what it's like to work a full job, time job and try to make content. It's fucking imp almost impossible sometimes. Sometimes yeah, it, I mean, it, it limits you to like one upload a month. Like... I've been there. I've been there, but. Uh... Especially from a creative standpoint. So you've got artists and you have like asset artists you have like all these different like especially from a creative standpoint if you actually get paid for what you love doing that is a that is an epic win that is a massive win whoever has a creative mindset and actually wants to make a job or a career out of that creative mindset it is an epic fucking win um, I, think I don't the think biggest... you're a, i think you're in a position like the thing is, it's not really time that's my biggest restriction. It's genuine interest in the topic. Like, that's what I'm trying to, like, get across is if I don't care about a topic, I don't make a video on it because I sound like the most boring Yong Ye clone on fucking planet Earth sitting there just reading off an article I care not. Hunter's like, oh, Frick called me cringe for quoting Liquid Richard in my super chat. Is it? Well, you know, he's going to call you out. He's, like, he's not above roasting his own audience. Oh. <laughs> Nothing about. Uh, Battle Puppet Ofrit is awesome. I kind of flipped out on him because he used the literal definition of autism and I didn't understand. I apologized. He was way cool about it. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's an amazing exchange. Like, oh my gosh, someone had a positive resolution to a conflict. And that's, I feel like in the past, I could find more genuine interest in that type of stuff, mm -hmm. which is why I've moved on from a lot of that. Because oh, Griffin's growing up. He's being a big boy. I know. And I got my dog now, too. So it's like, do I want to spend two hours like making a video, chopping up someone's like retarded fucking take on something I really don't care about that much? Mm -hmm. Or do I want to go like drive down to the park and go walk like along the Potomac well, River and look at DC? It's like, you know. I mean, yeah. So honestly, <laughs> it's like. Uh, thank you, Dylan, so much for being in chat and in chat tonight uh, on stream. And thank you again so much for the gifted memberships and the membership yourself. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Like, if gaming is not your thing, I don't think you should be like. I mean, gaming is still my thing. It's something I enjoy doing, but Do it's you just still like enjoy like what goes on in the industry. Well, you say you're not interested in the topics, and you, well, say I mean, like, you don't hold hard. I mean, I mean, care about gaming. I mean, topics. So all the videos I've made, I would say I like genuinely care about the topics. Because in this video, at... you say you're like you basically admit to not being real about how what you've think about like the industry and stuff no all right so that's not what i'm trying to say i'm trying to say like you know i kind of play it up a little bit like you, you know play, like you play into like you play more emotion into into the topic right? yeah like i put more like cadence in my voice i talk faster than i normally would like you know that's or i like will laugh mm -hmm. when i wouldn't actually laugh like when people text mm -hmm. but like for example wait what oh please stop dissecting your fakeness please stop oh dude soul example 
the stuff I've made videos on recently was Halo Infinite's the greatest Halo game of all time because this dude literally said we should basically honor Bonnie Ross like a fucking veteran. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> that, <laughs> that shit was fucking hilarious what? Honor yeah Bonnie somebody like a veteran like that's a perfect example of like an actual genuine thing wait what and, <laughs> yeah a veteran? Ah. the um videos from a channel called halo hot takes and it was a hot take tism for existing black heart oh thank you for the 199 inklet i appreciate you thank you so much for existing i appreciate thank you thank you for existing as well oh my gosh that's super sweet and then the other one was Twitch and their revenue cut. I thought that shit was fucking retarded. Um, bon on Gara, where again, he says he doesn't care. Yeah, there's a whole lot of conflicting shit going on there. Welcome, horror. Welcome, welcome. I hope your stream went well, madam. Miss Hellfire. Bonnie Ross getting fired. Mm -hmm. That one was interesting. <laughs> also, Jim Ryan. I think the whole Activision thing is incredibly interesting because it kind of ties into my area of interest with business and everything. So. Give me a second. So I want to just say to the chat, I don't think Griffin's backpedaling. He owned up to his L's. I've actually he is backpedal. He he's only back backpedaled about a couple things, but he is owning quite a few L's. Whether he like learns anything from this exchange or ch chooses to like absorb the knowledge that's completely subjective actually confronted you on a lot of things i wanted to confront you on and you were pretty reasonable i would say but i'm have some of my money oh zombie fan thank you so much for the five dollar make you holler i appreciate the super chat thank you very much for the five dollars you are awesome still like mm. oh my god stop it i'm gonna squee on freaking stream stop it stop it stop it I mean, we can disagree on shit, man. That's the thing is mm. what we're talking about is gaming. Like, well, that's the topic the end, you don't care about, Griffin. <laughs> I well, don't trust you. All right, I don't trust bro, you, Griffin. <laughs> is my opinion on gaming going to impact your life? I don't know. Uh, your impact on gaming is what we will make fun of. It won't actually. No, your purchases potentially impact hardware. Your hot takes on gaming are just shit that we can make fun of. And, you know, you're, you are, you're content at that point because you're, you're, you're dancing, you're dancing really, really close to like low material. And if you really have the, like these really, oh, I don't know, man. Like you, like this, this is, you're, you're going into the salt mine, Griffin. You're pitching a tent. We we we're getting to the point where we can we can like start using you to harvest some salt. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna be truthful with you, my dude. Uh, you're kind of. I kind of would throw you in the the Harmon, amazing Lucas, King Thrash pool. I mean, you're 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 going that direction for the 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 salt harvesting for me. Uh, just because your hot takes are pretty fucking hot and, uh, uh, we can get, we can get to the jokes. The jokes can be had. Of course not, but we're not talking about our lives. Exactly. We're so not talking about our lives here though, right? But that's what I'm saying. Like, you got to look at everything in like a scope of severity. So it's like, my whole thing is that I've always stressed too. It's like, I genuinely don't dislike anyone on this platform. Okay. I just like. Are you, you sure know. you don't dislike Dreamcast guy and Young Jay? Are you sure? Dude, I, I actually genuinely enjoy watching Dreamcast guy. He's always the highlight of the stream when we put him on. Like, I think mm. the dude is fucking hilarious. Mm. Okay. Well, as long as you don't hate anybody. Uh, I would love would to have a can... I don't hate anybody either. Like, oh, you know, there's there's certain things I dislike, but I mean, I don't I don't hate Griffin for choosing to be blindly ignorant and uh Lovingly, as I've said throughout this entire stream, choosing to be ignorant and choosing to be fucked up. It, it doesn't make sense to me and it doesn't compute in my brain muscle. However, we get to we, to, we get to mine you for salt and that that's fun. I came out of this learning something like what you say. Like yeah, I'm, I'm going to definitely watch what I say. OK, okay. okay. I'm going to definitely watch what I say. All right. All right, I'm doing it, ladies and gentlemen. I bet 
I bet, I don't know what I bet. Uh, I'll figure out the bet. But I bet that Griffin is not going to watch what he says. He has no intention of watching what he is going to say. He's probably going to get caught out in another hot take on a stream. Because like I said, he has his own, uh, my give a damn's busted. And I have zero flux. So whatever comes out of my face comes out of my face at that time. And that's fair. However, if you're going to do that, just stand by what you say. Um, the backpedaling is a little like what the cop-out bitchness is also a little confusing. However, thank you very much, Griffin, for collecting the amount of L's that you did do um, this evening on my, on my stream, or like in general, uh, because you did collect a lot of L's. At least you acknowledged those L's. I will give you that. Uh, I think actual accountability needs to be had on some other points, but with the rest of it, you have completely owned up to your, your ignorance, uh, you're happy with your level of ignorance, and your dumb fuckery. I don't think the chat really has a problem with most of this. I think it's been a good, uh, a good sesh. Um, yeah. <laughs> I got no more I think... questions. I think, like, everything I wanted answered was answered. Like the long mystery of who the fuck was telling him what to do with his money has been answered. It was nobody. It was just Griffin's head. The voices you're, in my fucking head, skits. dude. I sleep, goddamn I sleep two hours a night. Help. Holy shit. Yeah, I, don't, I probably do. But yeah, I don't know. Like the whole thing, I don't. It's, it is what it is. At the and again, I have no judgment. Like if if Griffin if Griffin wants to conduct himself this way, Mister Griffin Gaming is very much allowed to have his his glorious hot takes, but. Oh, my salt miners, we shall have fun. We shall have fun. The salt harvesting shall be fun. At the end of the day, I will hold the L. So. All right, and that's fair. All right, well, in that case, Griff, I'm going to let you get back to Call of Duty. Don't play too much. Don't let, you know, I'm worried about the whole I know, I, gotta wait. I, I got a month, so. Uh, wait, how long's the beta? I thought the beta ended, like. No, that's what I mean. I got a month until it comes out, and I don't uh, really want to play the old cards anymore. No, so. we're going to keep Call of Duty away from you. We're going to put it in a safe, and we're going to lock it away, and you're never going to touch it again. We need you to... Keep hitting that, that bicycle at the gym, though, for real. In my personal opinion, I think you should do strength training. All right, Drew. Yeah, I will I will stay on. I'll, I will listen to a little bit more of what Papa Fred has to say after Griffin leaves the stream. Instead of cardio. Yeah, I do both. I just right. do it. Like, right. the thing is, I'll work out during the day when I have breaks at work. Chat's so asking if you're streaming yeah. afterwards. Uh, Probably. I'm a workaholic. There you go. All right. Well, have yourself a good one, Griff. I'm going to let you go. I'm going to get back to this. Uh, I want to get to the segments with Mischief, <laughs> where, you know, he talks about your job and stuff. <laughs> but, all right. Thank you for joining. Uh, have yourself a good night. Peace out. Thanks. Right. See ya. Well, I don't know what to feel. <sighs> Honestly, there was a lot of backpedaling there. There was a lot of L-taking. I'll give him credit on the ones he decided to take. But, uh, really? He just argue with nobody so basically that rant existed for no other purpose other than it just spawned out of his head i don't I, the, the implications here means the situation's a lot worse than we thought i don't know yes yes it is frit it is a lot worse than what we thought and griffin confirmed all of it out of his own mouth i can't make this shit up i don't feel i took it easy on him i feel like i hit him with the hard questions like i was supposed to and uh, he answered, for the most part, half-assed answers. Some I'm not happy with. Some I was like, okay, he took the L. But, eh, eh. The admitting to being fake stuff, that bugged me quite a bit. I was like, I don't know. Yeah, admitting to being fake, like, no. No, no, no. This perception that all YouTubers and content creators or, you know, people that stream on Twitch are actor, like, they're acting or they're not genuine, they're not being themselves, well... I'm what you get. You either like it or you don't. You watch the stream or you don't. You watch the videos or you don't. I I, I am me. This is... I, I don't understand the whole act thing. I don't get the... I don't get the thought process behind that. I don't... Like, but if you want to be completely fake on the internet, like... Again, Griffin, you do you. I don't agree with it. It It does bother me a little because it's like... Nah, dude, not not everybody does that, but obviously it's working for you, shifty eyes. I get, you know, what? No, oh, man. Mm -mm. I hear voices in my head. They talk to me. They're telling me not to buy the graphics card or I'm the real problem. <laughs> I'm so tempted to smoke some weed. Go ahead. Go ahead. Like, 
do that. Uh, I really wish I had, honestly, I had some whiskey for the stream, but then it would have gotten a lot spicier than it was. Sofa King says he argued with me. He did argue with Papa Frit on some points because it was, a, it was an agree to disagree situation and Frit was not going to actually back down from his stance. So there was a lot of points throughout this in exchange where it was a, definitely an agree to disagree situation. I mean, Jesus Christ. I don't feel he was intentionally trying to piss people off. I feel he was like, the man was like on two hours of sleep and the schizo is hit, you know, schizophrenia is hitting. He didn't know what to do. It's definitely Call of Duty's fault. Frit, read my super chat from earlier if you can, because I want an honest response from at least you, maybe. Luigi? Okay. God damn. Hold on. Let me see if I can even find it. Fuck. I can't scroll back any higher. What was the... Just retype what you asked in the chat, and I'll still read it. Just tag me in it, and I'll still read it. <clears throat> Griffin is the Kanye West of the PC elitist. Voices in his head. Fuck, dude. I don't know. I'm not satisfied with his answer. I feel... I mm, feel like he ducked a lot. He didn't, didn't want to give, like... The full story. I mean, honestly, like, he just... If you think all YouTubers are real, you're delusional as fuck. Um, no. That is an absolute funny statement, actually. That's hilarious. Thank you for quote. Like, actually, thank you for posting that. Uh, I understand that there are a lot of fake people on YouTube. I understand that there's a lot of fake people on Twitch. Um, but not everybody is fake. So I understand people play characters, all sorts of different. We have we have a we have a mixed bag of a bunch of glorious shit on YouTube and on Twitch. However, there are quite a few YouTubers that are actually genu genuine and uh you know, Rich is Rich is one of them, Fortanga is one of them, freaking Alex is one of them, I'm one of them. He just did it for no reason at all? Mm -mm. With what the what the GPU takes, that's what I, uh, it came off as, is what I'm saying. Hmm. I didn't even know I was a member. Thank you to whoever gifted it to me. You can gift memberships in my chat? I didn't know that. Huh. I just fed a troll. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's my take on it. Trolls can do troll things. That's awesome. How? I didn't even know you could do that. See, no, actually, the funny thing is when you say about that tea, you're only feeding the trolls if you give it an emotional reaction, right? Like, they basically trigger you. I am thoroughly amused. Are we the voices in Griffin's head? Do we tell him what to do? Do we talk to him? They understand? Griffin, uh, Strohut TV says Griffin's a hypocrite. He says he doesn't like NVIDIA raise, raising the prices, but at the same time buying a 4090. He says he likes money, but doesn't make his research and buys a 2K GPU. Honestly, his answers of I just want it was not good enough. I also agree. His answers of I just want it isn't good enough either. I couldn't, like, what else was I supposed to do is be like. No, but there's nothing, you, there's nothing Frick could have done. That's, I guess, that is an agree to disagree situation. Uh... Okay, well, I disagree. <laughs> you know, he's like, I can't do anything else other than that. I can't tell him, like, don't do it. Exactly. Like, nobody can tell Griffin on, like, how to spend his own money. It's not, it's not in my right to tell him what to do. But from my perspective, what I personally think, I think it's fucking retarded. <laughs> I think the whole decision's fucking retarded. It's just blind. Blind spending. He it is blind, Sim. It's just, I want it, so it's mine. Okay, fine. Just allow yourself to get ripped off. It's kind of hilarious. He admitted to being a blind consumer. He admitted to not caring about gaming. Yes, he did. Frit, he did. Gaming. He admitted he doesn't know about GPUs. Yep. He came in here and gave all the L's he could. You got to give him credit. You have to give him credit. He gave L's for everything. He I will give him credit for the L's that I th that I think he he accepted. However, there's a couple points that he he didn't really take the L on. But he, he did. He took a lot of fucking L's in this. Even to the initial reasoning behind his entire line consumerism at the end of the day. That's your opinion, Frit. Yes, it's my opinion. That's what I said. 
I can tell him I think his purchasing decision is retarded, but I can't fucking actually tell him not to do it. That yep, 110%. If you're going to boast about your purchases and you're going to discuss your financial or whatever you buy online, it is subject to criticism. You don't have to agree with it, but people are going to be like, well, you see, if you're doing fuck dumb shit, people are going to call you out on fuck dumb shit. Like, it is what it is. That is not within my right. But the whole stretch there with Mischief was drawing a moral line, uh-uh. That was bullshit. I didn't fall for that one. I was like, yeah, fucking right. No. He was drawing a line on what he was willing to pay. That is not morals. That's not morality. That's like, is that in my budget? Is that something I can afford? How much am I willing to pay for a GPU is not a moral decision. No, that's, that's a financial and consumer decision. It's not a moral decision. There's nothing moral about it. That was dumb. That was a stretch. Griffin really stretched. Brother Near, feel vindicted at all? <laughs> Welcome to the memberships, Typero21. Thank you for becoming an enabler. I missed a lot of super chats talking to Griff. But I'll tell you what. Um, how about we continue his video for a bit? I've been streaming for quite a bit, actually, but we'll continue his video. Um Frit, listening to his Buying something you want is normal. Yes. Buying something you want is a normal thing. This conversation felt like a court scene. However, if you, and then this is your choice, if you want to throw money, like if you want to piss money away, that's totally on you. Straight out. I don't know. What did you guys think of the back and forth? I enjoyed it. I thought it was, I didn't think it was challenging. I, I was kind of underwhelmed with his responses. Like they were just admissions more than defenses. At least, I mean, at least he took the L. 199 from Tony Porter. Salt. We want pony salt. You want pony salt? All the salt. We want all the salt always, Papa Frit. I don't know. Nobody's been posting anything. King Thrash hasn't posted. Lucas hasn't posted. Frit, seen what I said yet? No. Oh, sorry, Luigi. Hold on. Let me go back up. Uh. No, Luigi. I don't see your... I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Oh, Frit, spending... A Drew, to quote Cat Williams, there ain't nothing worse than a smart, dumb mofo. Yes. Yes. Correct. And if you are going to put this levels of ignorance and stupid out on the interwebs, we have every right to roast it, we have every right to cook it, and we have every right to provide the salt. Uh, $70 on games like The Last of Us Remake or spending $1,000 on a PS5, even though they can easily pay for it and don't care, but it's clearly unhealthy, right? It is! Overpaying for something just because you can isn't the right, doesn't mean it's the right decision. No, it's not the right decision to overpay for something. Like, you're... You're... Oh, you're helping... You're, like, you're just promoting, like, corporate greed. You really are. Like, it is what it is. Like, corporations are greedy. They're gonna try to take, every, uh, like, every fucking advantage they can to nickel and dime it out of their consumers. And to see you know the average consumer is going to find that particular object potentially elsewhere for a cheaper price so it, it's it's illogical to be like oh you know i'm just gonna that's what the corporations benefit off of like blind consumerism like just the corporations win the corporations win with these people because they facilitate that. I don't think that I think that flies above Griffin's head. He doesn't care about it. He doesn't care about that. That's fine. It really is, but it opens you up to a lot of criticism. Two CHF from Willie the Kid. I got married two days ago. Enjoy your salt today. Oh, I think you posted that earlier and I missed it. Harmon Smith. All right. Well, so all right. Hold on. Let me put up a poll real quick. Honestly, people that. Okay, there's a difference between not giving a shit about money and actually pissing money away. The individuals that like to like throw money hand over fist that just piss just absolutely piss money away, blue. Uh, I I honestly think that they would pay like thirty two hundred dollars for like a forty one ninety. I do, hundred percent, because then they would try to justify those uh, poor decisions as well. I do. Yeah, Griffin is a very he's a very reasonable guy when you talk to him. Because when it boils down to it, people that just 
you know, want to make it rain with money, they don't, they don't care. Right. They just don't care. Like they'll pay whatever, they'll pay whatever they want for what they want, regardless of the price. And that's ridiculous, but it's what they're going to do. But I don't like, I don't know. Like he's got to, mm, mm -mm. <clears throat> I still told him he was retarded and shit. <laughs> I told him to his face. So I thought everything he did was retarded. Oh yeah. It's stupid. Fucking stupid. Absolutely stupid. Corporations will forever win no matter what you buy. Even YouTube wins by us using the platform. That will never go away. Oh, I don't know. We got some Odyssey coming on, you know, and Rumble and a bunch of other platforms. Arguably, YouTube, have, YouTube has the monopoly now, but, you know, you never know. And he took it. He took it. I told him what I, I think it was retarded what you did and what you said. And it was stupid. and It makes no goddamn sense. And he said, okay, he took the L. I can't do anything other than be like, all right, well, he took the L. So be it. I'm not going to hammer anymore. <laughs> and yes, he agreed with me that his purchasing decision does affect the GPU market. He says on a micro level, but that's still like, that's still like at the micro level. Drew, I wish I had money. I wish I had burned money, but that doesn't mean I'm going to burn it. Exactly. Exactly. Like there's so many amazing things that you could do financially with, with money. You know what I mean? If you had it, if you, if you, if you didn't actually care about money, there are so many things that you could do. I mean, honestly, Mr. Beast is a good example of that. I will throw that out there. Like just the kindness and generosity. Like, I don't care that he makes videos giving in, you know, individuals like five, 10 grand, whatever the amount is, it's irrelevant. The fact that he is, he has so much now that he is willing to give that back. Like he has fuck you money. That's actually a beautiful thing. I don't know. I don't know about that. I think it affects the entire fucking market. $5 from Brother Near. Last dono for me, but I'm still very appreciative from the support. Your support and Griffin being subbed to me made my day. You know, Brother Near, you got, we all have to, okay, listen, chat. Griffin took the L. He was a man about it. And at the end of the day, he subbed to his critics. And we have to give him credit for that. I will give, I will give that to Griffin. He is subbed to some of his critics. That's fantastic. I mean, good for him. That, that's a, that's a win for Griffin. Like, regardless of all of your crazy ass takes, you actually subbing to those who, is, who are going to provide criticism in regards to your ignorance and how like your really fucking hot takes and and how bad they really are like good for you for subbing to subbing to them he subbed to mischief and he subbed to brother near the fact that griffin is subbed to his critics got to have balls for that got to give him credit he came in here and he did it not a lot of people would do that king thrash came in here and was like fucking rolled over like a bitch <laughs> At least Griffin tried to stand up for his points and defend his stances. Bad defenses, but he tried. Yeah. I am actually happy that Griffin did come on this stream and actually talk to Frit. I'll give him that one, too. That's a win. Not bitching out and just and actually like, hey, I'm in your chat. Can I come on your stream? Can we have a conversation and have an actual exchange? I give Griff Griffin that. I also give that uh, this entire exchange, they maintained, they were civil the, the entire time. They were able to agree to disagree on certain points. They were able basically to, to voice that they didn't agree with the other individual. Like, this was an amazing exchange. This is what should happen. Sorry, bog rip. And I'm also going to shout out to Papa Frit for for challenging as hard as he did. And so, like, the lines of questioning were amazing. Good for you. Griffin Gaming in the chat still. I thought you were done. Says it ain't that deep. Yep, that is correct, Julian. Unlike Cupcake TV, um, you know, individuals like Griffin um, were able to, like, even with his hot, terrible takes, were even willing to get into a voice conversation with someone who was being critical of their choices and have a conversation with them. 
Eh, not anymore, but... Mm. Okay. Uh, goodbye, Rip. Let me put up a poll real quick. Holy crap, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to note that it is after midnight where I'm at. It is officially my birthday. Aww. Neg's like waving his arms at me saying happy birthday. It is officially my birthday! Woo! Holy crap, I streamed over into my birthday. What the fuck? Quick before we move on to the. I think we're done with Griffin. Yeah, I think we're done with Griffin too, honestly. Yeah, this is a good way to fucking end the stream and like realize the time and be like happy birthday. Yes, it's my birthday! Thank you guys for being on here. We made it to my birthday. <laughs> Holy shit, it's like one in the morning. Woo! All right, now we gotta do the we gotta do the things. We gotta do the things. All right, I'm gonna sing to myself because I sing to people on sh when they tell me on stream that it's their birthday. I sing to them. So should I? I it's would it be weird if I sang to myself? Like. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God. Thank you so much for the happy birthdays. And before, like, just to discredit everybody who thinks I'm like 16 and shit, it is officially my 40th birthday. All right. Yes. And you can all do mouth drops about how I look. But yes, I am 40. Happiest <laughs> birthday ever. Ah. Aw, oh, thank you for the one ninety nine inklet. I appreciate you. Yay! Uh, hubby is probably waiting for me to get my booty cheeks off stream so he can maul me with love. Honestly. Because <laughs> it is my birthday. They called you an E- I'm 32. They called you an E-girl. Thank you, Spectre. Yes. Yeah, and you don't look 40, jeesh. No, I am like, wow, like you honestly, no one understands what a MILF is anymore. Like, I thought you were in your 20s. I know, psych. Ho, 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 epic reveal. I am not in my 20s. I am 40 and I am a MILF. Grandma status is like 100% 50, 60 year olds. Thirties and forties definitely are like that's MILF territory. And twenties, arguably, depending on when you actually pop out a kid. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, Minxie. Aw, thank you, Hunter. 19 year old MILF. I'm a I'm a 19 year old milf. Don't you spread those lies on the interweb, my husband. Happy birthday! Thank you, hypocrite hunter. Thank you for the 298. I appreciate you. I thought you were 14. Damn. Birthday spankings for Minxie? Yes. I'm 18 and dead inside. Please don't be dead inside. I love your face. All right, should we, like, we need to pop up a happy birthday song. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, we'll do, we'll do some happy birthday shenanigans. Do we got a funny one on? I need Rich to make a happy birthday song for me, rude. All right, what's a funny happy birthday song? We're going to end... Singing walrus? What is this? Oh, a minion song. Hold on. <laughs> Actually, no. I don't want to do anything with the minions because that probably will get me in trouble. All right. We need a... We need a silly... 
Oh, fail. DM him and ask, Weird Al. <laughs> I know, I need to DM Rich and be like, hey, it's my 40th birthday. I need a birthday song. I've already asked Rich for a DSP song. So don't worry about it. Wait, what? Who? Oh, no, that's fine. No, 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 no. That's okay. You don't have to time out the trolls. That's fine. They just get love. I mean, slurs and all that shit. We don't have it with, like, that's zero tolerance. But in regards to trolls doing troll things, like, it helps me. Thank you very much, troll things. Happy beef day to you. Thank you. I appreciate you guys being super positive about that. All right. Well, my lovelies, it is now almost one o'clock in the morning. So we're going to end stream here. I'm sorry about some of the streaming struggles with the uh, the interwebs. We will definitely get those checked out. Make sure you like, like, you know, do the things like the stream. If you like the stream, comment down below, though, if if you want to, I, you know, it's up to you. Uh, but I read all the things. So uh, throw your comments down below. Let me know if you think Griffin is literally a uh, low cow status and can actually be farmed for salt now. Um, I appreciate, oh, meme of the stream. Thank you, T. Thank you. Oh, shit. See? Oh, shit. Wait, what? Oh, no, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. I'm going to jump in creators live for any content creators that want to say happy birthday. All right, I'm on my server in Discord. If y'all want to jump in and say happy birthday, I know Gara wants to say happy birthday. I might even do a separate birthday stream. I don't know. Hello, pretty lady. Well, hello. Just Hi. stopping by. Happy birthday. This is this is the Madame Hellfire. Thank you, HH. How you doing, birthday girl? Oh, how you doing? How you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Like, oh man, it's a lot of fuck dumb that happened tonight. Hold on a second. We have to bring up the memes. Yeah, I missed most of it. So, I know you were doing your own streamy things, though. Uh, yeah, I was streaming and doing content creation stuff, so. All right. But yes, let's, let's look at some memes. Oh my god, Slim's is amazing. Hold on, let me. Uh, is it the bottom one? Yeah, let me share. I think it's gonna let me pull up these. Okay. All right, I'm looking. Oh my god, that's funny. Oh, it's just showing your stream screen. That's okay. Uh, I haven't brought any up yet. Oh my oh. god, how many? That's... How many did you guys do? Holy shit! Uh, apparently. Holy crap! In the guys... knick -knack ones. Damn. You guys oh. went like full tits out with Griffin, ruthless. All right, let's start at the beginning. Fantastic. Whoop. All right, I can get it on stream. Can you see that? My dear? Uh, no, I'm just seeing the YouTube video. All right, hold on. That's okay. I can scroll through the uh, meme section myself. That's true. You can. All right. Okay. Let's go that. So that's from Spectre. Call fanboys out, consume product, Griffin Gaming, that is fantastic. Of 
Or shaming isn't okay unless if I did it. Oh my God. That is good. <laughs> I like, I know he's like will willing to obliterate poor shaming, but if he does it, it's okay, but no one else can. The one Croyat tried did. With Back to the Future as a reference. Oh, that's great. That one's funny. Yeah, Spectre, you better go fucking watch that. Griffin calling out fanboys and pay pigs. Griffin redirecting criticism and wasting money. Oh my god. Quiet Try, that is amazing. I don't even know if Quiet Try is still on the stream, but holy shit. That is so good. Hello, anybody home? Poor shaming bad. <laughs> oh, whoa. The life of Griffin Gaming. Yes. Yeah, that's pretty funny. I'm all, I'm pulling up the ones that are specifically Griffin. This is very correct. This is the amount of fucks I give. This is this is how Griffin views the internet. This is the amount of fucks I give. Yep. Oh my god, I'm I'm in this one. Quiet Try did this. This is fantastic. Hello, Griffin. Is anybody home? They literally. Oh my God! It's what literally. I was talking about. Yeah, it's literally Back to the Future. <gasps> yeah, that's the one I was talking about. It's pretty funny. Oh shit! Quiet. Oh, dude. Oh, Quiet has one meme of the stream. All right, Quiet Try gets fucking meme lord. I'm giving him that role too. That is amazing. Watch the movie. Yes. Watch the movie. I mean, I have or to, we right? We'll have words. I mean, it would be like I would I would be doing Back to the Future a disservice if I didn't withhold horror gaming until like that was done. I'm pretty mad. He's pu you're punishing me for his own sins. I'm sorry. I've seen Back to the Future. I know you have. Because I haven't seen all of them. I've seen the first one. Got to see at least the first one. I, the sequels, I can forgive. The first one, at least. Shut up and shut up. I will buy it at any price. Griffin Gaming right now. The mistake on Newegg. Oh, my God. Holy shit, this one's good. That is pretty funny. I can't with this was. Who did this one? Knickknack is amazing. Yeah, Knickknack did some good ones. Holy Dude, my freaking my Discord is on fire. Yeah. <laughs> Nvidia announced the new 490 Ti card, uh, one thousand five hundred fifty nine dollars. Sorry, ninety nine dollars fifty nine. What is that? It's one in the morning. Griffin Gaming. Fifteen ninety nine. Yeah. Fi yeah. Fifteen ninety nine. I'll take your entire stock. Oh my to be god. Fair, I probably will be getting a 40 series because I'm still at a 10 series. I'm in a 10 series too, actually. I need to get it upgraded. I need to get mine upgraded, but I'm not paying like I'm um, no. This is this is ridiculously stupid prices. I can't like I can't. I may be stupid. No, but that's a four that's a forty ninety. I'd be going for like a forty eighty probably. And it's not nearly as expensive for a 4080 as it is a 4090 ti i would i would wait until it dropped in price honestly oh yeah probably but the 30 series well. you could argue though yeah um i may be stupid but at least i didn't buy a 4090 oh my god at least you haven't bought a 4090 right now if they drop in yeah. price come on like I I'm good if they drop like if they drop in price, that's that's a different thing. Nvidia doing Nvidia things. This is Slim. Slim doesn't watch Griffin Gaming. Slim watches Minxy One. Be like Slim. Oh my god. That's like the best advertisement for my content ever. <laughs> yes, that is great.
Oh, this is in, this is in regards to trolls. VR hell official. I'm once again asking for I am key to be funny. Speaking of. Oh my god, Frit Mel Oh shit, this one's good. Fuck! Why does my Discord do this to me? This is so hard. And I don't have anybody to pawn it off on. Like Frit milking Griffin for salt. I can't. Shit, that is good. That is really good. Corporate needs you to find the differences between this picture and this picture. They're the same picture. Oh, shit. Guys. All right, this is funny. We're going to, all right, we're going to narrow it down. I got to narrow it down now. Mm. I don't think it's the, the Back to the Future one. Right. No that, pressure now. No, that's a good, that's a good one. Hello, I'll just win. All right, we're going to. Happy birthday, Mingzi. Thank you. Hi, Slim. By the way, it. your mim your memes were fantastic. Thank you. I'm trying to get through them all. This is really good. All right, shit. All right, we're Life of Griffin Gaming. The amount of fucks I give. That's very accurate, though. Back to the Future one's so good. This is so good, too. Oh, fuck. There's like... I might do an honorable mention tonight. Oh, Slim, yours is good, too. I can't do it out of bias. Okay. No pressure. Right? Um, shit. Now I got five. Oh, okay. So, knickknack. Mm. All right. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, this, oh, this is so good. Shit. Seriously. I'm gonna step out. You have a good rest of your night. And happy birthday again. Oh, thank you, sweetie. Oh, Appreciate you. Bye. All right. I'm down to two. We're doing, we're doing, we're doing an honorable mention. We're doing a winner and an honorable mention. All right. So I think that the Back to the Future one by Quiet Try is amazing and this is going to be the winner and it's not because i'm in it it's just the fact that frit and alex are with griffin and this this is good this is fucking hilarious um also the milking of griffin gaming for the salt so knickknack is the is the honorable mention 110 percent Honestly, guys, I would have picked five of them. However, you you know how meme of the stream works and the honorable mention and everything. So congratulations to Quiet Try and Nick Knack. Uh, everybody who entered memes. I love my freaking Discord. You are you are memes are my one of my lifebloods. You know this. Memes tea and something else naughty, but I'm not gonna talk about that. And uh, I'm going to end the stream here. Thank you so much for the happy birthdays. Again, Nick Knack and Quiet Try. Holy cheese, it's These are fantastic. Please put your comments down below. If you like the stream, if you didn't like the stream, I don't give a shit about criticism. Trolls are fun. Um, what else? I think we're good. I think we're good. Thank you so much for it, for challenging griffin the way you did i i i i really feel like i'm gonna be salt mining griffin in the future really feel like 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 griffin's gonna give me that that level of salt so i love all your faces have a wonderful rest of your your day i'm gonna jump off and get mauled by my husband uh for with happy birthdays I love, thank you so much. You are incredible as well. Also, thank you so much for the memberships tonight and the super chats. Oh my God, I'm trying to remember everything. I'm super excited right now. All right, I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Have a good one. Bye.